I am sorry. Are you okay? The podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, 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 every day I'm every day I'm every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. Boxing dot com. You seen what he did on Facebook, right? I Listen, I'm gonna make a motherfucking emoji like this. Look. Dollar D Beyonce Productions. Boxingboys.com. All the guys want. I want what Mayweather got. I want what Mayweather got. You done bust your ass like Mayweather. It was ball. Go fight. My life has always been a fight. I sacrificed a lot to get to where I got to. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio, the Breakfast Cub of Boxing, helping you get through your day. If you're joining us live right here on youtube.com forward slash the Boxing Voice, do us a favor. Give us a subscribe so that we can get to our goal of a million subscribers right now. We're on the way. We're nearing 187,000 even, but we need a couple hundred more people to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to help us get to our next goal. What we're here to discuss is accolades and excuses. Accolades and excuses, man. We have Nawa Anue becoming undisputed two times this year in less than a year, like in, in a 12-month span. And we'll be discussing Deontay Wilder's latest interview that he conducted on 78 Sports, where he had a lot of things to say, and, and, and one that is getting everyone, I guess, upset is that he claims Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn were very happy to see him lose because they never wanted the fight and that he heard rumors that if he would have won, AJ was going to retire. And, you know, Wilder goes on to say in the interview that he just always believes AJ never wanted the fight, even though they signed and all they had to do was both win their respective fights and get in the ring. So if you watched this morning's boxing on ESPN Plus and you got to see uh, Marlon Tapales attempt to undispute with the monster, but instead you've seen the monster get the knockout, well then call in. Let's discuss it. 1425-569-5241. If you want to discuss Wilder's latest interview and you have heard it or you're going to hear it live here, the little excerpt that we do play, uh, you can call in and obviously discuss and give us your opinion on the topic. This will be what we're talking about here today. And this afternoon, we'll probably be touching on the Haney Ryan and Oscar Garcia, excuse me, Oscar De La Hoya latest, which looks like that fight is happening uh, according to the latest tweets that have been released. But this morning, we're discussing the fight that took place around 3 a.m. in Japan with Inoue. If you want to call in, let us know what you thought of his performance. You can do so. Twitter Spaces is available, and Discord is also available to call in and voice your opinion. Um, 
again, we will be playing a short excerpt uh, from the interview conducted with 78 Sports and Deontay Wilder, just so that, you know, we all have some clarity on the situation. Um, this first clip is about a two-minute clip, so we'll be breaking it in between here and there. Um, so that there is no copyright infringement as we just got the channel back, right? So if you haven't already subscribed, now is the time to do so. But here is your audio. And obviously, this is 78 Sports. Axon Wilder, is the two-fight deal still on the table? Is it still official? You know, is there any way we could still get this fight? You know what I mean? This is Wilder's words. So once again, this is 78 Sports. He's conducting the interview with uh, Deontay Wilder. As you can hear, Deontay says that, you know, when he lost, AJ was very happy or, or, or he had never seen anyone that happy. So uh, we'll continue the audio. Once again, credit 78 Sports. So, so while they're insinuating, wait, y'all said y'all can't hear it? Let me make sure. Let me know. Tell me, tell me. Ness, we can only hear you. Okay. So I guess I got to do it the other way. Give me one sec. It's always going to have to be with a screen share then. That sucks. All right, so this is uh, the clip, and uh, we'll start over. Uh, uh, well, can you tell anybody, uh, the people about, you, you, is that deal still on the table, or is it official? You know, what, what's going on with that? Man. <sighs> you know, it's so, man, it just. I pause because uh, it, it just it's so much going on, man. That I, I they don't they really don't want that fight, man. No, they don't. They don't. Um, they, they really don't want that fight. And when I lost, you see how how happy he was coming out, bro. That's bro. I'm telling you, I, I, I almost <laughs> I threw up, bro. I almost threw up, literally. Ah! I, I had I had acid. Oh, so again, since I don't know what you haven't heard, you should be hearing it now. Once again, credit seventy eight sports. Um, and obviously, you know, Wilder just saying, you see when I lost, how happy he was. But he's going to go on to say a lot more. Look, it, it like came up to my throat, man. I was so disgusted when I seen, oh, I seen Eddie Hearn was so happy and excited. Oh, my God. I ain't never seen somebody this happy to get out of a, a huge payday. So he, he like, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't made him, man. Yeah, yeah. And then Josh will come down to the ring. This man looked like he got rejuvenated. I mean, man, Christmas, he, he was, Christmas was today. Man, this Christmas man was, was so excited. He was, I don't get why Wilder believes that Anthony Joshua felt that Christmas came early because Wilder lost when 
we all know this was a very lucrative fight for all of the uh, participants. So he, he went back to the old Joshua immediately. Well, I ain't lying. I ain't lying. He might well thank me, boy. You so hit it on the head there, boy. Again, Wilder saying that AJ might as well thank him that he took a loss because now he doesn't have to fight him. The man said the coast is clear. Hey. I ain't lying. Now I can escape, bro. I saw it in the back. I swear to God, man, I busted. Again, that's Wilder saying that AJ is saying, now I can escape. I saw laughing in the back when I saw that. I said, that nigga happy as fuck. Everybody said, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he happy. Man, Boy, I made, him, I, I made him, I made him be able to perform like shit. I ain't got to fight Wilder. So again, Wilder insinuating that because he lost, AJ was able to perform with the confidence that he had and look as good as he did. Because the rumor was that he was talking about retiring if I won. Oh, fuck. So, as you can see, let me just go back so you can hear that. Because Wilder says that the rumor was if he would have beat Parker, AJ was going to retire. I'm going to retire if I won. I made him, I, I made him, I made him be able to perform like shit. I ain't got to fight Wilder. Okay. Because the rumor was that he was talking about retiring if I won. That's crazy. Oh, fuck. That's crazy uh, that he thinks that AJ would have retired. Um, but this is what we're discussing. If you want to discuss it, call in. We're also talking uh, in Nawa and New Ways win his victory he dropped marlon tapales twice marlon actually did really good let me tell you he has so much success with that right hook um it was beautiful you know uh he was doing a lot of body work too i was feeling like maybe maybe you know uh that body work would have done something for marlon in the long run but man the new is just too accurate and hits too hard like one of those knockdowns, he literally split the guard. It was partially blocked, and he was still able to get a knockdown on Marlon. So, yeah, man, um, good, good fight. I mean, this guy just keeps delivering, right? Like, fuck, bro. He doesn't uh, – he keeps getting these knockouts, and he has very, very good skill, man. Defensively and offensively, you know, his two-step uh, or his step back, Uppercut was on the money. Um, yeah, man, he's just a he's just a special talent, and to be able to undispute twice in a year, you know, I wonder where the powers that be are gonna put him on that pound for pound, you know, on that pound for pound list. Now that you know he accomplished all that he accomplished, and honestly, um, I don't know, you know. What's out there, right? Right. We were kind of looking forward to Robisi. He got smashed. And I don't know that a new way is trying to fight Rafael Espinoza. Now he is Mexican, so he brings a country. We seen that he received like various parades and homecomings. I mean, will a new way move up to 26 to challenge Espinoza? I don't know. Will Espinoza be the guy to tell us? What flaws the monster has, I don't know. Um, but nonetheless, I do want to give a lot of credit to Marlon Tapales. He did a lot better um, than uh, I expected. You know, I've seen Tapales get handled very easily in sparring and... Uh, he looked so much better in this fight, you know. It lasted as long as it lasted. He still got stopped, but certainly, in my opinion, showed levels and, and a little bit of durability for sure, you know. Showed toughness and grit. He kept trying, uh, and he was hitting, 
you know, Inoue was some shit, bro. That There was a point where he did, like, uppercut right hook from that southpaw stance. God damn. He got so much torque. Inoue got a fucking chin, okay? He got hit. He got a really, really decent chin because he got hit and acted as if nothing happened. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Credit to... All right. It should have came through by now. That's a that gotta be an old message, right? KDDDR, because after we screen shared, we should have had no problems listening to uh Wilder's audio. But do tell me in the live chat. And uh we're gonna open up the phone lines. Discord and Twitter is available if you want to call in now. Landline opens in about another seven minutes. So let us know. Um if you want to call in, just go ahead and request here on Twitter Spaces and or Discord. Let me know your thoughts on the fight with Inoue. And let me know your thoughts on the possibility of him moving up versus Rafael Espinosa. I don't want to overlook Espinosa and point him to any other champions. Um, once upon a time, I believe we were considering Lee Wood. But he's moving up, so he doesn't even have that belt anymore. Uh... I don't know. I mean, and look, the Lee Wood fight, I could see that happening uh, because of who he is and, you know, the amount of fans that he has in his home country. Maybe that's something a new way will travel for just to be a world champion. But uh, if not a new way, I mean, if not, uh, excuse me, um, Lee Wood, who, again, should be moving up. Should be moving up. Um, I would like Espinosa. I would like Espinosa. Now, I, I'm sure they can do Luis Lopez. But that's Venado Lopez. He's with Fedebox, and, uh, you know, they got a relationship with Top Rank. I don't think that's the fight. You know, his punches are very wide. He even slaps with the inside of his punches. You know, he's a, he's a lunger. He leaps in. Those are all recipes for disaster versus such a good uh, counterpuncher like a new and such a powerful puncher, right? I want Espinosa's height, reach advantage, and he showed pop. I mean, he he hurt Ramirez uh, on numerous occasions. So if a new way is really coming up after undisputing, the first stop should be with Rafael Espinosa. He's with. Uh, Frank Espinosa, is it? No. Fernando Beltran promotions or whatever, they work well with, with top rank. I think they could get that done. He's got the country, you know, all the reasons to make a big fight. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of Inoue moving to 126 now that he's undisputed that division. There's nothing there for him. You know, should he move to 26 and fight Rafael Espinosa? And, you know, should Tank, I guess, come down those five pounds to, to have that super fight with Inoue, Inoue would have to move up two divisions, though, from 22 to 30, meet Tank at 30, gain eight, Tank would have to drop five. That's probably the best fight. They've already said that they don't think it's going to happen. At one point, they said they thought it was going to happen. They thought it could be a pay-per-view, but... It looks like that is kind of not an option for Inoue anymore. But I still like it. I still want it. So, you know, uh, people want Devin to come down for the Tank fight. Would Tank go down for the Inoue fight? I mean, we know they were able to give uh, Fulton $3 million, maybe a little more, to fight Inoue. Tank obviously is going to get a lot more than that, but... Again, if you can afford to pay it th Fulton three mil, you know, the business of a new way and tank has to be big business is all I'm saying. And uh, I'd like to see it. I would like to see it. I mean, uh, it's harder to make cross promotion. You got to get, you know, the OK of Al. And is he really going to go to Japan where they can offer tank that type of guarantee? 
or is that going to be a U.S. fight, which is what a new ways promoter wants, right? They want a U.S. pay per view. Um, so definitely options for a new way. I don't know what actually materializes, but great performance. Um, maybe great as a stretch because he got hit a lot. He got hit a lot. Um, you know, and I say a lot because I watched lesser men put hands on uh, the pilots in the gym. But, hey, practice is practice. You can have a bad day. I might have been there when you had that bad day. Uh, he still got hit, though, with some big shit, you know. Um, so... We'll see, you know, if if he continues to move up, is that going to make him more vulnerable uh, to other people's power? But uh, let me go out to the lines. I got Fats in Baltimore. What is up? All right. Looks like we're going to have to connect and reconnect. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. I'm about to come back out. Bro. We hear you. Damn. It wasn't true. It was me, champ. We heard you. Cliff in Connecticut. <laughs> Got to unmute, Cliff. Cliff, going once. Malcolm, what up? Whoa. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good morning, man. What's up, bro? Chilling, chilling. Hey, that was a... hey, first thing first. Hey, Cliff, man, I apologize, man. I listened to that the last time I heard the last show I listened to. Cliff said he was going with Parker, man. Yep. I listened to that shit, and I still went with my fucking first mind and went with fucking Wilder, man. That shit, every that was the last fucking voice I heard with Cliff saying it. I feel like Wilder gonna get upset at it, and I fucking, I fucking disregarded everything the man said, bro. We so all did, man. We Cliff. all did. We, we no, no one believed that, bro. We all thought Wilder was gonna be Wilder. Yeah, man. I felt like an asshole just now, man, listening to that shit, knowing that I, I really heard a guy say. Say that I should have just do something on him. But I watched the interway fight, man. I, hey, Marlon, man, he came with it today, man. I mean, he lost, but hey, I gotta give him some respect for that one, man. He he was throwing. Yep. And he was landing. I I didn't in the way with taking some shots, man. And I was like, I'm just at least he showed that he got a chin for real. So but I mean, people wanted to see him fight tank. Nah, man, I, I don't that ain't gonna be a, I don't think that's gonna be a good look for him, man. Cause some of them, some of them that he was taking, man, Tank might put him out with a couple of them, bro. So I don't, I don't think I really want to see that one no more. But as far as him moving up to another division, like what, what he at right now? One, what, what he at? Like one twenty two, twenty four, twenty five, one twenty two, twenty two. Uh, I think, I think one thirty should be his cap, man. I think he should cap out at like one thirty, if anything, bro. I don't think he should go no higher than that, bro. I don't, I don't see the 135 in him, man. Like that shit. Like unless he, unless he was just off tonight. Well, unless he was just a little bit off, he took, he took way more licks than I expected. And I thought he would have got him out of that round, like after that full round when he got the knockdown. I thought he probably would have got him out of that round at least, at least six or seven maybe. But you know that was, man. It was a good fight though, man. That was a good fight. Like I, you know, I, it was entertaining. I'm glad that the Palace was walking, was coming forward. Like, he was with that warrior mindset. Like, fuck it. That's what I wanted Wilder to do, man. Just fucking walk forward and fucking swing. Just fucking swing, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck was going on with Wilder, bro. Like I said, that shit's still unbelievable. And my dumb ass, bro, I put extra money on that motherfucker when he was losing. Mm. So I really fucked around, bro. I believed in that motherfucker like that, bro. I believed in him like that. I still put some money on him just to just just because he was at plus a thousand. 
going into like the seventh round, he was plus a thousand, bro. He was plus a fucking a thousand. I'm like, man, look, I'm gonna throw an extra little thirty on him to see if he can fuck around again and come back and give and land one of them shots. But he wasn't even th- he wasn't trying to win, bro. I don't really. Then he coming out with the saying, "What AJ don't want to fight him? Like, why wouldn't the man want to fight you? What did you show for him to be scared of? Like, that's the part I don't really understand. Like, what did you actually come out and show for that man to say that? For you to say that he he didn't want to fight you in the beginning? It's like, bro, you didn't show us nothing. The man probably was smiling because, hey, I got an extra." I got another easy payday coming up right after this fight. I can whoop his ass and I can come and whoop wild ass for another 50 million. Why wouldn't you be smiling? Like, come on, man. You think the man gonna come out and be sad because you lost? Nah, bro. I mean, I'll be happy too knowing that I got another easy fight coming up. I mean, that's I don't really understand. I don't really understand what Wild is trying to say with that one, bro. I don't understand that one. But that's all I gotta say though, man. Y'all, y'all stay up, man. Have a good morning, bro. All right, you too, champ, you too. Uh, I don't know if the phone lines are working on our landline. Let me try Contrell in Connecticut. Are you there? Yeah. Okay, okay, it's working. Might have to, might have to send a count punch. I want, to shout, I want to give a shout out to NUA because I never was one of the guys that truly believe in him. He's doing incredible, he doing incredible things. I got to give credit where credit is due. Also, I want to come for Wilder Coach right now, Malik Scott. He's horrible, and I think Deontay Wilder is done. You watch the interview, you see how he say, oh, I'm sensitive. He said, AJ want to quit. He's had everything wrong, man. And on top of that, let's put some things in perspective. But Malik Scott, he's been with Wilder for the last four fights. In four fights, three of those game plan went horribly wrong. Three. So I don't think Malik Scott is some kind of great trainer. I also don't think that he should be with Wilder. He needs someone that's going to have Wilder on the front foot doing a jab, keeping him in his face. But, yeah, everything that Wilder's saying right now, let me know he's cooked. And I don't think he can beat the AJ I saw Saturday night. Your show not- will go live in five seconds. Four, well, three, two, one. We hear you. We hear you. Don't don't worry about no. uh, she acting up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the the AJ the Wilder I saw the Wilder versus AJ I think AJ can beat that Wilder eight days a week, and then he comes up with all these excuses. Oh, and then one thing I did not like about AJ I don't know you picked it up, but he was so okay with losing. But hey, I, I don't know what's going on, but I lost. But yeah, but it's okay. Blah 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 blah. I like the A I like the Wilder was pissed off that he lost. That didn't want to shake Tyson Fury in. You know, that real nasty, mean, like, Wilder. And I don't think he's coming back. I hope Wilder retire. I love Wilder, but I didn't think he's he sleeping on Saturn Seeks too much, you know? He got everything in life that he needs. He got his wife, he got money, and he's happy. So I don't I don't like seeing Wilder get whooped on. I'd rather him retire. All right, Jim. Hello? Appreciate you. What, but what do you think about that? Hold on. What do you think that in the last four fights that Malik Scott been with him, three out of four game game plan went horribly wrong? What do you think about that, Ness? I mean, <clears throat> can't really say the game plan was wrong in the in that third Fury fight. My man, my man fought like a dog, you know, and he ain't look as sloppy as he did in the Parker fight. In that Parker fight, he just came all the way apart. It was looking crazy. Um, but he fought better in that Fury fight. His right hand was there. He was still he still had that dog in him, you know what I'm saying? Remember, he put Fury down. I just think it was a complete difference between that fight and this fight. Technically, like looking at him technically, mechanically throwing the punches. Bro, we seen more hammer fists and slap punches and and feminine uh, throw, you know, like, feel like technique from him in this what last fight than we ever have in one fight ever. Uh, but, oh, yeah, Dan, you said counterpunch. My bad. Okay, but, hello? Yeah, we hear you. This is what I mean. You're going to bulk up to 234 to 243 and take in and third while to fight. Horrible idea. 
because now you're going to get fatigued quicker. And this last fight, I don't know what the game plan was. And well, I the just, game plan was stopped. to move. That's why he was he weighed less, and uh, that's why that's why he weighed less, and that's why you know he moved more. In the last fight, he knew he had to deal with Fury, who was heavier, so he weighed more and moved less. He gave away his advantage though, with speed. Nah, I hear you, champ. I mean, I think he gave away that by not fucking throwing the right. All right, well, I'm going to listen to this. And last thing, Espinosa would kill anyway. I mean, you know, arguably he was losing the fight, so he got that 12-round knockdown, right? I didn't watch it. I was asleep. I was mad I missed it because I got to go to work, like, in a few minutes. But I didn't think Rafael can fight too good on the outside, and he got that dog if he got to fight on the inside, too. As long as he don't get cocky like he did against Robisi and go from South Paul to Orthodox in front of him, the easy pickings. Mm -hmm. I think. Well, let's hope he get it. That'll be his lottery ticket, boy. I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. All right, champ. All right. I got fats coming back at you. Yo. What up? What up, man? What up? What up? What up? Uh, I ain't see the news where he fight, but good performance. You know what I'm saying? I keep hearing that dude saying that he moving up, running away from Bam. I don't know about, I don't, I'm not sure he about He can't that, be but. running away from Bam. He at 22. Bam ain't coming up that high. Bam only fought as high as 15. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I don't know about all that. I don't really know too much about Bam Rodriguez. So I was like, I don't, I don't really, I don't know how true that was. But um, good performance by Anuiwe, man. I mean, dude, dude, good. I don't know about him being number one pound for pound fighter, though. We want, we might want to pump, pump the brakes on that. I mean, he did and, uh, undispute two separate divisions in 12 months. That's unheard of. Crawford did it all right. It don't even matter. But, um, no, 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 no. Crawford didn't. It took Crawford unified at 140, then it took him almost seven years to do it again, right? I mean, but talking, who did it first? Who did it first two times? Champ, ain't this better doing it twice no. in a, in a no. year? Nah, you no. tripping. That's bias right there. No. You tripping. No, you can say what you want to say. I mean, uh, if somebody about, tell me, fight. if somebody tell me it's difficult to undispute, and I do it twice in two separate divisions, I'm the fucking man, bro. I, I mean, I mean, look, I don't want to, I don't want to do that because I don't want to uh, take away from his day or nothing like that. But that, that was a good performance. But on Wilder, yo, Wilder going out sad, yo. I mean, this this shit, there's no way he looked at that performance and came up with that with that three. I mean, you really think AJ? Scared to fight you. I mean, that that dude will whip you from the O2 arena to back to Saudi Arabia. Bro, bro come on, bro. This, this, he, he need to cut that shit out. And then these YouTubers, the 78 guy, I mean, he ain't doing nothing but massaging his ego. Like, yeah, he, yeah, I ain't never seen him look that happy. Man, shut up. Man, shut up. Tell that nigga the real, man. He don't, he don't work hard, man. You know, he don't, he don't work hard, bro. Like, it, it been, it been came out, he don't really train consistently. I mean, the dude just started running miles at 37. I mean, get the fuck out of here, man. Nobody want to hear all that boy. I mean, bro, come on, bro. You sound crazy as shit. AJ will whoop his ass, man. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they'll probably still want to make that fight if it's some money into it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get that. Like, dude saying that, uh, like, some dude saying uh, uh, they wish he would have been got where the breeling. And I'm like, shit, I mean, he looked it better with Breland. Like, I mean, he looked trashed without this man. I mean, I mean, it's clear that Breland helped mask a lot of his weaknesses because, good God, he been, he been awful. His defense, he's still out there doing the rolling, doing the rolling with the defense. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? You, I mean, he just got his hands up, blocking the sun, trying to get out the way of the punches. I'm like, yeah, bro, this, this shit over with. Anytime a fighter admit he lost his killer instinct and all that, bro, it, it's over with. It's over with. You yeah, like, he was you saying like that in the team. interview. Like, yeah, I got to get my killer instinct back. I'm like, damn. It's over with. He out there making R&B songs and shit. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, you know, clearly, clearly, dude just ain't, ain't in it no more. And I think he had a good career for a late starter. I think it's a good career for a late starter. But, um... It, it, it's time to hang it up. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. 
You get what I'm saying? You know, he never really had a lot of tools in his toolbox, so it's, I just don't see him adding it now. And people saying, well, AJ got his got his killer instinct back. Bruh, AJ got skills. That's that's what y'all not understanding, bro. Like AJ got skills, man. And I never heard, I never heard these gym stories about him not having a good work ethic. Like, you, like, like Wilder, Wilder don't got a good work ethic, man. Like we can't sit here and say he can do the same thing. It's just, it's just not the same. Plus, AJ, AJ not in no protection, no PBC protection bubble. He fight everybody. That dude fight everybody. So. You know, good good win by New York. Yeah, and, and Wilder fans, I, I'm a Wilder fan time. too, but it's time to hang it up. Appreciate it. All right. What up, Shot Town's finest? What up? What up? How I sound? You sound tired as always. What is it? Central time over there? Nah, it's central, but I sound cool. I'm plus. Yeah. Crystal. Nah, you crystal. Did you watch the fight or what? Tanichi, Biz. You know I did. That's why I'm Bro, and you're not even using the attachable mic. That's crazy. Nah, no mic over here, Chan. My fucking, uh, the camera on my laptop, it's not picking up. Like, it's not. And it's crazy because I could FaceTime, but I can't use it on Skype. It says no camera found. So I got to get that figured out. Hmm. But did you watch your boy, though? Who's my boy? What you mean? The monster. Oh, that ain't my boy. But yeah, I watched in a way, of course. The Palace did better than I expected, bro. Wasn't that fucking crazy? I mean, he did in in sense of, like, survival. But, like, how nah, many rounds you did tripping. you really give him? No, yeah, you right. Like, I'm not saying I scored a bunch of rounds for him, but... In each round, he was competitive. He landed some nice shots. Like, he had mad success with his right hook, for sure. And then he had that highlight moment where he fucking landed uppercut right hook in the same combo, same hand. I'm like, whoa. Um, but he was doing all right, bro. He was cutting that distance. He was not afraid whatsoever, bro. Uh I was a little bit shocked when the knockout came because I'm not, I mean, knocked down, excuse me. When that knocked down came, I'm like, damn. He was almost looking like he could take all of Anue's power until that moment. I'm like, fuck, this motherfucker's power is just is just too crazy. Like, he, he dropped him through the guard and partially blocking. Like, that shit wasn't a clean right. That was crazy. The kid got some, some real, real crazy power. Hurtful shots. Hurtful shots is what I saw, uh, you know, like throughout the fight. So I just feel like it was, a, you know, uh, an accumulation of all those hurtful shots. And then that one, that one that he just couldn't take it no more. Bro, and that's another thing. Tapala has landed so many right hooks to that body. I mean, I know the game plan for the next fight are going to be the, to, 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 to the success. Well, you got to be a southpaw for starters, but... Fucking hell. I wish they give us a punch stat on how many rights to the body landed. That shit didn't slow him down either, though. I thought that was going, you know, at least slow the punches down or slow the movement down or decrease the power. Bro, he invested in the body. Shout out to Tapales, man. He, he, he really tried. He wasn't out there trying to pick up a check, not in my opinion. What do you think of the uh, potential fight with Neri and May? It seems like they're going to they're gonna lift a lifetime ban to what? allow the fight to take place. What has he been doing? I don't even, like, has he been active? I thought he fought once on, on PBC, I maybe think, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm campaigning for the underdog. Fuck all that. Move to 26, fight Espinosa. There was rumors you was going to fight Robici or Lee Wood. Lee Wood vacated. The only biggest name up there, I mean, he ain't a big name He, because, you know, he's coming off of upset. So you capitalizing off the momentum and the fact that he got a country. You know, we seen him receive like three fucking parades in, D, in I was about to say DR, but I meant in Mexico. Uh, Rafael Espinosa will present the challenge. Well, it, wasn't, it wasn't three parades, but, you know. I mean, bro, it was a, it was a he got a parade. And a parade. He got a parade yeah. and they met him in the, in the, in the airport, you know. They, they was waiting for him in his house, 
hella people. My man was doing the serenade with the guitar for okay. his mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I ain't see nah, that. this kid is he's he's rock star status right now. He he posting pictures with the with the belt in the in the, in the, in the, in the bed. Nah, I mean, look, you could always I bill it. I did see that. I did see that. Yeah, you could always bill it as uh, David and Goliath, right? Because he's so tall, or maybe Jack and the Beanstalk. I don't fucking know. He's so tall. The other one's so small. I think it makes sense. Plus, Espinosa presents some danger with the pop. Like at the end of the day. You know, he showed some pop, so it's, it's, it's good for uh, the danger of the fight. But did you catch the, the, the Wilder interview or the clips that we put in the prepo? You muted yourself. With uh, 7A, right? True. Wow. Wow. Oh, okay. That was, wow was the response. Man, wow. You know, um, so there was just so much, man. There, there, there was just so much. I didn't see the interview, to be honest with you. I didn't. I didn't see the interview, but uh, I saw bits and pieces. I mean, it's all over Twitter, right? Yeah. It's all over the internet. Everybody's talking about it, good, bad, alike. Um, you know, they talk the rematch. He said that him losing made AJ perform the way he did? Yeah. Wow. Wow is all I can say, brother. Bro, like, and, and that and that uh they never wanted the fight. That they never wanted the fight. That he heard, he went out and said that he heard if he would have won, AJ was gonna retire. Now, the difference between what Wilder did. And what AJ did, because this is AJ, you know, uh, post-fight being interviewed, wrong screen share, post-fight being interviewed, <laughs> and uh, this is his interview. Nope, wrong one. Okay, let me go back here. Come on. Okay, that ain't work. We're going to do it the, the, the hard way. The thing that he said about me, I could rip him apart right now. But I'm going to take the higher ground. Refresh that, just so you can hear the beginning. It's important. Uh, everything that he said about me, I could rip him apart right now. But I'm going to take the higher ground. And I hope he comes back. Where does that fight stand for you? I mean, there's been so many stops and starts with that fight over the last few years. Was that loss in your mind kind of the final nail in the coffin for that fight? Now, granted, like, he didn't hear Wilder's interview. But Wilder heard his and still said what he said. Meanwhile, AJ says, I could rip him apart right now. I'm going to take the high road. He could still take the high road without trying to still make the fight. He takes the super-duper high road by, by, by not shitting on Wilder, but also still trying to make the fight. What? His loss? His loss. No, why would... Listen, um, look at the boy. Let's be real. Right there, he could have been like, nah, hell yeah, he shit the bed. He ruined the fight. It's over. Nobody wants it now. I did my part. I signed. All he had to do was... Like, he could have said so much. And he's saying, nah, look at Dubois. What this evening? You know, he's come back and you can do anything. Just don't give up. Keep on pushing. Keep on striving. You can do anything. And if he wants, he can come back and he can fight. And before we get the AJ haters and Wilder protectors, I'm going to say that was genuine. And remember, Wilder protectors, that post-fight message was as genuine as Wilder's message to Tyson Fury. When Fury was down and out, and he said, get back. Come on, if you want to train with me, let's make this fight. So before y'all say, oh, nah, he ain't really want the fight. He just showing face. He's saying blah, blah, blah. All the bullshit that you've been spoon-fed, think about that. Wilder had this moment in his life, too, where he could have shit on Fury, who jumped in the ring and talked a lot of shit. And instead, he said, nah. I want him to get back. 
He could come to Alabama and train. So. Another day, in it? It's up to him. I'm sure everyone still wants to see that fight, right? Or the he ain't even had to do that. He ain't even had to do that. He ain't had to say, I'm sure everybody wants to see the fight. He could have just ended it with. He still. Nah, he did. He did he's it. still, like, I'm, I'm trying to say, like, you know, we need to just be real. You know, people like, oh, I don't know what happened with Ness. Bro, my eyes is open. My eyes is open. Like, bro, we still talking about excuses. Like, yo, do you know that they trying to say it was the cryo chamber? Frank Warren saying Shelly Finkel told him Wilder got I, injured in the cryo I, chamber, bro. Like, the excuses I don't stop, see, bro. This shit don't make sense. I did see that. This shit don't make sense. Like, how we going to keep doing this, you know? So then, uh, there's no way you, you can hear that clip. That must be old. Let me check this message. Yeah, that's old. So, uh, so, so, so then he, you know, he says on the show something like, oh, uh, you know, I made these podcasts hot. Now they taking shots. And it's like, bro, I'm not taking shots at you. I'm just keeping it real. You got to get motherfuckers who's... who's you thought... Who's, yeah. So you thought, you thought that was for us? Or for you? Come on, <laughs> Who else is for, bro? Everybody know, man. I'm the Howard Stern of this shit. So it's like, you either going to come and, 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 and sit in the hot seat or you going to talk about the hot seat. You know, you going to talk about... The shit that's crazy is that that was a day after the fight. This now two pound for pound fighters, two elite fighters, however you want to call it, two elite fighters that's thinking about TBV 24 hours before and 24 hours after their biggest fights. Like, what is y'all doing? Y'all tripping. Y'all got the focus. Y'all got the focus on the fight. Stop worrying about everything else, even though I'm right, if you do listen to me pre-fight, you might get some decent advice, you know? But I don't get it. Like, if you don't want to come here, it's because you don't want to answer to the people because my questions aren't even my own. My questions come from the people, you know? So we got posts. I, I say they name and... He's familiar with that, so he know Brandon in Cincinnati going to drop a question and James Benitez going to drop a question and so is C-Dub and so is LV and so is Edward in Alabama, you know? But those questions will be mixed and some of those will be something that's probably difficult to answer. He's always answered, but when the narrative went from this ain't a fair fight, they cheating, you know, shit, shit got switched there for, for many of us. But um, if you don't want to add anything else, we could go back to the phone lines. I tried to pause since you had jumped on. Yeah, I mean, I want to apologize again. I had some tech issues this morning. Happy holidays to everybody. I'm happy to have the channel back. It's very funny. I you know, as you know, I'm in Chicago with my family right now. And a very funny moment occurred yesterday. My sister, uh, 17 years old, she's like, so why did the channel get flagged? And uh, I didn't even know how to answer that because it took me a second to process what she was asking me because I had no idea she knew the channel was flagged. Uh, so definitely happy to be back. You know, I know we was killing it on the backup channel, but uh, but yeah, champ. I mean, a hell of a fight. Shout out to everybody who was up bright and early, or stayed up late to watch uh, watch the undisputed fight. I know there's gonna be a lot of chatter, and there has been a lot of chatter already of fighter of the year. You know, Inouye is absolutely in the running. Terence Crawford's in the running. Haney's in the running. Benavidez in the running. So. It seems like everybody has like those four names. It's gonna be hard. So. To, you said though, it's you, it's you who said that it's not from January to December. Like both those undisputed no, 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 weren't no, no, this no, no. year. Yeah, that's correct. The two undisputed, it was December to December, so it was done in a thirteen month span. Okay. 
So but people, they're not twice in like, one year. Nah, so that's they're twice like, in like, a year. Oh, oh, but it was so close. I'm like, bro. So if we're gonna count your last fight in 2022, are we counting, you know, Haney's fight against Cambosis? Are we counting Bud's fight against Sabanese? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not how this works. It's January 1st to December 31st. Now, depending on what country you live in, Nesta, they may start the week on a Sunday. They may start it on a Monday. But the year, you know, I think except in, uh, in China, right, they have a Chinese New Year that is later than ours. But uh, I'm pretty sure everywhere else celebrates New Year at the same, same time in January 1st. So, Um. We got the first super chat of the day from George, the last Patriot, five dollars. He says the co-main event of the Inoue card was insane. Anguchi versus whoever nearly killed each other. Fight of the year if they were well known. Uh, I think I watched that. Is that like the taller, kind of like my complexion dude that was still from Japan? He had like he, he you know who he reminded me was of that, was that the undercard? DJ Samora was that the undercard? yeah he didn't rem- watch it brother he reminds me of DJ that's who he looked like but I did see that fight uh it was a good fight it ended in knockout um I got they, a they said Ness what's the C four thing you got on the table that's a C four towel from Devin's uh last camp we never gave that towel out. Nobody ever wanted it, so it's just been there. Bro, it looks like it looks like you did some end of the year cleaning. Like the table looks empty. I did, I did. We got rid of uh the Jared shirt finally and a bunch of other things. I got a new glove here. It's Joe Joyce, even though he took two losses, we probably should have did that a long time ago. Uh but he'll be back. He'll be back. We got Mossberg in Australia with the $50 Super Chat. He says, thanks for the entertainment this year. Merry Christmas. Chuck a counterpunch in there for CYP to cry. Damn. All right, let me drop some bombs for that. <laughs> Salute. Uh, he sent that 45 plus 5. For CYP to cut the line. But he wants you to cry, CYP. That's funny. That's funny. Merry Christmas, ho, ho, hoes. Huh? You motherfuckers. Look, man. <laughs> ah, let's, let's, let, let's get to the brass tacks, right? I'll tell you how I feel personally. I think he should retire, so I don't need to see him fight no more. But I remember, you know, I love Roy Jones more than I loved Wilder. And Roy Jones to listen to what the fuck I said. <laughs> He did what he did. And I'm going to tell you, all y'all Roy Jones fans, ask yourself this question. When he got knocked out by Tarver, didn't y'all pick him to win against Glenn Johnson? Then, didn't y'all keep picking him to win? Because you, you're a fan of it. So you kept picking him and you was like, God damn it, God damn it. We might have to go through that. We might have to go through that. That has nothing to do with me. Y'all could, hey, brother, hang it up. You did enough for me. But, yeah, you're going to do what you do. So it is what it is. Now, I was looking up some history. You know how many motherfucking fights we had of old dudes that had names? Are dudes that had names that we didn't ask for, but the names was big, so they fought anyway. Y'all know Ali and Frazier fought three times, right? You know that third fight? Yeah, it was the third one. You know that B-Hop and Roy Jones fought when nobody asked them to fight? When they both in their 40s? Y'all remember that? Shit happens. If they, if them two dudes really want to fight and, and it's a big fight, and I guess we really want it, if y'all really, really want it, push for the fight. If y'all want to see the fight, push for it. If you think AJ going to whoop his ass, push for it. Don't sit here and cry about shit because then it's going to make me seem like y'all don't really want the fight. If you want the fight, get behind him and say, you know what, AJ, fuck it. A- Eddie Hearn, stop saying the fight is over. It's a contract, Tommy. Honor it. Y'all two fight, make a lot of money, give people what they want, if that's what y'all really want. But we do that on TV a lot. We do a lot of fucking talking, and then when fights get made, we say we didn't want them. Y'all said, oh, P- Pitbull Cruz, um, Tank didn't even beat him. Tank didn't beat him. Tank, he-, he couldn't even knock him out. Then they schedule him to talk about a rematch. We don't want that fight. Make your minds up. Do you really want to see Wilder, AJ? If you do, say you want to see it. Tell Eddie Hearn, stop saying the fight's over. If Wilder say he wanted, AJ say he wanted, let the motherfuckers fight, dog. Fuck it. Who fucking cares? Lastly, man, um, when it comes to Inouye, I ain't going to lie to you, man. I- I'm going to be honest, it's going to sound kind of harsh, whatever. 
but I don't really rate fighters that small because most men are not that size. So if you are a dude who fights at the teens, how many men are that size? I can't look at you as pound for pound best, best, uh, not pound for pound, but the best. Dude, who are you really going to fight that's that small? Like, let's, that's, that's just how I feel. That's just really, really how I feel. Y'all can be mad at me all you want to. Not saying he's not a great boxer, but come on now. And then let me add the spice onto this shit to get y'all mad. If Wilder can't box and Wilder is not great, why the fuck is he worth $80 million? Why does he have a statue? Why was he champion for five years? You motherfuckers think that skill is more important than winning in boxing when all boxing is about is winning. You guys are confused. Michael Johnson versus Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis got great technique. Michael Johnson doesn't. But Michael Johnson was also a world record holder. Or do, do y'all, man, some of y'all know that, some of y'all won't. I'll be back here. You may see why Damn, I guess that television deal never came through for the the Prudential Center, or maybe not for this year, because this is on Fight TV. Did we know that already? Yes, we did. I think the, the deal was for next year. Oh, because fuck. And, Yo, yeah, Nico Hernandez. Remember remember, Vito said that he's not even going to be on the stream, that he's fighting like yeah. after... Yeah. Crazy. What, what, you, what were you saying about Nico Hernandez? No, it's not Hernandez. It's, it's Nicolas Hernandez. So this ain't that dude that we was thinking about. Right. Nico Hernandez uh, out of Kansas, the 2016 Olympian, is who we were thinking Paul about. Paul Crow's on this card. What's that? Joseph Robot? Adorno's on the card. Joseph Adorno is for Embraglio, the dude that, uh, the Dominican kid that, uh, uh, Ryan knocked out a few years back. Lamana defending his belt. Somehow he got another WBA. But, uh, we all taking phone calls. Bro, Gio it was like 14 fights on that card, right? On that, um, the, I don't the have the full card? bout sheet. I don't have the full bout sheet. Okay. JX, no, J, yes, JXV88, $2. In way is pound for pound number one. Crawford, number two, no tune-ups. Tyrone the Great, member for seven months on that champ level. He says, it was easier for way to be two-time undisputed than Bud because of politics and money is on his side. Him and Japan is the cash cow, 126 and below. For pound for pound, we can 1A and 1B for the number two. No one else is top two. Okay. You don't think no one belongs at number two? You like 1A, 1B? I mean, I personally... He, that means he's not bumping one. up. He's not bumping up Canelo. I mean, some people feel Usyk should be up there. Mm. You know, and if he beats Fury when they fight, depending on how he beats him, I guess he would have a good argument, wouldn't you say? I mean, if he beats Fury, yeah. Shout out to Jonathan Sims for the twenty dollars. Like for him, for especially for him, who he didn't start at heavyweight, so he's actually gone up in weight, which. Is typically the argument for some people that say why they don't include heavyweights, but for him, I think uh, you know he's shown going up in weight, going up to heavyweight. Shout uh, out to should be should be interesting. Go, go ahead. Um, my bad is that you know I feel like you pause and then I think you're done and then whoop you hit us with another line. But shout out to Jonathan Sims with the twenty dollar super chat. Uh, and he sent that via Cash App, so we ain't getting that 30% rape in your records. And he said, Merry Christmas. So, shout out to you. We got Mike Hicks. Salute. He says, Merry Christmas, Ness and Danny Glove emoji. Did you get the package? You know I did. Salute to Mike Hicks for the coffee. <laughs> Certainly drinking the coffee right now. Appreciate you. Man, uh, we going I mean, out. I've been going. 
I've been going through my mom's K cups, champ. Oh Tell yeah. Me. You had to take a box with you, bro. I got Giovanni no, on. No, I, I I went to the store to go buy some last night because I had already went through half a box. I'm like, fuck. Damn. Man. Yeah, nah, we coffee drinkers for sure. Giovanni on the check in. What it do? Good morning, fellas. Uh, blessings, man. Hopefully, everybody having a good holiday season. Um, shout out to Inaway, two times undisputed. Um, I didn't watch it, but I was listening to live commentary from True Media with Coach Malachi while I did my run in the morning. Um, so, you know, I was listening to it. It seemed pretty good. Uh, I did hear he got a little stunned and, and knew it did. So, you know, I guess it just shows uh, there's some vulnerability. But, I mean, all boxers are human. And at the end of the day, um, it's one of those things that I actually kind of agree with Baby Charlo. You know, Baby Charlo, I, I only agree with him on a few things. But the smaller guys, I don't really check for too much. I mean, my daughter, who's 11 years old, is taller and weighs about the same as these guys, you know. So it's kind of hard to, like, have so much interest in it. Like, uh, I don't know. It's just crazy to think of grown men being that size. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I, I give all credit where it's due. And, you know, anybody talking about Tank, uh, you know, fighting a new way. I know some people saying, nah, it's too much for a new way. But, hey, it'll give Tank fangirl something to look forward to because he ain't I, fighting no other real you names. Don't, so. You don't like it if he comes down? I think if, if Tank goes to 30 and a new way comes up to 30, that's eight pounds for a new I way, mean, five for Tank. I, I, Tank is I the A side. I would watch it for sure, but you know, it'll just be another person Tank brings up to beat down. But he'll be going down too, though. Who who will be going down? Well, Tank would be going from Tank? thirty-five to thirty. But I mean, honestly, I don't even know if Tank can make one thirty. People are saying that Haney's too big for Tank. I don't think Tank can make one thirty anymore. He, he he lightweight a fat dude. Like people forget how fat he gets when he's not in training camp. Pretty big. Um, he's, he looks to me like about 160 or so around there. I mean, he um, went down for the Leo Santa Cruz fight. I mean, I know that was a minute ago, but, but that was a couple of years ago. I don't know. I think I think if oh. if 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 Benavidez yeah, could get down from plus ago. 200, Benavidez goes into camp I, four months early to get down from from whatever he getting down. I don't even want to say 200. And 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 then, and then he goes back up nearly 30 pounds. But you know, nobody's crying about Canelo. I mean, Benavidez being too big for Canelo, we all want that fight. But for some reason, Haney's too big for Tank. It is what it is. Um, but, you know, as far as Wilder goes, shit, why am I not surprised? I say this shit all the time, right? But even before this fight, I was saying nothing but excuses. And he himself has self-proclaimed that he lost that killer instinct. I said that he went down to Mexico and fucked around with that DMT shit and lost all his fighter spirit. Like, he lost his heart. I said this shit. And people, I don't know, kept saying I was just being a hater and all this other shit. But at the end of the day, like, he had a decent career. People trying to say, oh, he's had a phenomenal career and he could be proud of. And he, he defended his title 10 times and never once tried to unify. What the fuck you mean a great career? He's had, he's had a decent career. Yes, I'll give him that. You know, you blessed with a right hand from God. You know what I mean? Being able to fucking drop people the way you have. But he himself has said he lost that instinct. And it is what it is. I mean, shit, he punched Hellenius and started crying. So, I mean, we I think people just need to stop protecting him. And, man, we'll see what happens out of, for next for Wilder. You may feel like it's Talk your to you time, guys. But it's not your time. I say he, he dropped Hellenius and started crying. You're funny. Um, let's see what we got here. If you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. We need the algorithm yes. to know we are back. What up, champ? Back on the main channel. Hey, you laughing, but I'm for real, champ. What up? At my message, talking about I'm gonna be tuned in. No, I know, I know, I know, I know you are. I, 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 I'm laughing for two reasons. Cause you're gonna watch tennis, but also wondering if you, you know, got the VPN, or is that part being? No, no, that's that's regular design. Oh no, because you know how some they over there they get different sports. I didn't know if that's why 
that was being promoted. But we got a counterpunch from Kentrell cutting the line again. I don't see you there, champ. You certainly not there. Okay. So in the meantime, I'm going to Georgie in Boston. Boston. Hey, yo. Hard sound, G. Straight. Down and out. What's bro, up with you, Georgie? What up, D? Nice seeing you around. How's your Christmas, bro? Man, it's cool. First you Christmas get... with the family in 12 years, man. So just been enjoying it. I'm glad for you, my brother. Glad for you, everybody out there. A beautiful Christmas. But little time to talk about shit. First of all, CYP. That nigga talking mad shit, yo. CYP, you got to come the fuck down. First of all, we don't got to go to nobody. This is the voice of the people. Where the fuck had he been? I didn't hear how to come to this neck of the woods to answer questions for the people for a minute. We don't got to go nowhere. We're already here. They know where to find us. That's number one. That's it about Crawford and Inoue, like because Inoue did it in less amount of time to be undisputed in two different weight classes. Yeah, that's a really good argument. But at the end of the day, we're kind of biased because we're on this side of the, you know, we're on this side of the, of the pond. We don't know what's going on, like, worldwide, we're kind of biased. Crawford from the United States, so of course we're going to have more pool here. But in Uwe, in Uwe could be like the next Pacquiao. Yeah. We don't know this shit. Haney could be the next Mayweather. We don't know this shit. You know, so, like, we got to be, like, don't be, you know, blocking your mind about that shit. Like, like it cannot happen. It could happen. That wild shit that he lost his spirit, that he went to Mexico, drink some tea, whatever the fuck he did. I don't want to hear none of that. You go there, you perform, or you don't perform. The excuses afterwards, that, that's, like, I don't know. I guess, like, entertaining for hardcore. But at the end of the day, yeah, he said it. He lost it. He don't have it on him, so move along, baby. There's many people out there who can take his place. Now they say open up. The whole division is up and up. We could see like AJ before Wilder was supposed to knock out AJ. And now we look at what they're saying that he's going to beat him. That the fight may he never even happen. That shit is crazy. Like five, ten, I mean, five years ago, that shit would have been unheard of. But everybody on TVB give the thumbs up because this shit is mad low, though. The thumbs up don't add up for the amount of people watching this motherfucker. A thousand niggas watching. Can't put a thumb up. Incredible. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, I gotta go, I'm out. Appreciate you, champ, appreciate you, man. And he's absolutely right. We are extremely low on the thumbs up. We do need your help with the algorithm. You know, the more you hit that thumbs up, the more they know we back on the main channel, getting this out to all the people that don't know we, we are back, right? We got two super chat from Kentrell. And uh, he chose to go feel like it's your time. via but it's not your time. Cash App to save us that 30% rate. And you records, he's super chat number one. Wilder admits that, no, Wilder admit that he's sensitive. Three cringing faces. If you can't take constructive criticism, then you can't grow. Hang it up, Wilder. I don't like to see you get beat up on. That's the first super chat. Second one, one thing Wilder said that makes sense was that if I'm AJ, this is the best time to fight him. Wilder's timing off. He looked horrible. This will make AJ look amazing. I mean, that is true and false, right? Because now Wilder has 12 rounds, so the rust is gone. Coming into this next fight, he's going to have 12 rounds plus a camp. He might not be rusty. He might, he might give us a better performance. Kind of like Tio looking bad in Sandor. Then, you know, he got the win, though. But some people thought he lost, right? He just got lucky or did enough. But, the, you know, people still question that performance. Then the next performance, he came back, he looked great. So that's how boxing works sometimes, man. This is a little crazy. Up and I down. Think, uh, I think... 
we also see a lot of times fighters fighting to the level of their opposition. So, you know, he wouldn't get up for a guy like Sandor, but he'd get up for, you know, a former undisputed champ. Yeah, I mean, exactly. And Wilder should have got up for, for Joe. I think he got up too much. He, you know, he, he, he probably built Joe up in his mind. Because we've seen Wilder come forward on Fury. Now, in his mind, he did believe Fury was a feather-fisted fighter, a pillow fist. But even after being knocked out, he still came forward on Fury. But then that's two knockouts back to back. So you start to question yourself. So I think that's where that back foot mentality came from. Um, they need to let him get a few knockouts. Did, did you even know that, that Parker had four wins this year? This year, bro, four wins. That's crazy. Including Wilder? Bro, Andy Lee had two fighters, Parker being one, 4-0 and 3-0 in one year. This year. That's crazy. Oh, I, I, AJ's another dude, 3-0 and this year. Wilder just got to be in control of his career, tell Shelly. Be active. Get, exactly. Tell Shelly, get me fights. Just get me fights. Let me get my rhythm, my mojo back. That's all that it is. Um, Brandon, Cincinnati. Hello. No, Brandon. Let me see. Trying you again. Yo, TBV has my audio. Feliz Navidad. Uh, loud and clear. What's going on, fellas? Hope everybody had a great Christmas. Spent some time with your families um, and loved ones. But um, let's get to this boxing. Uh, let's get back to this business. I think today shows the tale of two fighters. You got a water walker and you got a talker. Shout out to Anue, the water walker. Two-time undisputed. Went in there and handled his business. Not his greatest performance. Wasn't as technically uh, sound as um, I've seen him in the past. But I've seen a man walk a guy down, counterpunch well, land big shots, very accurate per usual, and got his guy up out of there to become two-time undisputed in 12 months. A new way is the real deal, um, period. Pound for pound, number two on my list. Greatest, uh, in my opinion, the best fighter under the welterweight division. I hear guys talking about they don't respect the little guys. That's all fine and dandy if he wasn't getting knockouts. But he's getting KOs just like big men are getting. So that you don't respect the little guys, that's, that's bullshit. You just don't respect real killers. You respect talkers. Um, what I want to see next from Anue, I want to see him fight MJ Akhmadiliyev. I mean, Topalis was more than deserving of this opportunity because he didn't win a vacant strap. He wasn't emailed a strap. He didn't get a belt and then sit on a fight in uh, nine contempt com opponents. He took the strap from a French pound for pound guy, MJ Akhmadiliyev. So he was more than deserving of the shot. I knew he would be game. I knew he would fight with some pride. He was just in there with a bad motor scooter. So I wouldn't mind seeing Anoue stay at that division for one more fight, beat MJ Akhmadiliyev, because I think Akhmadiliyev is still a great fighter, and let – um. Luis Alberto Lopez and, and, and the big guy that just beat Robisi fight each other and unify, and then you fight the winner of that fight, you know? So I, I wouldn't mind seeing Inouye stay where he's at and fighting MJ because I think MJ is the real deal. I think he ultimately just, you know, had a night where the better man won that night in Tapales. I'm not ready to give up on MJ. As far as Wilder, Wilder's a fucking clown, man. He's a bozo. There's a reason why he goes to 78 sports because nobody else will listen to that stupid shit he be talking about. Um, I hope he just fades into oblivion. Uh, lucky for us, we probably won't see him on the elite level again. This talk that he should get the AJ fight anyway. Get the fuck out of here. We knew you have to win. AJ has to win and we'll get the fight. Now we want to shake it up and say, well, he lost, but we still no, we don't. We need to get the he can't talk his way into a big fight like a Jarrell Miller. Let 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 you allow Zhang or Philip Agrovic or some guys that are putting in real work, getting real wins, get the fight against AJ. They're more deserving. I'm not buying that 
cryo chamber gate, ayahuasca gate, peace pipe gate. Like it's your shit. So but it's not your time. yeah, water water's finished. Um, like I said, if you want to hear that goofy shit, go to 78 Sports and listen to it. But yeah, as far as him getting AJ fight, fuck no, he don't deserve bro, it. We don't want it. All, bro. How you gonna say peace pipe gate? Get out of here, man. You from Mobile, Whatever, Alabama. I how you gonna do that? You from Mobile. You gotta ride with Tuscaloosa, Slammer, Hammer, Bama, Cham, Champ. What the fuck? My man said Peace Pipe Gate. <laughs> um, yo, I love it when AJ winning only because these UK dudes come back, man. Shout out to Coyote, man. I see you, Champ. I'm going right to you, Champ. I miss y'all. Fucking AJ gotta be, he gotta be winning for these guys to show up, but that's okay. As long as you show up. Take a moment if you know the words. Day, day, day. Come on. Remember this classic? KOD. Ju K stand. Can you guys up. hear me? We hear you. We There's hear something you. going on with the audio. I hear you. Oh, I can hear you. Hello? We hear you. We hear you. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. Um, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to try and talk. So I had a few points to make about that. I just want to go straight into the whole Wilder thing. Um, I unfortunately listened to the whole interview with 78 Spots and how anyone can listen to that. Is, yeah, that interview is very painful. But anyway, um, I made a few points that I wrote down. So I'm just going to go through them. The first point is, it is very clear to me that Wilder is a very deceptive character. And the reason why I say that is, you know fully well that you and AJ signed the paper, right? You know fully well that you signed to fight. All you had to do was win. Well, both of you. All both of you had to do was win. You had this fight signed. But he was still doing interviews, going about saying, oh, he doesn't think that AJ should be main event, that AJ is ducking him, that AJ doesn't really want to fight him. So at the end of the day, it, to me, it just seems like Wilder is just feeding his fans with BS. He, and he just, I don't even, at this point, I, don't, I think it's just pathology. Because, like, if you really want the fight, wouldn't you actually focus on your fight with Parker? But all you kept doing was talking about how AJ doesn't want to fight you, knowing full well that you had this fight signed. I mean, that's, that's just, that's, I can never understand that kind of behavior. So I just wanted to point that out that, you know, this is a man that can never be trusted with what he says. Um, the second thing is, and I think everyone should know this by now. Wilder is completely surrounded by yes men, people who can't tell him the truth, people who would feed his delusion, because we know this guy is a delusional character. I mean, you, you made excuses for the Fury fight, came up with the most ridiculous things on the planet, said it, your trainer who was trying to protect you, like accused him of drugging you, like how delusional can you be? to say those things and then you fire this guy and then what it seems now is all the guys surrounded by wilder i mean um 78 sports included his trainer malik scott his manager the one that looks like the guy from um i don't know some other planet like all these guys literally just feed that delusion like this guy cannot be helped so that's the other thing I wanted to say. Um, the, other, the other point I want to make is this. Um, even if AJ fights Wilder now, if AJ beats him, he will never get the credit. Because people will say, oh, he's fighting a washed up version of AJ, this, this, that. So the truth is, if we still want that fight, Wilder needs to fight like top contenders. The Hegovichs of the world, the Zangs, you know, fight a few guys end your place and end that fight with AJ. If not, like, we don't really want to see that fight. I mean, I still want to see the fight. But I know for a fact that if that fight happens, he will never time. get the credit. 
Champ, that's the bell. Appreciate the call, obviously. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, go ahead and smash the thumbs up so we can get more callers on here. Because you're going to push the algorithm. They're going to know we're here. You're here. You want to talk. You want to voice your opinion. We got Treese, Toledo, Ohio. Yo. You seen, you, seen Yo. The, you seen your boy was listening to the show, right? A lot of heavyweights Ooh. was listening to the show yesterday. I put it Jerry was listening as we come up. Yeah, I put it in the Discord. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, shit, like I said, man, I've been trying to, I've been, I've been needing y'all to get Jared on here. That'd be the play, man. I need to hear, I want to hear his take on them fights, on them heavyweight fights and whatnot that had just took place. But uh, with this, with this in a way though, I like him. He looked good. He looked decent. He on his dark. He took a little bit of damage though. He was uh, I mean, not really no damage for real, but. He got caught quite a bit. He was taking some shots. Uh, Pale had a nice little jab going. I like that. He was knocking his head back a little bit. But uh, what, uh, I hear I hear everybody talking about him going up for Tank. What y'all think about him going down for like Bam? What how what Bam fight at? Bam Rodriguez. I know Bam he was at one twelve. Uh, okay, I think that he had weighed in at like 114, 115 at one point though. I think. So yeah, like, that's I where he fought Quadras a few years ago. <laughs> Yeah, he won okay, about okay. at 15. I think the better fight for Inouye would be Junto, who just moved up. So, you know, he's about to have his second oh, fight at 118. Dude. And I think Junto Nakatani, you know, he probably has one of the knockouts of the year because of the quality of yeah. opponent that he did that to. So, you know, I think that that would be a better fight. I think it'd be huge in Japan. I ain't never been to Japan, but God damn it, I want to go for that one, shit. Mm. <laughs> you want to go for Junto versus Nakatani? I mean, versus Inoue. Versus Bam. Yes. N no, no, no. Wow, for no, Junto. No, no, no. I mean, Bam. I mean, if it's Bam, Bam I'm there. Oh, for Bam. Right. Okay, because, I mean, you said. No, 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 no. But, yeah, yeah. No, you're right, Ness. I was talking about Junto. Like, if they make a Junto versus Inoue fight at the Tokyo Dome, you win I'm there. there. I'm there. God willing, hmm. yes, sir, I'm there. Wow. <laughs> but, hey, I like, uh, I I like the Bernardo Lopez Junto. fight. I heard I heard my man Brandon say uh, Bernardo Lopez and Esp what is it, Espinosa was his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you going to say that when, yeah, you, yeah. Gonna say that when you like called that. one of his fights before? So, the, are we talking about Nakatani's brother? Who he fought, who I he mean, his about? last name is Maloney. Katani, he talking about Maloney. Oh, because you saying Junto. I don't know if you saying Junto's his last name. I only know Junto Nagatani. I don't know just Junto. So I'm thinking Junto's the last name. Like maybe he had nah, some bro, other shit. Like you Ryu ask? Junto. Hey, are you who are you referring to? Like well, that, come I, on, just bro, that, no? I just did that. No, Junto Nagatani. I just bro. Did that, I just said. I just said he has one of the knockouts of the year because of who he knocked out. Maloney. He knocked out Maloney. He but Chant, but Chant, Zang knocked Damn out Joe. Zang knocked out Joe Joyce. Like quality of Not opposition. Not a former world champ. Who? Joyce was an interim champ because he was letting he motherfuckers on dispute. But anyway, go ahead. We took about thirty That's seconds good. from you, Champ. Get your get your get your wrap up in. All right, listen. Basically, all I want to say is I like the Bernardo Lopez versus Espinosa for them to fight, and then if anyway want to move up, he fight the winner of that. But uh, y'all find a way to get Lamont Roach on this show, man. We got some Albert Bell questions for that guy. But shout out TBZ, shout out Toledo, Ohio. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Be cool. Word. We got Jay. What up? What's up, fellas? How you doing? Straight. Hey, um, just kind of wrapping up on the Inoue fight again. The guy proves the guy is legit. Definitely, uh, <laughs> I was also impressed by Tapalas. So it just proves that, you know, Inoue is really taking on those guys that he needs to take on. And, of course, you know, creating a unification fight, or in this case, undisputed, much, much needed for boxing. We've got a lot of it this year, thank God. So we got we got anyway up there as well. It's gonna be hard, man. Whoever's gonna do boxing of the year, it's boxer of the year is gonna be very difficult because we have some standouts this year. 
Um, so I'm looking forward to see how that breaks down. Um, as far as this weekend, great night of boxing. Uh, hey, I dropped my 40 on it. Had the zone definitely got my money this month with Devin um, and the subscription. I hadn't subscribed in over two years. So you put you put on cards like this, and I will subscribe. So I'm sticking with them for a while. Um, as far as the weekend's fight, I got just to wonder if any of these Wilder guys are starting to come in or PBC guys, have they been calling in? Us? Have they been calling in? What do you mean? Yeah, have they been calling in, kind of like just talking about the fight, Wilder, his performance? Oh, yeah, people talking about that all weekend. Oh, okay, okay. So... But actual Wilder fans, PBC fans coming in, talking, not like a mixture. Avoiding the Cer- certainly a mixture. You know, you get you get the guys that are avoiding and 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 not talking performance, and instead talking. All right. You know how there's other 38 year olds that've gotten beaten or deteriorated. You know. Okay, so some guys have come up, talked it out, but I hear I hear some excuses today. Um, so for all those guys who are down with your boy, uh, you know, bomb squad, yeah, cool. But for all you guys who are missing in action, gone squad, as in gone, as in you guys are not in the building, uh, not in reality. You got to immediately come up and realize Wilder needs to fight AJ to recover his, his basically his legacy. He has a shot. I like what AJ said. Look, you can come back. You can get 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 it. They can still get the fight. He's still built into the fight. I got to give uh, John uh, AJ props for that because, you know what, like you said, other guys can just melt him down or basically melt Wilder down, talk trash. He chose the high road, yes. But Wilder, you can still do it. I'm not a big Wilder fan, but I believe in second chances. And I believe if he gets things right, that fight can still be a major super fight. But he's not going to get the money that he thought he was going to be for. So let's get it. Let's get that fight going for 2024. Maybe Wilder gets a, a couple tune-ups by the end of this year, next year. Maybe we get that super fight. Because I think there's still a lot of interest in that fight. But it's not your time. Other than that, we out. Champ, Danny, who did Moradon just fight? MJ, he just fought, right? Because I'm like, I heard Brandon talking about, oh, he deserves the fight. Yes, but it's like, yo, Tapales just beat you. You know what I'm saying? So why 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 does Espinosa have to fight another dude, unify another title, and 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 Moradon just gotta lose his belts and and win versus who? Okay. MJ just beat Kevin Gonzalez. Okay. Six and zero. Okay, that's uh that's uh. Pandas, out of, out pandas, yeah, pandas. Other fighter, he stopped him, right? Yep, eighth round TKO on the Bam Rodriguez yep. and Sonny Edwards card. Yep, yep. I knew he just fought. Yep. Um, I mean, I don't know. Does that earn you a shot at undisputed? Like, who who deserves it more, in your opinion? Like, Espinosa with the upset fucking. Win. I mean, my man's record is, you know. There was well, keep no it, keep in mind, telling keep in signs. Mind, keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind that uh, he wouldn't be getting a shot at undisputed unless he were to go down. Who? Espinosa. No, 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 no. He's saying he being Brandon Cincinnati that don't go up if you're monster. Stay there, defend it one more time versus MJ who lost to the Bales and now beat Kevin Johnson. And in the meantime, in between time, talking about let Espinosa unify with Venado Lopez. And I'm just saying, why does he got to go through the fire and MJ did not? Like, yeah, he won belts, but he lost them. So you... Yeah, but you, your question to me, your question was who deserves... The fight with Inoue more. Deserves un, you said undisputed. My... So that's why, that's why when you said that, I'm like, well, Espinosa's at twenty. Semantics, champ. You know what I'm talking about. Who deserves to fight with a new way more? I mean, yeah, man. Look, I mean, who is there really? He's already beat two of the top guys in the, or he's he's already beat, yeah, two of the top guys in the division. The uh, another one of the top guys was beat by the guy he beat this morning in the MJ. So it's like, I mean, the Nary fight, 
is is uh look man i'm a nary guy but because i'm a nary guy i know it ain't it ain't that you feel me he just followed a guy we ain't heard of with a bunch of losses in mexico uh you know he did that the fight or two fights before that so you know uh yeah I, you know i thought he was having success with figueroa until he wasn't but uh i just don't think that's the fight personally Which means so which maybe, which, which means, guy deserves maybe. it more? <laughs> no, nah, I mean for sure. I, I mean, look, uh, this at twenty two is probably going to be Nary. Uh, you know, I think the Junto fight, even if Junto move up, is like a year out. Is in a way going to stick around that long? Probably not. Uh, so yeah, I mean, twenty six. I wanted the Robesi fight before he lost. So I guess Espinosa isn't a bad option. Um, in house, right? Or or no, no. Who's Espinosa with? Uh, Beltron and Top Rank. Yeah. So in house fight. I guess, you know. And actually, well, they said in a way in May. Why do you think he wants such a long layoff? I don't know. Holidays, religious shit. Who knows? Family vacay. Could be so many things. I don't know. Because I was, I was gonna say, if it's Espinoza, that fight would be great in March. Because they could kind of play it around the uh, World Series or, or the World Baseball Classic, because you know Mexico's a part of it, Japan's a part of it. Uh, you know, it's something that's really been getting pushed the last couple of years. So I'm like, they could play off of that, but obviously, if they want to wait till May, fuck it, Cinco de Mayo in Japón. I. Cinco de May. Want? My, I, I want Espinosa. I want the underdog story to continue, win or lose. I don't think he beats so, him. I'm not saying he beats him, but I mean, he obviously presents more danger than MJ, right? He's taller, he's longer, and he's shown he got real power. Plus, uh, this kid will be moving up. So, you know, we don't know if his power translates another four pounds, right? What is it? Another. Another what? Two pounds? Where is he at now? 26? He just went... No, 22, so four 26, pounds. 26, so four pounds. Yeah, four pounds. So, you know, uh, yeah, I think that there's more questions there than with MJ who lost oh, to Tabales. So is that the... All right, I was thinking and I'm not saying one loss so means you're anyway. done. I'm, I'm not in any way trying to say one loss means you're done, but the mystique is gone, though. All right, so hear me out. They were gonna do um they were gonna do in a way and Fulton in Japan Cinco de Mayo weekend last year. Mm -hmm. What if we get and and in a way is already talking about uh Cinco de Mayo weekend for Neri, I think. So what if we get Why is he doing May, Cinco de Mayo what in Japan? Yeah. Wow, he got the same Tokyo Dome. Okay, so what what time would that be at this time? Like but, this shit was at but look though, three in the morning look for though. me. Yeah, so they you know they got to figure that out. But if they could do it, what time? Let me see what time it is out there right now. Cause bro, if they could do it that Sunday, listen to me. He would top rank, which is with ESPN. If they could do it on that Sunday, before. The uh, Miami Grand Prix. So every Cinco de Mayo that Sunday, they do the Miami Grand Prix. That does crazy numbers. And that's like middle of the day. They do that shit at like noon. So if they could do that shit like morning time in America, leading in, yes, you know, some of the people that's already waiting for that shit, leading into that. And then I don't know what time it'd be in Japan, but, you know, that'd be to me a good play. Still Cinco de Mayo weekend and shit like that, even though they're in Japan, to gain some of that American, uh, Mexican American and American audience. 
did I Sunday morning did fights? I, did I have a bra- brain freeze, or did you not like? Did I did you not say it's still three in the morning? Nah, I said I said you. I said Sunday morning, so oh Sunday I, morning. So I think I, well they were gonna do Sunday last year, but uh, I think. They do the the race in Miami like 3 p.m. Eastern. So if they could do the fight at like 1 p.m. Eastern, so 10 a.m. West Coast, Mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? I think that'd be great. That's around, that's the just as long as they could change the time, right? Because that's what I was mainly asking for that reason. Like, if he fights on Cinco de Mayo, would we have to watch it at three in the morning again? Because this was insane. They said the car started at 12. I didn't even wake up till 1.30. They didn't even start fighting until I think 3. Well, look. Um, right now, currently, what time is it in Vegas? 7.43, right? Yep. Yeah, so what I'm at, so 7.43, I'm asking for 10 a.m. So that means 10 a.m. out there. 10 a.m. in Vegas is 3 a.m. In Japan, so they would have to like do like a super late night card out there, which literally was just done by Riyadh. Like it was two thirty a.m. for the main event local time in uh, Saudi for the card this past week. Damn. Um, let me see who we got. So it can be done, Nesta. It can be done. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, everybody has to sacrifice a little. Like, is it ideal for people to start watching sports at 8 in the morning on the West Coast? I loved I it. Mean, I loved I mean, it. Listen. And so many people I, have called in since that fight, Danny, to say that they enjoyed it coming on at that time and that they, they wanted it on that time. And, bro, I literally went out Saturday night. We went out. That was fire, bro. Where'd y'all go? Where'd y'all go? Uh, we went to a night spot for sure. Had some drinks and music. Did you, uh, so you was able to take like a nap after the show before y'all went out? Uh, I don't think so. I think we just like went out like two hours later and did like a uh one of them after hour spots. Bro, I ain't even tell you what happened. What happened? I left your house. To go to the airport, right? Yeah. I get there, go through security. I'm at the gate. They say, hey, uh, bad weather in Chicago. Oh, uh, yeah, we seen that. Like, fog, right? We thought bro, of you. They, bro, so they said flight's delayed an hour. Damn. So in my head, I'm like, here we go. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm like, here we go. So then the time they, you know, the hour's up. Now, you know, we supposed to start boarding. And then and they're like, hey, uh, so, you know, bad weather in Chicago, uh, flight's delayed till tomorrow morning. I'm Whoa. like, what the fuck? So you went back so, home? Yeah, I went back to the crib. So I just asked, I'm like, what's up with my bag? Do I need it? They're like, nah, it'll stay on the plane. You'll get right back on the same plane in the morning. So, boom, go home. I set like 30 alarms. I'm scared, right? I got a 6.30 a.m. flight. It's Christmas uh, Eve. I'm scared. Set like 30 alarms. You know, wake up, boom, go to the airport now. We get there. We board the flight. No, first, they delay it again like another hour. Damn. So we board the plane. So now I'm in my seat. And, bro, there's people across the aisle from me. And they did a little su- a little seat switcheroo. And now the, the, the flight attendant come and they got the, the passenger manifest and they going through it. Bro, that shit delayed us another fucking hour. And it was the most But why? Because they didn't want to tell the truth about their seats? They No, bro. The, the people literally asked one of the flight attendants. The people literally asked one of the flight attendants, hey, he, the, the guy had a young son. So he's like, hey, can, can can my son sit there so he could be by me and by the window? So the dude was like, cool, bro, simple, simple. The flight attendant was like, cool. But I don't know 
what the fuck was on the passenger manifest they couldn't figure out. This is literally right across the aisle from me. They made the people get off the plane. Bro, we sat on that plane once we boarded for an hour before we even took off. I was so fucking frustrated. Then we land, and uh, there was no gate available. So we sat on the plane once we landed in Chicago for another 40 minutes. It was crazy. Was mom's cooking worth it? Because you made it for, for Christmas. Oh, man, man, man. I had... I had about a dozen and a half tamales, 24th, and then I had about another dozen yesterday. My bad said and, a, uh, he's at a dozen and a half. Bro, yeah, that's a so lot. 18. Yeah. Yeah, no. Man, I was eating, bro. I was eating. It was worth it for sure. It was worth it for sure. Mom's had a bottle, nineteen forty-two, waiting on me. Damn, you know, so, the good yeah, stuff. Yeah, you know, he, I put her on, and now you know that's what she likes. So, uh, it's funny because you know I don't even drink like that no more. But me and Mom threw a few back. That's what. It's I'm... only right. It's only oh, right. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, can... it wasn't even an airline thing as far as the weather. Now, the passenger manifest shit and the seat switcheroo, yeah, that, I'll call that an airline thing. But, uh, but the it was the airport was not allowing flight incoming flights for like a 12 hour span because of the fog, it was so bad. Mm. Looks like I got another super chat cash app. Uh, this is actually counterpunch, but I don't see you. Maybe he wrote that wrong. Yeah, I think this is it. he wrote counterpunch, but meant super chat. He says, uh, we love the fact that boxing came on early Saturday morning. Shout out to them last highest. Think that his name, think that's his name. Hopefully we can keep it going. The last high, is he talking about his excellency? When he's saying shout out to the last highest? Yeah, it might be, he might be talking about to shout out to his I excellency. I don't know. He got, I don't know. He got to be talking about to his his excellency because he's saying shout out. You know the you know he loved the fact that the time slot and all that. Got to be shouting out him. Uh, Jaime Moreno, what up? Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. What up? What up? Um. I uh, appreciate y'all for the work, man. Happy holidays to y'all. Uh, Danny said he eating uh, two dozen tamales, man. I believe it, man, because I be doing the same shit. You know? Uh, pour some sauce on him, man. You can't get me out of the kitchen. Bro, bro, the steam was, like, the salsa was so, like, freshly homemade. The, you know, the steam coming off the sauces. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. So it's like steam coming oh, off the tamale, yeah. steam coming off the salsa. Bro, you got me licking my lips right now. I'm about to go uh, throw some in the yeah. oven. <laughs> nah, we about, we about to do round two on New Year's uh, with my family. So, yeah. About to, about to uh, get some pounds this, this end of the year. But uh, real quick, man, um, man, I hate to see Deontay Wilder go out like that, man. He he going out like like a fortunate like, you know. Yeah, I, it's just sad, man. You know, uh, I felt like AJ kept it classy, and you know, to be throwing shade, you know, after the fact, you know, it's not a good look. You know, I was hoping he'd make a comeback. But, you know, if you're talking like that, man, like, where's your head really at, you know? Uh, for me, I think it was the inactivity that did him in, man. Like, what's it been since you fought, you know? You got the Hellenius fight, but that was, a, you know, a short a short outing. So, you know, how long has it really been since he's, you know, been going around? So, 
you know? What can uh what can we expect? But I was not expecting Joseph to do him like that. But you know, shout out to him and as far as anyway, man, uh I really I really didn't catch it. I woke up and I watched like two rounds. I started watching like round five. I watched like round five and six and then I dozed off. Next thing I know, I opened my eyes, they they putting the belts on them. I was like, Oh shit, what happened? <laughs> But um, from what I saw, man, the father to a game, you know, I think uh, it had more to do with in a way, you know, not not really uh, worried about him. And you know, I like to see, I like to see guys who know their, you know, who we all know, you know, are are there to lose, but you know, they go out swinging. You know, uh, I, I really admire the father's performance for. Uh, we're not not just you know going there for a check, man. He's really you know there to defend his belt. So, you, know, way you may can. feel like it's your time, but it's not your I appreciate time. Appreciate y'all. All right, champ. Appreciate you, Tip Bellis. Yo. Yo. What's the word, man? What's the word? You catch the fight? Nah, bro. I was up to like 3 o'clock, bro. I had to go to work. Yeah, so I dozed off. But I did I did just watch some of the highlights. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that your division, B? So, that's always 130. I mean, I could drop down there. But, uh, yeah, shout out. Shout out to New Way, man. Uh. It looks like I'm going to have to change my mind. You know what I'm saying? I did have Ushaki Foster as fighter of the year. And now I got to say, uh, it's it's not Uwe any, anyway, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog got the polys about it in round 10, man. He hit him with a vicious straight. And I ain't even expect that. You know what I'm saying? The way the polys reacted to that joint was type crazy. Not going to hold you. Not going to hold you. Uh, why why exactly he does he deserve fighter of the year, in your opinion? I mean, he just beat, did he not just beat, whatchamacallit, uh, 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 what's his name, Cool Boy Stuff? He just beat another champion. Then he just he just moved up to be another champion, right? He just beat Tapales, who was a unified champion. I mean, why why does he not? No, no, no. I, I mean, he, I wanted and, you to make your case. Undisputed. And he undisputed. And his opponent put up more of a fight. Then, uh, you know, the guy who you going to uh, uh, dispute for, you know what I'm saying? I already know where this is going. So, I mean, you, you can even ask the chat, and they, they'll probably argue the same thing, too, in agreement. But, you know, that, that's that's my case right nah, there. You can't, uh, you can't argue with that. You know, in one year, my man unified, right? He he took Fulton belts, then he undisputed. Like, you can't, you can't, you can't, yeah. you know, can't, so all, that, that's can't my, argue that's my that. Reason. That's my reason being. That's my reason being. Uh, I don't think it's really thing got 126 for him, for real, for real. What? Stop, I mean, stop overlooking I mean, Espinosa, man. He just became the new dog to talk about. Like, why we want? Why, why wouldn't we want to see that? I mean, that's a cool fight. I mean, I really think the fight for him is uh, at 130. I think the fight for him is at 130. Get you a Joe Cordina. You know what I'm saying? Possibly why Cordina, bro? I mean, somebody got to fight Joe Cordina, bro. We can't keep pushing Joe Cordina. Since why, he never fought, fight why, he, why he never fought Shakur or Tevin, man? Like, ain't nobody really, like, like, come hey, on. Hey, well, look, he ain't get them. He can still get somebody else. The point is, somebody got to fight Joe Cordina. It's a good name to fight. You know oh, Shocky did. And that's what, that's what I'm leading to. The biggest fight for him at 130 is Oshaki. Who? That's a That's a... Uh, 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 for a new way? Anyway. Nah, yeah. I meant I meant Oshaki there for Joe Cordina to, you know what I'm saying, fight. Oh, I, you out I, I here like, wilding. I like that fight too. I like that fight too. <laughs> Yo, how is Oshaki the biggest fight for a new way? Please tell us. At 130? Yeah. I mean, you, like, look, you either got Cordina, you got a, a, a Lamont Roach, or you got a motherfucking Oshaki. Who you gonna pick is the biggest fight? Tank. Come on, man. He could drop five. All right, well, all right, well, look. Use that as a fight that could lead the tank. It's the, it's the green print. 
I don't you know. know what I'm saying? Man. Look, Osh- I think Espinosa, I ain't even trying to hate on Oshaki because he's another underdog story, and it would be okay for him to get that fight. But I think Espinosa brings the country, bro. He, he and he brings the power that Oshaki. He ain't convinced the world he got power. Like, yeah, he got that last come from behind stoppage, but that that don't mean he punching every fight. But Espinosa. Espinosa record indicates he's a puncher and then getting the, the 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 fight the knockout that he did like it shows he could punch for real it ain't a fluke I don't know yeah, then the but, height I mean, bro, you got the about... height and the reach like how how don't you want to see that I feel like that's more issues you know for uh Inoue than any other fighter but that's just my favorite I don't, I don't, I don't, I guess. Th- I don't think so I don't think so much, bro. I think he give him a good scrap. He give him a good scrap for sure. Will he win? I don't think Espinosa will win. You know what I'm saying? I, think, I just think a new way would be too much. This is going to be somebody who really got to be able to outbox. Bro. Uh, can he hurt him? If he hurt him, he finished him. You seen how that kid's a killer, bro. And this only going to yeah, make him bro. better now. You know how that go. I don't, I don't know if he hurt him, bro. And you that's, know that's who he trained thing. with. He trained with Robles. Robles should be trainer of the year. That's two upsets in one year. That's crazy. That's crazy. Bro, that's crazy. He got Ramla Ali this year. Because they going to overlook him. I'm sorry. I'll talk about that. They going to overlook him, though. What's crazy is I did think uh, Robesi would have got him out of it. You may feel like it's your time. Damn. Damn. Can anybody hurt him? That's a good question if you move up. Because, I mean, the bigger them guys get, the harder it is to knock them out. And he taller, longer. So even if a new way yeah. power carry, can he can he reach the target and do his power carry up another four pounds? But, you know, power carries with speed. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got the speed of a new way. So, I mean, it, it's a good touch. And he moving up that's four pounds, I, he going to get slower. You talking about speed. That's why... I, <laughs> Yeah, that's why I think Oshagi a good match. Because, I mean, Oshagi, he, he not a power puncher, Tell- but he got enough. He got enough popping his punches to keep you at bay, more than more than the rest of them guys. They saying baby. they saying Cordina fighting Lee Woods. See, that's some domestic shit. That's what they got over us, man. They got that over us. That they domestic level fights. They take advantage. Like if we'd have got Wilder Miller ten years ago, that shit would have been dope in Alabama. Like they do domestic shit. Look, Lee Wood gave up his belt to do a domestic fight with Cordina, bro. Like they. Bruh, Over we in need, New we York, need that. I mean, Wilder, Wilder sold at the Barclays. Bro, they could have did it anyway. I'm just saying Wilder in Alabama because he was hot. When when that fight was hot, he was hot. So take it to your hometown. I mean, they can, still, they can still bring that fight back, honestly. I mean, I yeah, mean, of course. It, 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 you know, it, it, I want it. I want it. But that's a bad style matchup after watching that Parker fight. <laughs> I, I think that, that that might be the fight Wilder need, bro. Wilder got a dig, bro. Homie, Look, you got a homie. Fork. Joe Parker he, is three inches smaller and a hundred a hundred pounds lighter. Wilder was on the back foot with that dude. Imagine with this dude. I ain't trying to hear that shit. People sleeping bro, Wilder, on y'all sleeping on big baby. It's okay. We we gonna be Wilder right back. Harder. Wilder punches harder. My bro, that, that my bro. Little, he gunshot. He gunshot. You got to bank on. You got to bank on what we banked on last fight, that he going to throw a punch, that he going to land a punch. that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the fight you need for Wilder in order to dig, bro. But that's you what need I, a fight that's But that's what Wilder I'm saying. Dig. Is he going to throw it? Bro. That's why, that's why we, that's why we want to see the fight. Like, bro, and I Big think, Baby show he could take a punch. That might be much. Let, let me, t- let me remind you. Him. Let me remind you. The motherfuckers was talking about Dubois Wilder since since Dubois was like 8 and 0. Okay, and Big Baby took all that shit. The ref stopped it. He ain't even go down. You know what I mean? I ain't saying he could take Wilder shots, but I ain't saying he cannot. But I got to let you go. All right. Yeah, I don't know how how you feel. I mean, I know it's only one fight, but that's just boxing. You only as good as your last fight. Like you think Wilder can knock out Big Baby after seeing what Dubois did? I'm talking about KO, not TKO. Be clear no. here. No. Exactly. That boy was taking punishment, no. boy. He was taking punishment. He got some determination in him. He had that same will to win that Wilder had in them Fury fights. He was... but I didn't like it. In no way am I saying that Big Baby looked great taking 
you know, blocking with his face. I'm just saying, motherfucker showed he wanted. He wanted. And he gonna be there to give you some issues. If you can't, if you can't motherfucking uh get past the fact that he in your in, in your face for 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 for, for what, however long the the fight is, then you going you going you gonna crumble to that pressure. Uh, yeah, he gonna make it ugly. He gonna make it ugly. It's gonna be uncomfortable for Deontay. For sure, for sure. Shout out to my sister in law for the new water thing. They didn't like me drinking out of glasses and shit. Chad, what up? Hey, good morning, guys. Chilling. What's going on? Not much, man. Boxing day. Just having a coffee, relaxing. Uh, good to see you, Danny. Glad you uh, got to go home. It's funny, man. When you were talking about uh, being oh, on that gosh. airplane, yeah, thanks, man. Um, I was thinking about, you know, like with social media, the last like five years, six years, you, you see people complaining and talking a lot about wealthy people on their private planes and people complaining and, about that. But like, tell me something, if you had the money, you would have dropped 50 grand to get off that fucking plane and onto a private plane, right? Like you wouldn't even think twice about it. Shit. Like. I need to know Dude, my tax flying? bracket before uh, I can spend 50 on a flight. Nah, bro. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll, yeah, I wouldn't. If Even if I had the money. Yeah, I know. And, That's crazy. And, and, 50 and, grand? And being around people that have money and that get private jets. Bro, like, I, I don't even think having the money. I will say, though, if I had the money, I, I probably would have flew like... Um, United. I probably would have flew like United. Why wow, you went spirit? Uh, man, I went Frontier. Shout out to Frontier. <laughs> Cheapest flights available, baby. <laughs> well, they got you there, uh, so that's good. But but again, <laughs> you again, you like, landed. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Nah, look again. Majority of the issue it was no control. Chicago Midway, Chicago O'Hare had zero incoming flights from the twenty third. Uh, it was like a 12 hour window, 13 hour window. Oh, wow. So, but it was just the, it was just the, the shit afterwards. But again, it's like, I bought my flight last minute. I bought the cheapest flight available. You pay, you get what you pay for. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I'm, and, oh, yeah. and I'm a guy that has flown on all airlines. I'm a guy that has, that, that that's flown business class, first class, been on semi private jets. So it's like, I I don't know, like for me, I wasn't, I just wanted to get home to my family, but I wasn't really like overly pissed. I was just getting frustrated uh, that at the whole passenger thing, I'm like, bro, you either kicking them off or you keeping them on the plane, but let's get the fuck going because what is Yeah, going? let's get it going. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's funny. Um, anyway, just quick. Um, I liked what you were talking about with, with Neary and I get, I get what you were saying about Neary as far as a uh, fight for anyway, but look, man, when, if you look over the whole division and, and you think about not who deserves the fight, I mean, partially they got to deserve it, but also who can challenge anyway? Like who, who can give us a good fight? I do think Neary is a, a logical choice, man. He, he, he fits the bill on a lot of ways. He's got the experience, former champ. Um, he, he can fight. He can bring something to anyway and hopefully push him back a bit, maybe challenge him uh, in close. Um, you know, give anyway something to worry about a little bit in there, right? Other than just kind of doing his thing. Um, I think Neri is a good choice. The thing is, guys like Aleem, even uh, Akhmedalyev, uh, uh, you got young uh, Sam Goodman, these guys... Uh, they're right at the cr at the crest of uh, contention, right? Like they're, they're these guys are ready to start challenging, but can they challenge anyway? I mean, I'm down for it. I'm down to see Risa Lean get in there, but can he beat anyway? Can he challenge anyway uh, fully? I don't know, man. I I'd like to see if anyway is only going to stick around for two or three fights. I want to see somebody challenge him. And I got to be honest, I would love to see a Fulton rematch. But where is Fulton? Fulton's a fucking ghost. 
that Inoue fight is the only fight he's had, and we're heading towards two years now of uh, one fight for Fulton. So, Yo, I mean, he's, he's trying Fulton to move to can't 30. challenge it. But, bro, to 30? He's, he's going to 30. I know he's ranked at 26 in one of the in one of the uh, sanctioning bodies. I'm pretty sure he's ranked at 26. You think he's just done it for, with 22 and in a way he's, he's just moved on? That's just not going to be a, a possibility? Well, well, he had an exchange on Twitter um, he, where he said something like, I just want to fight. Then someone said, you know, uh, what weight? And he said 30. Damn. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's cool. I mean, I, I, I like the idea of it, but yeah, like I'd he's like obviously working on something. Six first. Yeah. Th yeah. Yeah. I mean, me too. I think 26, he should stop there and, and, and uh, get some fights in first, especially with how inactive he's been, man. I mean, uh, uh, I'd like, I'd, I love Fulton. I'd like to see him get back in the ring and shout out tip Bayless for, um, for uh, recognizing Oshaki Foster. I love Oshaki Foster and, and I don't think he's going to get fighter of the year, but in spirit, I got him as my fighter of the year too. I think if, if this next fight of his was in this calendar year, I think he'd be in real contention for fighter of the year, man. Um, he's bringing everything to boxing right now, man. I love it. I love everything about Oshaki, but uh, yeah, that's kind of all I got to say, man. Big up in a way, big up the smaller divisions and uh, talk to you guys later. All right, man. Appreciate the call. Phone lines are open. CYP. If you guys want to call in, voice your opinion. I'm Hello. just going to my man. He dropped off. Come on back, champ. Come on back. I got... Hold on. But like I was saying, phone lines are open, 425-569-5241. Suleiman the Scholar. Twitter spaces and Discord available as well. Suli, what up, champ? Hello, hello. Hi. Yeah, what's up? Mute. Yeah, what's up? What's up, fellas? You say, man, I told you about the boys, right? I told you about the boys and Ajay Kabayev, man. You saw how good he did, right? What boys? He walked out. What boys down. you tell us um, about? The, the heavyweight, me and Nestor, Nestor Gibbs were, uh, we was debating a, 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 a couple of days ago. Um, Danny Dubois. Dubois? Dubois, yeah. We oh, was talking about oh, him Dubois. on the show, I thought, man. I, I thought you were saying the boys. I thought you were saying the boys. No, I call him, no, I call him Dubois. Du, I, I, I mispronounced his name, but it's Dubois. Yeah, that guy, Dubois, he fought very good. Yeah, he made us proud, man. He fought yeah. real good. He put his hands real proper like on that dude right there. Uh, on Miller. And then Aja Kabayev, man, Aja Kabayev, that he got to be like the biggest uh, underdog winner uh, for the, this past weekend. He devoured that dude, man. That was I was shocked that he beat such a big dude, man. Everybody was vo sure, everybody was, man. was gambling. He put himself out there. Yeah, man. He, he and he got the exposure he needed because everybody's ducking him, bro. Everybody's ducking him. I think Mahmoud could do something like that too. He's another one. Everybody's ducking. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, so now getting back to the Japanese cat that just won today. Um, yeah, he's a fantastic fighter, man. But I just want to see him fight some real opposition. I want to see somebody hit him back, bro. I want to see him fight some controversy, bro. He he's cleaning the he, he, these guys are way too easy, bro, for this guy. What what make him fight in the states, man? See if maybe they 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 um they'll, they'll make it an even match, bro. Because that's like it's, it's, it's they all mismatches, man. Everybody they put in the ring, he's beating the crap out of them. They're not even hitting. Like this guy Tapalis wasn't even hitting him back, bro. He's like a punching bag, bro. He's like a he's like a a showcase fight. I want to see one of these guys actually clip this guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know he keeps moving up and wait. Uh, uh, this Navy guy, he got he got he got knocked out by Brandon, bro. So I I don't I don't see him as a threat. But if if he goes to 126, man, I want to see him get clipped by one of these guys, man. Yeah, like Rafael Espinosa, or uh, one of these guys drop him and. and I mean, make it realistic, bro, because these guys is, is you know what I'm saying? They're folding too easily, bro. Um, yeah, bro, I mean, did, did you watch the up. fight, though, champ? You watched it? Nah, nah I see, I see, I seen the, I seen the, 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 the previews, bro. 
Or, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm saying, like, this guy... Nah, he's, you he's, gotta he's watch it. Budget, bro. You gotta watch it, bro. He got hit this fight, bro. He got hit for real. Like, if you waiting for him to take a punch to see could he take it, he showed you that. He got hit with a beautiful same-hand combination. Uppercut, right hook. That shit was clean. Plus... Uh, the Bales landed the right hook all night, whether it was up top or to the ribs, all night, bro. Like, he had success with that right hand to the body. Uh, I think the kick could so take a punch, new, What's the negotiation with this guy? Um, He only fights in Japan, bro? They can't get this guy to come to the thing? I mean, it's not that he only fights in Japan, champ. I mean, he's offering people life-changing money. Fulton made $3 million versus this kid in Japan. Like, you, may feel like you know what I'm done. saying? It ain't, and, and he knocking you out. He's a star it, out there. It ain't, it ain't home He's court advantage, homie. He knocking you out. He don't go to cards. He don't need judges. You know what I'm saying? I, I respect that, Nesta. I respect that, man. You watched the fight. I didn't. I saw the previews, man. But the thing is that the guy, the guy was had a high guard. He was getting hit, man. So I'm thinking like the guy's not. He's not the goods, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, okay, man. Bro, bro, so I, I see you guys. Suleiman, you sit here and you give Mahmoud Char props, and then you do Bar props. Tabalez was a unified champion that took the belts from the champion. Daniel the boy, Daniel the boy. You know, the boy's only been a regular champ. He never unified. You know, uh, Tabalez took the belts from MJ. But uh, I'm going to get to some other callers. It's all goody. You know, um, I'm just saying we got to respect these think, dudes, bro. I think like, somebody I sent a counterpunch for him. I, I totally respect Apales because I went into this thinking he was not even making it. I'm glad I ain't even bet. <laughs> I thought he wasn't making it to the fourth, bro. He he went to the tenth and fourth where I want to see him fight again. I want to see him land that left hook on somebody else. Yo, yo. <laughs> Yo, man, the, hello, yo, hello. The, bully, the bully is back, man. Yo, I, I, I was looking at some shit like, I remember my man Brandon. You know, you know I love you, Brandon, in like a hateful little brother way. But you said, don't nobody give a fuck about no wild and that shit he be talking. Da, 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 da. Nigga, we doing a show on it. Everybody talking about it. You called in to talk about it. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, if, if you don't like it, change the station. Like, it is what it is around this motherfucker. Like, Wow to do numbers around here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to burst y'all bubble. But I remember I told y'all yesterday, some of y'all just need to admit that y'all really are Wilder fans deep down inside. I'm like, yo, retire. Y'all like, man, if he could fight this dude, he could fight that dude. Give him some two. Which one is it, fellas? Which one is it? Is he trash? Is he suck? He has no boxing skills. Can't teach the old dog new tricks. He gonna get killed. Which one is it, fellas? Y'all gotta make your mind up around this motherfucker. Because I'm confused. Because y'all y'all sound like little schoolgirls. Y'all sound like little schoolgirls. No, matter of fact, y'all sound like y'all on a telephone and some heels talking about, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. That's what it really sound like. I'm confused. Y'all, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta let me know. Y'all gotta let me know because this, this show is the only place where y'all lie to listen. You ain't gotta lie to listen. Just listen. Y'all talk about he never tried to unify. On this show, we've done shows over the years when he was trying to unify. He tried versus Martin. Nope. He tried versus Parker. Parker came to the fight. Nope. He went down to the zone. Didn't give him AJ shit. Nope. He offered 50 million. That was offered. Nope. What are you talking about? He never tried. Like, do y'all like to lie? Then y'all say, Wilder always down on the cards be before he knocked people out. Nigga, that was one time versus Ortiz in his whole career. Y'all just be making up shit to stay in the conversation, man. Hey, I don't know how old some of y'all are, some of y'all young, but there's a saying we, we used to use. You ain't got to lie to kick it, motherfucker. You ain't got a lot to kick it. CYP out. I remember that saying, but just just so you know, I think, I'm not saying you're right and I'm wrong, but I think Brandon said that, quote unquote, y'all like to talk the talkers, we or I like the water walkers. So it was, you know, he was, he was not saying we don't want to talk about uh, Wilder, more about we like people that talk like Wilder and Miller versus he likes people that fight like Bud and Inoue. That was uh, what he was trying to say. Um, we got a counterpunch from Cliff in Connecticut. <laughs> salute, Cliff. Salute everybody Yo. that counterpunches and supports the show. 
Cliff, 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 Cliff. We got three counter punches for Suleiman the Scholar, but Cliff, I know you were first, so you might need to jump out, jump back in, because we got three counter punches for Suleiman the Scholar. Salute to Lake County. We appreciate you, man. Can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. You? Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, um, I just gotta say, I hate fucking spaces, yo. I, I don't know why this shit don't be fucking working. But I heard the phone lines was working today. I hope them shits get back up and running. Because the spaces don't work right on my phone. Um, anyway. You got a droid? No, nah, I got the iPhone. I got the iPhone, like, 12 or some shit like that. Oh, that's, that's what it the, is. You, you know, they on, like, 18 right now. So your shit probably ain't got no space. Yeah, something's fucked up. <clears throat> but I woke up early to watch that anyway fight. Again, I was impressed, but I was impressed with um Tapales too, because the way Anywa destroyed um Cool Boy, like you you get a little ahead of yourself when you start to think like, damn, he could do this to anybody. Like, but did Tapales gave him a good fight, even though it was it had its like times where he was like, damn, he gonna get him out of there early. But the boy, he made adjustments, and he he showed that Mexican heart. I, I think he's Mexican, but he showed that that crazy heart and everything. Nah, so Tabales is from the Philippines. Oh, okay. Well, that's where Pacquiao from, right? Correct. Yeah, well, he showed that type of heart in, in anyways. Like, and I like when he went and he kind of went into the Philly shell. Like, I feel like he was in the shell in the, in the beginning, but. He really turned sideways, like in the middle of the fight, and it was working for him a little bit. It felt like it gave um, Anywa some some problems. Like Anywa couldn't really find the shots that he was landing early in the fight, so he did make it competitive, and he he bit down because uh, you know them punches was hurting because finally one dropped him um for the ten count. You know, the first one got him to like eight, and I felt like he didn't have to get up then, but he he kept fighting so. I respect um to Pilots. That was my first time seeing him fight. But <clears throat> and you will though watching him though, he might be the best best fighter I've seen um this year. Like I mean, I don't I don't think that's a stretch for me to say that. Like Bud is good <gasps> and yeah. <gasps> he might be though. Like really watch him. Like he might be the best one that that out there. Bud is the only one that we could kind of say because Bud done dropped like everyone, right? In that in the 47 division since he got there. So it's hard to put him over Bud. Drop but, and knock out. Yeah, he knocked them out, all of them. So it's hard to put anyone in front of Bud. It's not fair, especially Bud fighting the bigger fighters. So we don't really know what's up with anyone because he's fighting these little guys and the divisions is not deep. But God damn, he is special. Like, that's like when you're watching, then you could understand because he watch other sports. That's like when you watch, like, LeBron, Kobe, or Adrian Peterson, or Brady Mahomes. Like, you just see something in them that's just a level above the best players in the league and that's what i see in anywa and mm. and you will fight as mm. i think that'd be challenging in a good fight because that's when you should made his side of, you may feel like it's your time his size really was but a problem for obesity i think he could do some of the same things to anywa and make it competitive that's all i got for y'all you the man champ alabama what up Oh shit, Lil Rock, my bad, Ernest. Why well, I thought you was in Alabama? I, I don't know. I thought you were talking about me, but I wasn't sure. I said uh, it's Arkansas, you know, right <laughs> next to it, uh, a, a little couple of a state over. What up with you? Yeah, but what I but what I want to say is that uh, you know, I'm a I am I do consider myself a Wilder fan, but I like the sport more and I like money more. So I did bet on. On park, no I bet one way. Of my co-workers. Oh, you bet yeah, your coworker. I, yeah, I bet one of my coworkers because uh, I felt like Wild had been out the ring too long, and I was like, man, I don't know, man. You know, so I I do hate to see Wild go out like that, and uh, I would like to see him if he come back. I don't want to see him come back like he did. So, my bad. My bad. I think, yeah, I think he done made a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? It's 
it's cheap in Alabama like it is in Arkansas. You can buy land and everything, live good. And uh, But if he come back, you know, you got to come back with a purpose because he ain't got much but about one or two more years. So maybe uh, Miller, uh, Joe Joyce, or even uh, F.L. Jogba or something, you know, try to build himself back up. But I don't want to see him go straight into the AJ fight. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's, that's my call. All right, champ. Appreciate you. Counterpunch, Suleiman, the scholar, one of three. Okay. Yeah, man. So, so I just to continue with that right there, what this young man was saying. Everybody and it was salivating to see the Bora fight. Um, AJ, you know what I'm saying, for a minute because they, you know, the case from they're from the same country that'd be a big fight, you know what I'm saying. Also, Aja Caballero, all these cats that have been wanting to fight and prove they proved in Saudi Arabia this weekend, you know what I'm saying. Okay, and this young man, he proved himself in Japan, but I want to see him come to the states, man. I want to see him fighting PR like a big PR fight, you know what I'm saying, for that guy Rafael Espinosa because uh. He, he's running the belt from PR, from the WBO. I would like to see something big, man. Something big happen at 126 pounds. You know what I'm saying? This guy's knocking out everybody like Alfredo Gomez from Japan. So I want to see something like that big in PR, bro. Like a big mega fight up there with this guy, this knockout artist from Japan against Espinosa. I want to see if Espinosa has the courageous, is courageous enough to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you could push some strings and make that happen. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, but on this weekend, there's the boys. I mean, the boy, he stunned the world, man. He impressed me, man. Ajib Caballero impressed me. AJ impressed me because he's showing that he's following instruction, real proper like from his instructor, from this uh this this trainer that he got. And then this guy, he's gonna have to sit down and bite the um bite the mouthpiece, man, and go down to Bridgeway, man. He had the WBC and Mauricio, Mauricio um, Suleiman made a division especially for him, man, because at the end of the day, the kid got power, but he, he's just too small for them heavyweights, man. He can't take the punch retention that Wilder has. It's not, it's not made for that. And um, this young man, CYP, should, should admit that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's time for him to cut down and go down to Bridgeway, you know what I mean? Where he can make a home for himself, you know what I'm saying, real proper like, and continue to knock out these these uh the, this mid uh mid size heavyweights, you know what I mean? And maybe he could once he gets a couple of knockouts in his resume it's, uh... again, you know what I mean? You know, he could start, you know, uh wait, you know, wait for these guys to retire like a Tyson Fury. I mean he got three cracks of Tyson Fury, you know what Damn, I mean? Wait and maybe for him he could to get retire? That little... You tripping on no, but... <laughs> no, but I'm just keeping it real because I mean the guy's big, man. The guy's big and he could box. And he had three tries, man. Or uh, maybe he could, you know, get some wins on his resume, being a bridge weight. And then if the opportunity comes to uh, to go back to the big man. ring, um, big heavyweight division and fight the big guy, uh, one of these big guys like an AJ. Um, AJ's looking fit, man. He's looking sharp in there. You know what I mean? I don't know what they're doing, but this guy has going to have to start doing the same thing, man, if he want to compete at that level. He's going to have to make his hands move real proper, like, you know what I mean? I mean, I, like I mean, time. CYP, man. But it's Train your time. boy, man, the neck or something. I got another, I got another uh, got counter punch, right? You got two more. You got two more, it's champ. Funny, it's funny. But, yeah, but uh, we're going to bring you back. We're going to bring mix it up. That was fire, though, my man. <laughs> Jay Billy, what it do? Oh, man, that was funny. He said, yeah, he got to move his hand, son, real proper, like. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> what up? Y'all got me? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out Ness. Shout out Danny putting in that motherfucking work. But uh, Tapala surprised me. You, you got me? Am yeah, I clear? you're clear. Yeah, Tapala is, Tapala is most definitely surprised me. Uh, what I heard the announcer say before I knew what they got in the ring, he said, and New Way said that uh, everybody thinks this fight is going to be easier than what I know it's going to be. And that's most definitely what it was. You know, it was a fight uh, before the fourth round when New Way put Tapales down. But after he put Tapales down, Bro. it was a chess match. Uh, yo. You, you, you scanning groceries? 
Bro, he got work. I'm doing my order right now. Come on, we multitasking. Come on, at least I'm calling in. At he, least I'm calling he work. in. He at work, but, baby. Uh, let him do his yeah, thing. Man. Let's go, Let champ. Let's go, Thank champ. You, so this is what I'm saying. Uh, after that, after that knockdown, it was most definitely a chess match, and Topolis tucked that chin behind that shoulder. Did you did you notice that, Ness? Yeah, he started he doing a shoulder roll. Kind of, kind of a shoulder, yes, of a shoulder yes, roll. So uh, us seeing a new way, this was most definitely a step up in competition. I feel like he gave uh, more of a fight than uh, Fulton did. I just think probably Fulton underestimated a new way, or I don't know what it was, but Topolis most definitely gave up a better fight. You could hear his ring, his side from the outside yelling, uh, he don't like it to the body, he don't like it to the yeah. body. And Topolis was listening. Topolis was listening, but you can only throw your hands for so long against the new way before those punches start adding up. And it was just a, a moment in that fight towards the end, like the ninth round and the 10th, where he just stopped throwing his hands, you know? He couldn't do it anymore because every time he was throwing his hands, he was getting caught with those quick counters. And uh, and Nuwe finished him off. He finished him off. And uh, I think um, I, I want to go – I want to see him go ahead and go up to featherweight. I think Bernardo – there's a lot of guys at featherweight that he can go against. Bernardo, uh, Ray Vargas. I think that Ray, Ray Vargas fight will be a tough fight. Espinosa fight will be a tough fight. But something that they've already been trying to set up is that Robisi. And I think Robisi, he's still a live dog. You know, we saw what he did against Espinosa. It was a close fight for MD. So either the rematch with uh, Espinosa or go ahead and get that Robisi fight. But uh, he just wants belts right now. So I'm pretty sure he's going to go after a champion. So Ray Vargas is another good name. Um, Coyote took the words out of my mouth when he said Wilder just surrounds himself with yes, man. People that's gonna stroke his ego, make him feel better. So uh, I'm not ready to throw Wilder away yet. I want to see Wilder against Junior Five, Big Baby against uh, Magomedov, and then hopefully we can get Big Baby and uh, Wilder. Like yep. Big get baby, out of here! Big Baby against Wilder, hopefully. My man said Wilder against Junior Five. Man, I I'm done paying because I actually pay. I'm done paying for sparring partners, man. You know, some guys, I guess it's okay to fight a spawn, but, like, Wilder can't fight another spawn partner because then it's like every time he loses, he's get, only getting wins over spawn partners. We got to we gotta protect him from the narratives that people can create to break him down. Big Gucci Nick, what up? What up, what up, man? Shout out TVV. Everybody smash that like and subscribe, man. It's the best podcast on the planet. Let's go, champ. I really wish I could have caught that fight this morning, man, but I got work, man. So I missed the fight, and then I was on IG, and I saw Dan announced the winner. Man. Uh, tenth round knockout. I got to go back and watch that fight. Um, but I should be able to rewatch it on ESPN Plus, right, Ness? Correct. All right, bad. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that when I go home, man. But I, I was just looking at the featherweight landscape, man. It doesn't really look – I mean, you got some good guys. You got, like, Lopez in there, Vargas. Uh, Figueroa is okay, I guess, but I, I think he knocks all the dudes out, man. Um, if he if he could run over that division real quick, man, and get up to super featherweight, that's when he's got a little bit more competition, man. Um, Actually, you got uh, – I see Maxayo in there, too. That'd be a great fight, man, Maxayo. Versus uh, Inoue at 126, but I don't think Maxayo has his belt. I think Vargas took his belt from him, right? And lost it to Shaki. Well, actually, yeah, Vargas took his belt from him. Oh, no, nah, I, I thought Shaki was at uh Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. No, Shaki's at 30, Vargas is at 26. Okay, so Vargas still has got his belt then. Yeah. All right, yeah, man, that's a good potential opponent, man. But the way Inoue is, you know, running up these divisions, it looked like he going straight for the champ. It looked like he ain't wasting no time. He giving these dudes whatever bag they want just for that strap, man. He's running through his dudes. I heard one of the callers talking about Inoue's beating up on the smaller guys. Bro, what are you talking about? He's the one moving up in division, facing the champ. He ain't facing no small dude. He's the small dude, bro. That's his first fight in each division moving up. So I don't know what that dude was talking about, one of the calls. But, yeah, that's all I got, man. I can't wait to rewatch this fight after I get off work, man. Shout out to y'all covering everything. Um, Yeah, man, everybody hit these boys cash out. They putting in the work. I'll keep listening. I'll catch y'all in the next one.
You the man, Damn, champ. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Peso Polo. Peso if you are Polo. Tuned, make sure to smash like and subscribe. What up, champ? Suleiman Counterpunch. Okay, all right. We're here for the second try. Let's go. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know what Big Baby Miller is going to do. Now he's going to have to talk down. Maybe he signed up with a snack program and finally get himself in tippy-top shape and finally see if he could get a fight with Wild or something like that. You know what I mean? He needs to do something, man. You know what I'm saying? He needs to do something so he could start winning. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you get more serious, man. More serious in the ring. and um. Get wins because he took a beating in that fight from the boys. I don't know. He's gonna have to change his whole game plan, man. If he wants to continue with boxing, you know. Uh, this guy Inui, uh, what you gotta do now? I don't know if he's gonna defend the undisputed. Just go to 126 right now. See if we can make the fight with Espinosa. Espinosa is red hot right now. I mean Espinosa in the states. Forget about Japan. In the states, that fight be big. <laughs> that fight be real big, man. And, and Deontay, he got to touch Bridget weight, man. He can't be fighting with big boys anymore, man. He's too flat-footed right now. He just can't let his hands go, man. He can't let his hands go, man. He's punch retention is bad. I mean, he showed it. He got to get rid of Malik Scott. He got to get a new trainer, man. He got to get a new trainer. I don't know why um nobody's saying that. He got to change trainers, man. He got to be more assertive. What trainer? What gotta, trainer? Got, Who you want to see him work with? Yeah. Well, he's going to have to shop around for a trainer that he feels comfortable with. Well, who man. you think is the right fit outside he looking in, champ? Like, uh, <clears throat> let me see. Like, uh, even that guy, the one that trained um, this guy that they, they used to train Evo Smith. That was training Evo Smith. Derek James? Name? Yeah, Derek James, man. He needs somebody that he's going to follow instructions. That he's not controlling the the, the 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 training camp, that he's following instruction, that he's gonna back to the basics. He gotta do that, man. If he wanna continue, you know, because he took a lot of punishment in that fight. I wanna see him go to the next level if he wants. If he doesn't, then he should just hang up the gloves or go to Bridgeway. At Bridgeway right now, he could get that fight at Bridgeway against that guy Luke or something. That'd be a big fight for him. That'd be a big opportunity for that guy. That 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 division is catered for him. Because he has a problem, he has a problem with the weight, man. He has a problem with the weight, man. Before he was moving a lot, he was hurting the opponents a lot. He he was initiating contact first, but now he's not doing that. So you know, he, he got two choices: either first thing he got to do is change the trainer, go to cruise weight, or or once he changes the trainer, start learning, changing, start learning fundamentals. If Joshua could do it, he got to do it. I got one more now. Yeah, we're going to mix it up. Okay. Okay, mix it up. Mix it up, boss. You're the All boss. Right. Thank you. You may feel like it's your time, but it's not your time. Suleiman, we appreciate you. Hawking them down. Maryland in the building. Hawk, what up? Maryland, stand up. Hawk, 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 say hello. We got Brandon Maurice, member for 34 months on that contender level. He says, pound for pound, water walker list. Number one, Bud. Number two, Inoue. Number three, Usyk. Number four, Bivol. Number five, Canelo. Number six, Devin. Number seven, Better Beef. Number eight, Shakur. Number nine, Benavidez. Number 10, Matias, honorable mention, David Morrell, hundred emoji. Arthur, what is up? You playing? We out. We out, man. You bullshit. You bullshit. Steven Smith, three Canadian dollars, says CYP don't know boxing. He always confused. Still face some moves. C Dub.
Side. Side. Jump out. Jump back in. Peso polo. Jay's fight Yo. party. Yo, Ness. What up, Danny? What up? What up? Yeah. Word, Listen, I ain't seen it this morning, though. Like, I was out at work. But, but look, with uh, Wilder, that boy, main thing with him, he's delusional. You feel me? Like, I think he lost, like, Yo, you can hear me? You did? Yeah. Yeah, now we can. No, it sounds crazy that I hear playback while I'm talking. I I'm going to hop out and, and come back in. All right. Uh, James Benitez. Did I not get this counter? Yo, Ness, you, yo, Ness, you hear me? Yes, sir. Man, yo. Hey, man, shout out to the community, man. Shout out to you and Danny. Danny, I'm glad you was able to make it safe on that frontier, on that frontier flight. There's no way in hell me and my family risking my lives on frontier, but I'm glad you did. Shout out to you, my nigga. Um, yo, man. Bro, it I ain't bad. Stop it. I'm actually, I'm actually thinking of buying on, the all you can fly pass. Let's go. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> what? Is that seven hundred dollar pass? You crazy shit, man. It's yo, man. Five, oh, it's 500 now? Man, good luck to you, champ. Good luck to you, champ. Bro, think would, about all the content I could get you if I had that pass. Right? Think about it. Think about it. That means that with, with like, two CYP counter punches, I could take a flight tomorrow and be in New York getting y'all for the you feel That's me? not true, though, because that shit is mad restrictions. You got to read that shit. Yeah, man. Well, no, but... you, uh, you can book the shit 24. Yo. You just got to book it 24 hours out. Yeah, but they don't man. even give you confirmation Danny. and shit till like 24 yeah, hours man. out. You better read that shit. I'm trying Nigga, to. Like, like bro, there isn't a JetBlue or no, no other better shit out there in Vegas that you can fly on than that. Like, come on, my nigga, man. You got to step up just a little bit. Yo, bro. Frontier. Frontier but, rated number one. <laughs> I mean, what, you, know, you know what it, you, you know what it really is? Look it up, champ. Like, I kid you not, look it up. Nobody flies the the amount of flights that they fly. Like, I can't catch a red eye if it ain't Frontier or Spirit. Because these other airlines, they stop and they flights at 8 p.m. They don't do red eyes. Then, then nigga, they leave earlier then, bro. They leave earlier. Fuck it, man. I'm, man... Danny, man, but shout out to you, man, for, for bro, going got in the trenches and doing that bro, type of shit for me. Time. Oh, I'm fighting you know time, what, Danny, man. You're right, man. I got too much time to waste in my life, I guess, man. Cause I stayed up last night re-listening to the Wilder 78 Sports interview, man. That shit's hilarious, man. You know, shout See, out to I didn't him, have, man, there, saying that America. There's not enough time in my life for me to watch that full interview. It's impossible. Man, that's what we're here for, man. That's what the community's here for, man. Man, you know, he said America turned 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 his back turned turned our back against him, man. You you, you rocking with that, Danny? That's what he I'm said. Gonna he said you, Sarge, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. In in the height of his career, America uh, America wasn't rocking with him. Respect him. Um, I was Respect in Afghanistan for it. I was in Afghanistan for his second period God, fight. I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking, uh, you know, the, this man that uh, represented our country in the Olympics that wore the same red, white, and blue that we represent. Mm. Boy, ain't no American. Uh, you, I mean, white just, American. It you wasn't mean, just, white American. It was, no, I'm saying it wasn't just like Air Force people. It was Army. Bro, it was 200 people watching that fight. Everybody was rocking with Fury. I swear everybody to God. Everybody that was kept... white was rocking with Fury. Tell the truth. You can't tell me African Americans in the army was rocking with Fury. 
I mean, I mean, I want you I to be direct. Looking. I want you to be direct. You said it's two hundred people there, and everybody motherfucking rooting for Fury. Tell me, how? What was the demo looking like? I'm, I, I, yeah, it was majority uh, white guys, but um, you know, there was definitely there was definitely some African American. And that's part of marketing. Well. That's say, that's part I, of marketing. I will say, I will say that you know some of them was rocking with Wilder, but. Bro, it was just the whole, like, I'm thinking because he was in the Olympics and he represented the country. So, you know, I try to pull that patriotic shit, bro. They wasn't hearing that. We saw him on Joe Rogan. He beat mental health. He's a fat guy. He looked like the average guy and blah, 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 blah. That's what but... they said. That's why they was rocking with him. Because they saw him on Joe Rogan and they looked like him. They, white guys, and B, they had the machine. They put him in the fucking Apollo outfit. It came out to the Hulk Hogan, I want to be an American song. Like, come on, dude announced himself from Las Vegas. This is all marketing, strategic marketing tactics to, to get fair, white America to, be, to be behind him. But to be fair, three months later, he did the same shit with the... Sombrero and the mariachi and fought on Mexican It's called pandering. It's called pandering to your audience. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think that's a bad thing. I'm just telling you that I don't believe during the height of his career that America as a whole, as a country, I don't think that we stood united with our heavyweight champ. I think that, uh, bro, it's because we though. always had questions. Let's knock it off. Like that's what people trying to act like, like. Like, oh, y'all talk... Like, bro. Bro, no, no. There was always what, what questions. What I'm saying is... What, what I'm saying, yeah, the boxing fans, bro, I, I don't think that he was out there to the American people. Like, he feels that the country turned they back on him. I'm saying the country didn't know you, champ. I mean... How we turning... How how is the country as a whole turning? It's back? true though, because because he's the heavyweight like, division and he got two point seven million uh, followers. Tank is smaller than has and more. And Devin now. is younger than him and has uh, one hundred thousand less or one hundred thousand more. So yeah, they, they, it, it could be true that people didn't take to him, but you know, I don't know why. I mean, he he was with Golden Boy at one point. He had Al. Obviously, he's one of the more more uh, successful heavyweights of this era so it it doesn't really translate because he gave you what you wanted from a commercial standpoint in terms of event knockouts do you think that do you think it could have been you know like obviously he gave us what mike gave us and the don't blink don't leave your seat the knockout could come at any second uh you know a lot of early knockouts um you know because similar you know in, in similar fashion you know, uh, you know, Mike lost some of the big fights, and uh, I feel that Mike just had the personality, while Deontay maybe didn't. Right? Like Mike got out there to the people. Like he had how many viral moments didn't Mike give? So I just feel like he he just let himself be out there more, like. Wilder didn't have no no viral viral moments like that, right? I mean, he had the to this day. Then he had he had he had like, knockouts go viral left and right. No, for sure, but I'm talking about like there was plenty of viral clips or plenty of viral stories that Mike had outside of the ring. And nah, I think that sure. that helped to his popularity, whether it be positive or negative, I just feel that it helped towards his popularity. So when we talk about, you know, what they brought in the ring, although similar, I think a lot of it was the antics brought out of the ring uh, and in the ring, too. You know, Yo, the, 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 the ear bite in the, you know, you know, the ring walks. Just to go back to the interview, you know, what was the saddest part of that interview is hearing Wilder say that he's now, now going to reach out to certain individuals to help him for not only mentorship, but also training. He, he, he went as far as saying that at whatever time that interview conducted live, 
the person he was trying to contact during the interview was probably asleep because they're in another country. So who the fuck knows who he trying to get to train him this time around. But, you know, it just reminds me of when Mayweather extended his hand and Wilder fans believed that Mayweather was just being sarcastic and not really wanting to help him. George Foreman extended his hand and wanted to help him and train him. That never happened. Lennox Lewis, that never happened. Uh, it would be crazy to finally see him link up with a George or a Lennox or someone of that elk at this point when it's like, damn, you could have did that shit three years ago, bro. C-Dub, what up? I mean, same can be said about the Josh fight, right? Yo, damn, yo, yo, how the audio? Three, four years ago. What up, champ? Straight? Yeah, but at least Joshua what up, what up, what up. went through four, four trainers till he got the right fit. Who knows yo, if it's yo. the right fit? We hear you, see Doug. Shout out. Shout out, TBV. Smash that like button. It's free. Do something with yourself. You know, what up? What up, Ness? What up, Ring Walk? You know, man. And you wear your monster, man. The TKO yo. undisputed again. I overslept. You know, hate I missed the hardcore shit, man. Watching top boxing. You know, you just hate missing that, man. Anytime, a pound for pound. Top fight, you got to see it. Then he was going for legacy again. So the pound for pound changed for me. I got U Usyk number three, Canelo four, then Devin five. Anyway, jump Canelo and Usyk with this with this win with this knockout. You know, he came in undisputed twice. So this this is a, this is a second or the third time. I mean, second time, but not in the same it's calendar second. year. But yeah, second time. Okay. Okay, boom. That's what's up, man. That's the story. Wilder 7 to 8 Sports TV interview, man. The man just speaking his truth. He said he lost his killer instinct. You know, AJ said the same thing. You know, then he went on a three-coach tour, the tour that y'all talking about. You know, Wilder of age, though. So, he not he may be not able to do the, the three-coach tour. Maybe he could just, just do one or two. <laughs> you know, just, you know. Wilder still sleeps big pharmacy because he blocks punches with his face. You know, he can't get out of the way. Parker, Parker still ducked many times, Ness. I mean, I don't know how many times. You could count it. But, uh, yeah, uh, Jarrell, he not ducking that many times. He don't got the juice. He, he, you know, we don't know if he had it without, without Yeah, but Jarrell showed he could take a punch, bro. Like, we all know Dubois can punch. It's not a... Well, we're going to say if he can take Wilder It's not like we, we wait in the sea, can Dubois punch. He's proven that. We're going to see if you can take Wild to punch in at the Barclays or, or at Birmingham at the Legacy, whichever one, man. Let, let, let's see it. You know, just, just last month, fans was calling A.J. Trash, said he was finished because he got a bloody nose against Salinas. Now he's back, you know. So um, I'm, not, nah. I'm not worried about how fickle fans are. You said against who? You know what I'm saying? Against who? Salinas. When, when he had the bloody nose against Salinas, people said he was finished. Man, that's what they were saying, stop, man. man. Who you I swear hang- these people but, crazy, Ness. You're not, you know, you know hang- they these streets at these water coolers. Who you be hanging yeah. with? Who you be hanging with? That you get a knockout, <laughs> man. Listen, and they say I had to you- tell you about in your. I had to get you to understand in your way being as a monster. So huh. some people still didn't understand that AJ was a monster, man. You know it happens. I just want to see uh Wilder still stay in the sport. If you're not going to go for greatness, hey, man, lift the next person up. Or let's, let's look at the grudge matches. Let's let's go to Dillian White. Let's go to Jarrell. Or let's lift up the next person. That's why Wilder didn't get the profile that he had when he was young. Because who was the old champion that gave let, let the letter down for him? What you mean? Vlad, it been. Vlad tried to give him the fight, and, and Shelly said it wasn't time. I got you. I got you. What about the dude that was saying, um, let's go, champ? I mean, he could have been for him. You know what I'm saying? Ben knocked his ass out. So Damn, I don't you know why you know. Wilder, man. You not helping Wilder. Get nah, out they, of here. it was about to fight. It was about to fight. My man, my man said, "Why did it shed and breaks fight Wilder?" <laughs> Suleiman, you can't make this shit up. He said, "Why?" Didn't Shannon Briggs I mean, fight Suleiman Wilder? I be talking that. Suleiman be talking that. Mark Mutar said, champ, you know. Bro, at least Mark Mutar fighting. My man said. Bro, he yeah, bro, said well, Shannon hey, Mark Mutar, Briggs. Okay, so listen, man. That's not a good idea, man. Um, Deontay Wilder wants to go on the winning thing, right? 
So why didn't Anthony Walter don't get a, a tuna fight, get a fight, get, fight a guy like Mahmoud Chow? Fight Mahmoud Chow for that belt. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yo, what's up? Why he don't make that happen? Bro, hit that, 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 you know, make that happen. And then after that, you know, I mean, he got, he got a world championship and he could stop, you know, you know, uh, you know, requesting to fight other guys, we man. We could that call was, him two times. Yeah, it, well, they did it to uh to Javante Davis. They say he's a two time, three time champion, right? He had uh, he had the WBA regular. It's a world championship. It's a part of the WBA, right? So yep. he should just go that avenue, right, and get himself to the you know put some wins on his resume that are uh, credible. Mamucha is very credible. You know what I'm saying? He's an accredited champion, and uh, give him the give him the the, the, the opportunity, bro. This guy has to do something, man. I think if he can't find a trainer that he feels comfortable, go back to Mark Whelan, bro. Go back to Mark Whelan, bro. Oof. Apologize, you know. Go back to Mark Whelan, man. Good, yo, yo, go back that to, would be good, That would be good, like PR go standpoint. Go back to Mark Whelan. Show maturity. Apologize, you know. But yo, the truth is this, bro. You. The truth is this. People still said he didn't have skill when he was with Breland. Now they saying, oh, go to Breland. He looked better with Breland. But when he was with Breland, they were saying, oh, he, he's sloppy. He don't got the skill. Yeah, but he was a winning, bro. He he got 10 title defenses with that man. He, scored, he defended his belt 10 times, WBC champion. He's a 10-time defending champion, bro. And a heavyweight division, that, that, that counts a lot, bro. Okay? He has the power. He has TNT in his hand. Just, just sit down to the basics. You see if you could catch or patch up everything with Mark Breen and go back to the guy that made you a champion, made you a consistent champion. Go to make that fight with Mahmoud Chow, make it in Dubai where, where the guy's staying in, and um, in uh, United Arab Emirates over there, make it happen, knock that dude out, get that bill, bring it back to the U.S., and then start making some power moves, man. You got all these guys, man, waiting in line, bro. You know what I'm saying? And just start knocking them like dominoes, go out on top, bro. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen, bro. You know, talk to that guy, man. Think, fill him up with that positive energy you got, Ness. And see if he could, he could, he could make those moves, man. All right, Okay, Chad. my brother? You got it. Thanks a lot, bro. Thanks. Um, Suleiman, great call, man. Great call. Appreciate who, the who? Uh, insight. Yo, yo, his biggest issue, Lake County, another $5 counterpunch for Suleiman Escala. Followed by a two dollar super chat that says Ness is smart. Going to going to Suleiman the Scholar call after C dumb. <laughs> Y'all be so mean. Uh, what the fuck was I saying before that, Danny? You don't remember either. You can't uh, even smoke. The over thing there. with him, you said you said the thing with him, and then you stopped. The I think you was talking about Suleiman. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. I wanted to talk about trainers and who Wilder should train with. And I really don't know who that was that I was going to say at the moment. Yes, I remember. Thank God. Bro, he needs Bozy Ennis. He needs Bozy. This is the only reason why. He has zero. I mean, it has now been three fights where he's forced to fight on the inside and he's shown us he's got zero inside game. I mean, zero. It is clinch and hammer fist you or clinch and girl slap you. We need to learn how to fight on the inside. Because again, it gives him more opportunity to win and set up shots. Bro, he has... Like, he literally just clinches. He just clinches and then starts, you know, hammer fisting you and shit. That shit, he need someone to teach him how to work on the inside. Maybe going to Ronnie, he going to get the best spawn because Philip Hergovich is in-house and he's a mean son of a gun. So he ain't going to be treating Wilder like no champ. But uh, for sure... He need an inside game. He need an inside He cannot just lean back and hug his guy and then try to do illegal shots on the inside. He needs someone to teach him how to fight on the inside. Unless they're going to say, look, fuck all that. 
Do what you're supposed to do. Keep your distance. Use the one, two. Uh, Nino B, I need you to call yeah, in, clearly, Nino B. But clearly, clearly, clearly that ain't even work with Joe Parker, champ. So he need to get some inside game. I don't know of any heavy. Well, he never did the normal with, one but... two though. He, like he didn't do his normal one two with Joe Parker. He, the, uh, bro, I barely seen straight rights. So I seen more looping. I, I just feel like they wasn't landing, bro. Nah, I hear you. Shout out to Joe. They kept ducking and and they fought the right hand, as Bill Haney would say. Um, we got. Raider, no, we read that. We got Chill Will, member for four months on that champ level. Wilder needs Ricky Bobby. Who the fuck is Ricky Bobby? Is Ricky Bobby not from Menaces? What's that, Boys in the Hood? No, no, no. Oh, my God, bro. Ricky Bobby is from Talladega Nights, a Will Ferrell movie. Oh. Oh, okay. I think I think I think. Ain't that like that NASCAR movie? Okay. Yes. Chick Chickarelli, five dollars. Didn't know who a new way. Now who a new way win undisputed in two weight classes in a year's period? In my opinion, that's what makes him deserving of pound for pound numero uno. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Lake County, another two dollars. Would Bomac train Wilder? Wasn't interested in Ryan. True, true. He wasn't interested in Ryan. Danny's going to be gone for a while, so he can't even find out. Maybe he could text him and do a nice tweet because that's a good, yeah, that's a good trainer that could teach him some inside shit because he got to – like, look, you got the power. So give yourself the ability to land that power by having more, more, more tools and, and, and an inside game – because people already see it. They trying to smother him because they know he can't fight on the inside. We got Baby Joker, $2. Pair Wilder with Ryan Garcia. He fights like a Mexican. What? I, that went over my head. Can you make, can you, you got that one? No? Not really okay. Again? Uh, he said... Pair Wilder with Robert Garcia. Oh, R. Garcia's not Ryan? Okay. Okay. And he does have an in-house Mexican heavyweight. I mean, he ain't he proven does. to be that good, but, you know, sparring is sparring. Sparring is sparring. Um, Can... Uh, I like that, though. Robert, Robert Garcia? Make the time. Can he make the time for a guy like Wilder? I mean, you always make the time for a star. That's the bigger check. You know, Wilder's making $10 million plus per fight, you know? So, you know, uh, you're going to make that time. <laughs> you're going to make that time. Uh, we got, who do we got? Adrian in Orish Garage. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Feliz Navidad, muchachos. Un placer escucharlos. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Feliz Navidad. How are you? Damn, Gracias, man. Danny. Muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> man. Danny sound like he about to fall asleep during the con. Feliz Navidad. How are you? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, he, he sounds sleepy. What the you want me to sing to him or some shit? Feliz Navidad. <laughs> ah, sonaste bien, Danny. Sonaste bien. Estás cansado. Mucho trabajo. <laughs> Man, great, uh, great victory for Naoya Inoue. Tough name to to pronounce. Uh, two times undefeated, he's making history. Two times undefeated in a year. That's that's crazy. Definitely uh, a special talent. Uh, of course, it doesn't look super impressive because it's the lower weight divisions. They don't get much attention, but he's making some noise. Um, what do I want to see next from him? Mm, I wanted to see Robeso Ramirez before, but now that he took a loss, uh, I guess he can fight Espinosa for sure. But, you know, I don't think it's going to be an easy fight for, for the monster. 126, we, we still got to see how how he looks against bigger guys. Uh, I'm impressed by Inoue, but he got to go step by step. What I don't want to see from him is move up to a catchweight or something to fight Tank. I don't want to see that. 
no more easy fights for Tank. Not trying to hate on Tank, but I don't want to see Inoue going to 135, 132, 131, something like that. No, I don't want to see that. Uh, Reckoning Day was an amazing car. Uh, a great way to finish 2023. Uh, but let's talk about Wilder for a second. Uh, cryo Chamber. They put something on my drink. The custom bot was too heavy. Fury has something on his gloves. Bro, you don't need an excuse. Uh, you're an overachiever. Uh, I think he wasn't supposed to make it this far. He got a great legacy. And this is my opinion. I think it's time to hang it up. Uh, if he wants to continue to fight, he can fight Joshua or Miller. I will definitely go ahead and watch it. But I think it's time to hang it up. If I was on his team, I would advise him to do that. But, you know, I feel like the the trilogy with uh, Fury took a lot from Wilder and also from Fury. And, you know, I, I just feel he's not the same anymore. He was doing the wrong game plan for uh, the Parker fight. He was hanging around on the outside trying to set up the right hand. He, he never landed anything. If you look at the numbers on the computer box, uh, you, you will not be able to believe it. I think he only landed, I don't know, I had to check it again, but it was a few punches, just a few punches. And yeah, man. I think it was 39. I just think 30, it's time to 39 or something. Yeah, no, that was crazy. But anyway, shout out to the UK. Anthony Joshua is, is back. Uh, I, don't, I thought he was going to win, but not by KO. But yeah, man, uh, that's all I got. Like shout out to you, Ned. Shout out to you, Danny. And shout out to the Boston community. I'm out. All right, uh, James Benitez, Counterpunch. Yo, Ness, man, let's get back to the interview, man. Like, I don't know why people still want to see Wilder and everything. Well, Wilder on the interview said he don't he don't love boxing. He don't he don't love the fans in the U.S. You know, the only thing he loves is just the ego is the ego being stroked. I mean, come on, man. You if you listen to the full, interview, do you recall when? 78 was saying that, man, yeah, Parker wasn't even really winning, winning rounds like that. He was winning rounds with no activity. Like, come on, man. Like, bro, Ness, you would not say no shit like that. And I don't think most content creators would say no shit like that. Wild, I mean, Parker was beating his ass up, man. You know, and, and Wilder's going to say, yeah, them punches they ain't even hurting shit. And you looked like you was dead on your feet a few times on that fight, man. So I personally believe, man, that there's no coach that can fix him. Shout out to Mark Breland. He said it himself. He said once Wilder became a star and started just blossoming into, like, one of the faces of the PVC, he became untrainable. So Malik Scott, we say that, hey, he was. He said that, hey, you know, it just didn't work out. I don't believe he gave Wilder the wrong game plan. I don't think none of these guys can I mean, Malik him. Scott. I don't think Malik Scott literally said oh. that uh, Parker and Andy Lee just had a better game plan, and shout out to them. That's the headline mm, on Boxing Scene. They, they could execute it better. I think it was the execution. And execution is not on the coach, especially while they're saying he had a great training camp. So he had a great training camp and everything. That means the coach did his job. Nothing went I mean, wrong was with it the great? Camp, no yeah, well, I came out of that nigga mouth. Yeah, but the, mouth. but the but the but the but the manager saying that there was a, a a training camp injury in cryo chamber. Come on, my nigga, you believe that shit, or are they just trying to save a nigga again, man? Come on, man, Shelly Finkel, really believe- man, all the years in this business. Come on, man, you don't fucking lie. <laughs> How you survive in the boxing business, man? You gotta lie. Let's stop the bullshit, man. Bro, boxing like the shadiest business on earth, man. All right, Ness, man. You got it, my nigga, man. All I know is, man, look, man, these pom-poms got to go down for this nigga, man. I don't, I, don't think, I don't think he can beat anybody, man. And you saying get down there with Ronnie Shields or Hergovic. Well, Hergovic might hurt while they're in training camp. You know what I'm saying? That might be too but much But that's for what him, you man. need, though. I think you need him to see he can still take punches so that he get in the fight with that confidence again. Come on, my nigga. Bro, nobody oh, okay. goes back right. in a circle for 12 rounds unless – they ain't trying to get hit. Then do they still need a fight there? That's the question. Yeah, but obviously he, he regrets it. You heard the interview. He You were you heard his IG and you heard the interview with 7A. He doesn't like how he performed. 
He, he doesn't even know why he performed that way. He said it himself. You know, he don't know why. Right. So, you nigga, know, nigga, he, he looking for All answers, right. bro. Listen, that's the irony. You really feel like it's your time. But it's not your time. That's the <laughs> irony, bro. That's the irony. This shit never happened to Floyd. But, like, bro, my man is 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 forced to swallow all the words. And so are we as Wilder fans. Because it's like we question AJ's heart. We question that. We, we said AJ was searching. We said AJ needed a mental uh, sports psychologist. Now, look, he's searching. He don't know why he lost. He don't know why he couldn't let his hands go. He don't know why he wasn't on. He said he was rusty. Like, he's searching for answers, too. Oh, my nigga, man. All right, Ness. Ness, you got it, bro. You got it, man. Shout, shout out to the Wilder community and fans and shit like that. Y'all can still believe, man. I just don't believe. And I, and I really don't really give a fuck what he got going on going forward, man. I just know this nigga don't love the sport like he's trying to make y'all believe. But y'all continue to stroke his ego, though. Because that's what he's really passionate about right there. Like his ego stroke. And that's it, man. So, anyways, Ness, just wanted to chime in right quick. I shot, I'll holler at y'all. All right, champ. You the man. Uh, Danny, who is LeVar Walker? Is that like a, another... Uh, uh, Another uh, sport? I'm not familiar. LeVar Walker? Yeah. Right? LeVar Walker? Yeah, I'm not familiar with him. I don't know. Uh, I don't know who the LeVar Walker is, bro. Cause he got some video. Somebody tagged me, talking about yo, tell Wilder to call me. Is he? Oh, he a comedian. That's a comedian right there. I ain't even. All right, getting on to the callers. Then we got Benson. Michael, is this you? Benson, what's up? He hasn't connected. Hawk, trying you again. Omar S., member for 24 months on that prospect level. He says, rematch Drummer Boy will bring the killer instinct. Damn, bro. Drummer Boy is Eric Molina. No. No. Only if it's not on pay-per-view. Then, of course. Then, of course. Why not? You know, anything. Like, if you're going, yeah, you know what I'm saying? If, if it's not on pay-per-view and it's on some regular prom type shit, you ain't the main oh, event. Man. What up, Hawk? Yo, hold up. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, TBV number one with up, Ness and Ring Waller. Uh, so this show about Wilder. Up, and man? and this morning's fight, if you caught it on ESPN Plus, I caught anyway. Destroying that, that was a good fight. That that anyway is something different, bro. He's something different. Yeah, yeah. That boy, what, he he went up another weight class in that fight. Uh, no, he was you. Uni- he undisputed in that weight class. He was already at twenty two, had two belts, and unified, undisputed with the other gentleman, Marlon Tapales. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good fight. Dude was trying, though. He was trying. That was a good fight. Uh, the Wilder uh, thing, um, uh, I feel like uh, as far as Wilder go, he, he looked like he's digressing in boxing because it doesn't look like his mind is on boxing. So, really, got too much going on. But his skills look like they are digressing. You know who he looks like, Ness? Who that? He, he looks like his trainer. You ever seen Malik Scott fight? Oh yeah, yeah. That's the that's the thing on Twitter. They saying Malik Scott turned Deontay Wilder into Malik Scott. Like that's the little joke on Twitter. Oh, for real? I ain't know that. But yeah, that's how he looked. He looked like he's trying to be uh, a boxer or something. I don't know. I mean, but I, I don't think are- I think that people saying that because obviously he didn't let his hands go, and, and Malik Scott was notorious for that. But I think everything, honestly, without like trying to sound like I'm being sarcastic, like. Everything Malik Scott added 
was good. He tried to add like lateral movement, added footwork, added some shoulder movement, hand movement. He just didn't put yeah, it but... together. He just didn't put the... he put it together better in the third fight with Fury. But this fight, maybe that third fight with Fury made him gunshot, so he couldn't put it together. But the things that Malik taught him, if he put it together, that shit gonna work. Yeah, but that's this is what I was saying the other day about Wilder, bro. In boxing, eighty percent, I would say seventy percent is mental, and if you don't got that killer instinct in you, it's not gonna come. You're not gonna do it. You yeah, don't, but you remember, don't have that instinct to, Pacquiao uh-huh. went. Pacquiao went through this where we questioned his killings, then he was able to get it back, not to the level of knockouts, but the level of winning again on a high level. That's true. I ain't saying he can't get it back, but he got to change his background. He got too many yes people or something. Something's going on where he's not focused on boxing, bro. He's declining. His skill, but none of his, us are in there, so why do we all think he got yes men? Well, I tell you what, the reason I say that is because round after round, after going to his corner, he came out and did the same thing. Yeah, but, <laughs> bro, sometimes the fighter ain't listening. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. But, and uh, I'm going to tell you another thing. If, if, a per- if most, I don't know, a lot of people in the chat may not have been in the ring with somebody and boxed somebody. But if you're in the ring and you're fighting somebody and you hit them hard as you can and they don't move, which does happen, and you think you really think you hit hard, but you hit them hard as you can and they don't move, that's that's a, that I can't believe, the mentality I can't to come believe, up with something different. I can't believe he went backwards with Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker 6'2". I can't believe that backwards. shit. Never in my life I thought that shit. Wilder always came forward, man. But it's not your time. Yeah. Uh, you know, he need that us. he need that swag back. We need Juke Juke Step Wilder from the Stavern fight. We need the the, the the one two Wilder from the Dominic Brazil fight. We need the Wilder from that from that third fight with Fury where he still landed that right hand and shook his whole motherfucking body and world up. Like I don't know when he stopped believing in himself. But that's the problem. Because again, you ain't going like Bro, Shakur went back because he can't guarantee a knockout. The one thing Wilder could do is bank on that knockout. So why is you going backwards for that many rounds? Like, that shit didn't make any sense other than he trying to catch Joe Parker with some shit he can't see. But, like, after four rounds, bro, you see you rusty you need to change it up. Stop going backwards. Try, try to come forward laying that right hand because he couldn't do it off the counter. He just couldn't. But, psh, yeah. <sighs> Tough-ass fight. Tough-ass fight. No Wilder fan thought we was losing that one, bro. <laughs> that's what, that's like what hurt. That. Man, fuck like that at Not all. Like that. Man, fuck like that at all. We didn't think. Never, Bro, not no version of but, Joe Parker. Man, okay, cool. You said a Wilder fan, but as a boxing fan, bro, even even I feel like even those that felt Parker would win, I don't think they felt that he would win every round and sweep him and not get caught. Bro, there was like, like, bro, I did like a hundred shows. There was like three people that 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 that, that two gave him a shot and one picked Joe. Like, come on, you kidding me? Bro, look at the odds, bro. No one thought Parker was going to win. Like, yo, credit to him. He got four wins this year, but three of them dudes is who, like, Simon King's the biggest name out of the out of the three of them dudes, like, not named Wilder. Like, nah, man. Uh, we did not expect what we got. Not, 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 not at all. Not me. I ain't think that. I ain't think that. Uh, but Hawk, shout out to you. Shit. And let alone decision, bro. Like, I never thought uh, decision. I never thought decision, let alone decision for Joe Parker. Um, yeah, I just couldn't see that. You know? I, I for a long time, but now it's over. Now now it's over. You feel me? But for a long time, I believed 
same shit he was saying. Like, yo, I touch you as a rap. Then, you know, Fury taught me, okay, he could take the, that right hand. So I started to say myself, only Fury could take his right hand. So I, 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 I you know, I, I, I lied to myself. I didn't want to be optimistic. I'm like, nah, man, bro, the way he knocking him down, it's only Fury. Look, Fury getting knocked down, but he getting up. Only Fury could do that. It's because of the weight. It's because of this. But, yo, I mean, he, I, I completely overlooked Joe Parker. I never thought a 6'2 Joe Parker, you feel me, that who, like, who, who has he knocked down or out of note? Like, I just never thought that dude was going to be the dude to present that much Problems like bro, he had Wilder on them ropes looking crazy in that corner at, at, at one point, bopping him around from hand to hand. No, nah, it was a it was it was a fight, it was a fight that we didn't uh you know you muted yourself. Uh should have just unmuted. Yeah. I said it, it was a fight that we genuinely didn't expect. Um, let me see. They saying CYP specifically is saying Parker's not six two. Let me let me check that because shit. How tall is he? Six <laughs> three? How tall is he? They saying what wiki got you at? Nothing? Six four. No fucking way. I'm gonna have to find my picture mm. with Joe. That shit don't even make sense. I mean, pictures be deceiving, bro. Pictures be deceiving. Bro, I mean, I met him. I, I, I went to his house. I trained next to no, him. No, for like, sure, for sure, for sure. I'm just saying, you know, people could be crouched over, different types, types of shoes, you know? Yeah, I hear you, man. Burrow City E, what up? Burrow City E. Trying them again. Yo. We hear you. Yeah, my bad, man. I, I, I didn't realize with that Discord shit. If the screen black out uh, before you accept it, then you got to leave out to come back in. I had the screen lit up before the invite come. But nonetheless, let me get to my point. All right, as far as anyway, before I even get on this shit, but wow, because y'all really. Y'all really pissing me off at this wild shit. Y'all disgusting me like a motherfucker. But let me get to this anyway shit first. What's anyway, up with the, your mic, champ? You break you giving us hella feedback. What are you doing? Stop touching the mic so much, please. I I I how this sound? I just took that mic out. You good. <laughs> yeah, man. Like anyway look like a monster. You already know I go over Glad Bill me. But um anyway look like a monster. You know, he might as well just go ahead. Skip 26, go straight to 30. Because, I mean, he, I was looking like, hell, Stephen Fulton. Stephen Fulton is uh, bigger than Tank. Size and length-wise, I mean, shit, if he bigger than Tank, and he did Stephen Fulton like that, and he slightly better footwork, slightly faster hands, you know, better jab. If you can do that to Fulton, I'm not saying you beat Tank, but I'm saying you can go to 130. You see what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't mind seeing him and Oshaki go at it to see if Oshaki's skills can top any weight skills plus power. I wouldn't mind seeing that fight. I wouldn't mind seeing them with Brandon Figueroa to be 100. I think that'd be a big fight, him and Brandon. I'd love to see them go to war and see if <clears throat> he can uh, take the pressure and all the, uh, and the output of Brandon. You know, just the, you know, I don't. I ain't trying to get the man beat or anything like that. I just want to see how he, how he match up out here, how he really look out here, so we can see just where he at on that pound for pound. That's for real. You know what I mean? But anyway, he look sharp. He look good. Topless hit him with some shit. And I mean, anyway, he ate it. I got to be. I didn't even think his jaw was that good. I just thought he wouldn't hit clean before. But I, <clears throat> and that uh, Donnell was a little too old. But it looked like uh, the motherfucker got some whiskers on him for real. So, like, you know, with him being able to take a punch with his skill set, that's, like, in a way, a real problem. 
you know, it is real. It ain't just it, it ain't just a hype job, no. I'm not fuck a problem. As far as uh, what you call it, y'all got to stop this shit with Deontay, man. Y'all got to stop this shit, though. Man, this nigga Joe Parker coming in red hot, having three fights. It don't matter if it was against nobody. The man coming in red hot. Used to live bullets. He like his body is trained to go. You not. It's no. It's no sport in America. No pro sport in America. You can take two. You can take two years off and only have three minutes in that sport, and then come back and then you know fight somebody top ten. Um, play somebody top ten, top fifteen. You go have hell. You go have hell, bro. It just don't work like that. Like, I don't understand why y'all think boxing is different. It ain't that many Floyds in the world, man. It ain't that many Sugar Rays in the world, brother. That shit just don't happen like that overnight, man. Like, that shit just don't. This man went out there. <clears throat> he, I, I, and another thing I want to tell you, another thing. I don't get, like, y'all acting like now y'all just seeing this nigga was delusional. That's why the fuck people had love Wilder. Because the nigga was crazy. This nigga been delusional. This nigga never made sense. He never could articulate himself good. This nigga always sounded ignorant as fuck. He be sounding the same way Tank sound. And, like how he sound, and I hate to do this to the man. The same way Tank sounded after he bought the block back in Baltimore. You know, I feel as though... And, um, I, I feel as though... The man, the, the, the man like, he cannot... Speak eloquently for people to understand his point and for him to get his point of view across. And the nigga always been somewhat delusional, always. But uh, with that delusion came a destructive right hand that had put 42 motherfuckers, 44 motherfuckers down, and 42 of them bitches to sleep. You know what I mean? But he couldn't land it. He couldn't, one, he didn't land it. And two, like, you know, Malik Scott advice was all right, but I needed to see him, hey, bro, we need, we need you to, one, stand your ground. You need to get in the middle of the ring, and I need you to start caulking back, like, in Fury, Wilder Fury uh, 3. I need you to start caulking back, punishing that body, man. I need you to give me some forceful blows right there to his hips, to his body. We got to take his legs away from him so we can slow him down, and then we're going to start head hunting. That's really, I mean, it was a change of game plan to me, a change of game plan, and he needed some more activity. You know, but uh, he looked like regular Wilder to me, though. Like, you know, I didn't expect nothing more than what the hell I got from him. I don't know how, I mean, I said it literally in, on the show. I said, Wilder going to be down in this fight, man. He going to be down, and he going to need a late knockout. I don't see how y'all didn't see that coming, that. The man, he literally had three minutes in two years. What did y'all expect him to come in there and do? And, and his mentality was like, the nigga always been irrational. He always been erratic. I don't think uh, all Joshua, um, all Joshua uh, mental problems have been carried overnight with this one Wallin win. I just think Wallin was so inferior. I, which I, with my fight prediction before the fight to show you, I thought Waldine was so furious, he was getting knocked the fuck out at five or six. I've been seeing that coming. He was, the nigga was made for Anthony Joshua to beat the fuck up on. It was, he don't have one attribute over Anthony Joshua, period. Not one. Slower feet, slower hands, less power, no head movement. Is and the. Uh, uh, he was made for Joshua to stalk down and eat his goddamn prey. And, and respect to Joshua, he did what he was supposed to do. He ain't cut no corners. He, I felt like them. I felt like Wallin was always trash. And guess what? Anthony Joshua took his ass to the dump. So you know, I give the man credit for that. But as far as like you know, just trying to act like oh he back now mentally, and we know AJ was the one that um we knew we should have known that Wilder was the one, and, and I got the ten. If I go over again, I got the other ten. But we should have known that. I mean, like, all, all that shit about we should have known that it was really Wilder with the mental problems and all this that and the third. No, no, no. This nigga always been delusional. Nobody cared. Nobody gave a fuck. Just like uh this nigga Tank. 
ignorant as fuck. Don't nobody care. But the minute he get knocked out or the minute he lose, we'll bring it up. Oh, we should have known this. No, 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 no. You can't do that, man. You can't do it like that, bro. You can't do it like that. Anthony ain't proved nothing to me until I see somebody t- do just what I saw Daniel Duvall do. Uh, Miller started to take Miller started to take Dubar in that dark place he didn't want it to be. And guess what he did, man? I said, man, you know, fuck that, bro. Hell, come hella high water, but I ain't going down on my knee again. But I'm going to swerve from mine. I'm going to stand on these 10. You're going to have to put me down, middle five, just lay down. And, and what he did, man, came out of that six, in that six swinging. Man, came out of that six swinging. I want to see Anthony Joshua get into another fighter fight where he can't avoid. And I want to see, uh, uh, I want to see him dig himself right back out that dark place and do what he did to Wallin. You know what I mean? Because when Usyk took him there, he wouldn't let his hands go. Uh, he wouldn't let the right shots go. Put it there. He was letting his hands go, but not the right shots. He would catch him with a stiff jab, catch him to the body, but then he wouldn't follow up on his attack. You know what I mean? We just was having, literally before this fight happened. We were just saying. Yeah, man, the way the way Joshua looked against uh, Hellenius, that motherfucker don't stand a chance against Wilder. Ninety if Wilder, seconds. If, if Wilder would have had a fight in between, at least about two fights in between, or at least a fight between that goddamn Parker fight, I think he, I think he sleep Parker. Can I guarantee it? No. Do I know it for sure? No, because it's boxing. But I think he, I think he looked better than what he did that night. When you ain't been hitting a while, you got this motherfucker throwing barrage of punches at you. That should have fucked your mind up, man. They the mean them twelve ounce gloves. That shit get real, seconds. man. Like, it's, it's easy for anybody to say, "Oh, you should just come back and it shit should be just like riding a bike." But can't nobody else and no other pro sport do that? Like, man, y'all gotta come back down to reality, man. That's all I'm saying. Just come and bring it down. Some like, I mean, I understand y'all disappointed, but for me, y'all expectations of Wilder was always too high. That man was always an overachiever. Overachiever. That man started boxing later in his career and built this stuff. That destructive right hand took him to being a champion, ten title defenses. If we get that fight with him and Wilder three years ago, with Joshua and Wilder three years ago, I guarantee you, Wilder coming in is the favorite. I guarantee you all that was coming in, especially after what we saw with Andy Ruiz. Uh, at that point in time, Wilder was 10 times twitchier than Andy. Ten and was, seconds. He was, he was with a twitch and knocked this nigga AJ head off. Yo, you going again? Yeah, man, I'm going again, man. I'm going again because this shit got to stop, man. I need all y'all. Y'all just got to stop, man. Y'all got to come back down to reality. Y'all was looking at Deontay fucked up from the beginning. And I just got to be real about that. Like for me, he was always a one-trick pony, very entertaining, never a Hall of Famer. But that one trick was a hell of a trick. <laughs> that was a hell of a trick. It had the crowd going crazy forty-two times. You know what I mean? Forty-four. However the fuck many wins he got, that shit had the crowd going crazy forty odd times, man. That's how good that goddamn trick was. Forty goddamn men couldn't figure that motherfucker out. Hell, Tyson Fury, who we. At, before the Angonga fight was called him the master class box as he is, we just were saying, well, if Fury can't get out the way of that right hand and he don't want to be able to suck it up, how the hell we expect Anthony Joshua to do that? I'm telling you right now, Wilder and Wilder, we, first we need to see him in one or two more fights so we can just say, oh, he done, that's it, yada, yada, yada. We need to see him active. I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Miller, Big Baby Miller next. That, that's a good little shit co- talking contest. I don't think it's pay per view, but that's something that'll put butts in seats. I think people might want to see that. Hell, I would. I take a uh, Wilder versus Joe Joyce next. I want to see if, uh, if Joe Joyce can get his big stiff ass out the way of that right hand. You got two quick fights lined up like that right there. Then you go into an Anthony Joshua fight. And you see, well, if he can win those fights, if if Wilder could win those fights, and then you go into the Wilder, you go into the Joshua fight with some steam behind it, and we'll see, we if Wilder can beat Miller, then Joe Joyce, we know exactly where he's standing at right now. We know exactly whether he's done right now. We know exactly if it's mentally he's shot or it's old age or a combination of both. But that, them the tight fights he need right now. 
you just to get him busy, get him active, and get a guy that's going to keep swinging at him, you know, a guy that's going to come forward, pressure him, and force that right hand out of him. You know what I mean? They, they, that's my call, man. They, like, we got to stop. How much y'all owe you, man? They, they, we got to stop, man. I don't know. But y'all just be wild. Y'all just screwed out. Why, nigga, take a loss. And I'm talking about y'all boxing fans so fickle. Y'all will destroy a man and strip a man overnight. Now why the now why the his mentality going and the whole nine and yeah I mean any damn professional goddamn any any pro, any professional in any sport after thirty five start talking I mean, about retirement. Tim, we 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 ask the same questions about AJ when he went through similar trials and tribulations. So I don't see why. It's a bad thing to ask the same questions about Wilder. It's not disrespectful. But, but see, th this is the difference with AJ. You could see it in his flat. You could just my flat brother, out see brother, it in his demeanor. My brother, my brother, you could see it in his demeanor, but the motherfucker won. He, when he fought on the back foot, he outboxed Andy. He didn't bore us to death and lose. That, 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 that's true. That's true. And, and see, even after the Andy fight, I didn't question Joshua. Um... Um, mentality. I mean, maybe y'all did. I can't say. I mean, but champ, I didn't, champ, that's I didn't impossible. question his mentality. I just felt like he lost. That's impossible because in that first fight, the, the whole, the whole, the whole thing was that he quit. Andy ain't really knock him out. It was that he quit. That the referee stopped the fight. So yeah, he was in question. Second fight. <laughs> Yeah, you're right about that. You're right about it. he did. He did quit. You, you're right about it. He did quit. So he the second quit. fight, he showed he can make adjustments. And what did boxing fans do? Oh, uh, he was boxing on the back foot. He on some bullshit. You know what I'm no, saying? No, it wasn't even that he boxed on the back. If he would have boxed like Devin on some power boxing shit, that was different. But it was the fact that he was literally, you could see it from the start. He did Bro, not want to engage homie, with homie, Ruiz don't at all. Matter. It don't matter because guess what? Wilder ain't want to engage with Parker at all and ain't doing nothing to win. That, man. At the end of the fight, he, he, I mean, you know, from 10 to 12, he tried to engage a little bit, but he was breaking. He was just flat out breaking. That's my he point. was trying to shoot the right, but he but was just breaking. It's the difference between trying to win on points and trying to time a devastating knockout. What? I mean, oh, when, when shit. he fought, when he fought all season, when he Ortiz the second time, Wilder was barely letting his hands go at all. He was just trying to set him up for the knockout. Trying right, to rock hey, him for I the hope knockout. Right, man. I hope you're right, because that means that he ain't lost and he's there. You know, because we think he ain't like the, that bronze bomber is gone. You know, yeah, man, that's what's man, pissing me off. Y'all just feel himself. like the man gone because it's at the after the loss, Chan, man. It ain't our fault. He the one talking about he docked to sleep now. Like everything, <laughs> everything that we remember him by, he taking it away. You know what I'm saying? Like we remember him talking shit. Now he don't talk shit. We remember him knocking motherfuckers out. Now he don't knock motherfuckers out. We remember his name being the Bronze Bomber. Now his name Dr. Sleep. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we remember uh, to this day. I feel, I feel, I just feel like we just, we just going a little too hard, man. Chant, the chant. man always been erratic to me. Like, I mean, to me, I don't know what everybody else see. Deontay was always highly, and, and, and I'm not trying to say this in a disrespectful way, because a part of that is what made him who he is. The nigga was always highly ignorant. I'm talking about the nigga could never got, articulate got, himself got, in, 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 in a sensible manner. I got to go, This Chan. is normal Deontay. How much y'all owe you? That's three. I got to go. That's three? All right, uh, bet, bet, bet. Uh, yeah, man, look. He just got to get back in there. And everybody's opinion has changed, you know? Uh, I think C-Dub said it. It's like, yo, they were saying X, Y, Z about AJ. I ain't going as far as saying that he was, you know, what he was saying was accurate about AJ just because he had a bloody nose. But, you know, th th at the end of the day, the phrase was there before we became boxing fans, man. You're only as good as your last fight, man. Um, but I put various pictures uh, there because they tried to question me not being able to know the height. It's like I I I've been around – Pretty much every heavyweight, so you know, I know how tall I am, and I know how tall they are. <laughs> you know, there's no confusing that. 
Uh, but I did put it in the Discord. We got Pterodactyl with two pounder. Too much excuses. Good call, Ness. Uh, we got James Benitez, $10 Super Chase. says, Jared Anderson is the new number one heavyweight in the U.S. I told y'all ninjas. Shout out to Toledo. Do you feel Wilder still ranked too high on BoxRec, even being ranked 17 in the world? He should be out of the top 25. No, and they put him, I think, seven in the ring now. Um, we got to see what Anderson... Yeah, I'm going to get to that. We got to see what where, 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 where Anderson does next. And, and is he, you know, uh, is he uh, injury free, right? Because they did say that, you know, he hasn't been fighting because of a, some sort of injury. Um, and as far as Wilder, do I think he belongs 17? Box rec? You know, we know that that ranking system is different. That's based off, like, events and, you know, point system. I, I don't know. You know, Wilder's also been a bit in, inactive, so uh, that's going to affect his scoring. But at the end of the day, bro, you can't really, you know, even with that performance, right, it's like how many heavyweights can you put in front of Wilder? Like, can you? how many can you rank in front of him? Um right now you know yeah you could assume a bunch of people can beat them because of what you seen last fight but that don't mean they actually do so you still got to use some sort of logical ranking system um i mean i think he's top 10 sure. i think that he's top 10 you know what i'm saying like fury Usyk, aj that's three uh what else you got I mean, fuck, you got Parker beating Wilder, so he's there. Um, I think the Hergoviches of the world, they like, they down, bro. Like, what's Hergovich's biggest win? Eric Molina? He definitely lacks, for sure. Yeah, I think, like, those guys are not, they there because we see the skill, but they ain't done nothing. Okay, Zhang, that's right, he got the Joe Joyce, so... Certainly, Joe Joyce was a, a a a more active, undefeated fighter. But Wilder, at the time that Bang, Big Bang got the win over Joyce, was still considered the more the better fighter. You know, we didn't know what we were gonna see in this last Wilder fight. Yo, so they saying they saying his best win is Rodell Booker. Whose best win? Hergovich. Nah, because yeah. Eric Molina would be a better win. Hmm. Um. So where we at? We got Fury, Usyk, AJ, Parker, Zhang. I ain't even putting Ruiz. That's what I'm saying. Like, those are just good heavyweights. But they ain't done shit, like, to get there. You know what I mean? Like, we ranking Ruiz off of old wins, like, you know. And 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 people talk about Haney. I mean, look at Ruiz. After after fighting AJ, he fought Areola out of retirement, brought Luis Ortiz basically out of retirement. Has he fought other than them two fights since 2019? Since that, to... since that AJ fight, so it's like three fights. That's another thing. So it's like three fights in five years. Like I who? feel like he fought. I feel like he fought somebody on the matchroom card. Hold on, bro. I'm trying to tell you, man. There's so many other people who could that like deserve to be ranked ahead of him. Um, and who else? I don't know. I think I think we need a we need a tournament for sure. Like to, I think that's it. Like after Zhang. The rest, because look, Dillian suffered losses. Ruiz been fighting, you know, on some bullshit level. He got dropped well, in the areola. That'd be 48 months. That'd be four, look at that. You know what I mean? Um, bruh, it's really hard to put someone after Zhang, not a prospect on the way up, like a Jared, a Fabio Wardley. 
these other heavyweights, named heavyweights, I don't think I'm gonna just use box track while I take a call because I don't I can't come off my top. Like I don't know off the top of my head, like who else deserves to truly I, be there. Other than just being a fucking name, you know, like okay, yeah, Andy's a name, so you want to throw him in there, but you know, really, what has he done for you lately? Oh, that's right, Dubois. Dubois just got a good win. Plus, he fought Usyk. I guess you could throw Dubois in there after Zhang. That's. I guess I don't know. He definitely, uh, I think, should be in the mix. I don't know where I'd place him, but definitely in the mix. Two dollars from Lake County. It's like his temp super chat. He says Inoue always looks much bigger than his opponents. London runs boxing with a five pounder. Do you agree there? You, you you've been watching him much longer than me. Uh, I don't know about that. I didn't feel like he looked much bigger than Fulton. Sequoia, I would not put Frank Sanchez on my top ten list. He's out here doing a bunch of nothing. Um like, like any version of a Jagba, we would have picked to beat Junior Fire. Yes or no? Probably so, yeah. Exactly. So, to me, Frank Sanchez has been sidestepping since he beat a Jagba. So, it's like, why do I care to have him in the top ten if he don't really want to fight the top ten? You know what I'm saying? Like, he not interested in fighting them guys. And and if he is, he's waiting for a payday fight. Because it, it, nothing else makes sense. You don't you don't beat a jog but three years ago, right? How long ago was it? That was 2021. <laughs> so two years ago. You don't beat him that many years ago and then turn around and fight Junior Fives and, and, and whoever he fought before that. Uh, Elijah, $2, pounders, cannot say on Twitter. Cannot say what on Twitter, champ? I don't see, I don't know what you mean, mm -hmm. but I got, I got London runs boxing with a five pounder. He says the power always been overrated. The level of people he KO'd stinks. Now we can all see why Shelly kept him away from AJ at all costs. Exclamation, double exclamation emoji, glove emoji. Yo, but. You know, they did offer AJ $50 million, whatever you think of the offer. Uh, you know, I don't know that you can say he kept him away. But, I mean, I guess your counter would be that he never wanted to meet with Eddie to discuss the $50 million. Malcolm Flex 69 member for six months on that champ level. Shout out in New Way. Two-time undisputed. They hating on Twitter. Okay, that's what's going on on Twitter. Lake County, $2. Burrow City E cooking with that Crisco grease. Wrist work. Uh, Elijah Gatsby, $2. First Super Chat ever. He says, cannot say on Twitter, which we don't know what you mean, but that is his first Super Chat on the TBV live stream. So we appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, Shout out to Elijah. Word. Word, 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 word. Who is next? Robin Vegas. Yo, yo, what's the weather like out there? What's going down? Hey, lot of good, lot of good points from my guy, bro. City E there, man. I, I agree with him on the fact that yeah, I, I know you was thinking that next, but you know what I'm saying. I'm so happy this is a call-in show. We, can, you know what I'm saying. Niggas can always rewind the tape. I thought that's why we had Tyrone the Great, but I ain't heard him on a few, on a few of the last couple shows to like call out if niggas is wrong or not. But uh, even even without that, uh, I definitely said like nigga that layoff is scary. Like I'm not picking niggas no more off of the layup, off of the layoff. And though I wanted to pick water, I said if anything, I just go with the over. Like we know for sure this bitch gonna go longer than six or seven rounds, whatever they had to over under place that. You know what I'm saying? Cause what with Wilder's Wilder? been on that long. Nah, I now I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't. Know. Man, bro, he knocked out Hellenius in one round. It took AJ seven. There was no indication. That we was gonna get what yep. we get. 
or what we got. Oh no, me. not that we would not that we would get what we get, but just that the fight will go longer than what it was. Not like, even not even the over, bro. Did Come that? on, man. Yeah. I mean, shout out to you. Yeah, look, thought, look, 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 look. I cannot we can rewind the show. I definitely said the over. We can rewind that. No, that shout that out. Show. I called him and said that. Yeah. Shout I said out. the over. I said, what's the over under on the round? Whatever it is, it's going over. Like, that's facts. Um I, I lost I lost my I lost my money on picking Makmudov over Kabiel when you fucking told me that that Kabiel dude would be good. That's that's where my fucking ticket got blown at. But uh yeah though, man, it's I, I don't think he's over with um the layoff. Like you you had that same thing when Fulton's I think a caller earlier said I would love to see Fulton in the ring again. Facts, man. Like goddamn, you gonna fight the best fighter on a 13 month layoff? Like why do these niggas keep taking these long layoffs? Then coming back thinking they Floyd, bro. You're not Floyd. And and actually, that brings me to my point about the call. Remember, I called in. I was like, I guess I'm going to put Wilder in the case of Floyd. But, I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? I can see him winning. But if anything, I'll just take the over because this motherfucker been on damn near a two-year layoff. Like, that's crazy. That That's crazy. He, he uh, Like, this these long layoffs for him. But that's besides the point. What about this, though? Can he possibly be playing... Be playing possum though. Could he be playing possum just to secure <laughs> him and AJ both agree? Him and AJ, listen, no, him and AJ, just Could he be playing possum? Him and AJ, bro, you took it to a new level, bro. <laughs> swear, swear though, him and AJ both already agreed to fight. So it's like, can he be just, let me make sure I get this motherfucker in the ring. And this time I ain't gonna be off no layoff. I got 12, no layoff, I got 12 rounds in. This but the agreement, was the agreement was, should they, should they? Hold up, Danny, you broke up on me. What, what, what happened? I said the agreement was, if they like both won, then they would fight. But it's not your time. Oh. See, I thought, see, because I heard AJ say, like, I still fight him. And I thought Wilder said, I thought everybody said the contract was already signed. Okay. No, nah, I didn't know that. Brother, yeah, I thought but that, you, that, that ain't, you ain't hear Eddie he said that they're, that, there indeed was an agreement in place because Eddie called Eddie called Dan Rayfield a liar, saying that the deal <laughs> wasn't done before he the did, fight. And yo. then right after the fight, uh, he was like, "There, there indeed was yeah. a deal in place if both guys won." So what? that's why I'm like, I, "Yeah." Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's real. That's real. I remember in the day he called him out on that. Said they're talking about ain't no deals in place. Playing possum. Like, like, let me just get to this AJ fight. Get some rounds in because I've been wanting to get this nigga in the ring forever. But, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. Wilder is he older, man. He older plus the layoff, bro. You add both of them in, bro. Like, you could definitely see that he wasn't going in there to watch Joseph Parker. Like, that was crazy. But uh, other than, other than that, man, Anue is definitely a killer, man. He he, that boy is good. He is the goods, and I definitely think he should skip one twenty six because he uh he's thirty years old already. So don't bullshit with that. Go up to one thirty and get you a name there. What do you think about that? Skip one twenty six. Let's get Anue at one thirty. I don't think 30 is old. Uh, I just, early in the morning, I saw, you know, every Yo, bell, older. everything. It's it's older. It's that 30. Like, because if he know, go to I 126, think... he got to stop there. And who is there at 126 that we really think is a challenge? I I don't I don't say stop at 26, but I don't see the <laughs> benefit per se in skipping 26. Well, it's just better fighters and better names at 130 than we could possibly get the tank at a catch weight. That's a possibility, you know. For sure. But yeah, though, man. I, yep, yep, for sure, man. Hey, I always appreciate talking out. Thanks for a call. And uh, yeah, man. Yeah. You may feel like appreciate it's your time. Appreciate it, champ. Appreciate it. If you are on the landline, don't forget you got to press one. And on Twitter, uh, cannot say on Twitter, you haven't even requested, so we don't see you. You must request because I don't know who you are. You have to request. You haven't raised your hand or any or whatever it is that you need to do on Twitter. If you're on Twitter... 
And let me check if you're on Discord. Nope. So I don't see you. CYP, what up? Counterpunch. Yo, yo. Yes. Yo, yo we're we going to have a new yo. segment. We're going to have a new segment called You Ain't Got a Lie to Kick It. That's mm. going to be the new slogan. You Ain't Got a Lie to Kick Because I heard somebody call in and say he never tried to unify. He duck Vlad, duck Vlad. I went into the archives. See, some of y'all don't know how math works. And some of y'all don't really follow these boxers. Y'all just follow show topics. Vladimir's own words. Own words. I have to face my mandatory. Fury's up next. After after I fight Fury, sure, I'll try to go collect the WBC belt from Wilder. They asked Shelly Finkel in an interview as soon as Wilder won. It wasn't Wilder. They were asking Shelly, uh, what do you think about a Vlad fight? Shirley Finkel says, Wilder probably needs a couple of defenses. We can talk about that after. Do, 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 do. Ask Vladimir Klitschko, what do you think? I need my mandatories. Wilder could have a couple of fights. I'll fight him after. Ask Wilder months later, what do you think about Fury? Uh, um, uh, um, Vladimir, his own words. Oh, yeah, I'm down to fight him as soon as he beat Fury. So all three of them, and Finkel was the manager of both, all three of them had a plan when he beat Fury for them to fight. What happened, geniuses? What happened? He lost to Fury. So all of you idiots who love to just lie to kick it, just got your ass kicked. Stop lying to kick it because we can't trust you. We cannot trust you. The math ain't mathing, my man. Wilder became champion in January. He went into, he went into negotiations with his second mandatory in April. He's telling you, I have to face these mandatories. I'll mess with Wilder after. Wilder says, I'll mess with him after. Finkel says, let's see about it after. All three of them. The after wasn't happening because the aftermath didn't add up. So please take that off the schedule of lies on Wilder because you ain't got a lie to kick it, dummies. And if you don't believe me, I'll send Danny the fucking article where Vladimir's saying exactly this. Do, 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 do. I'm going. CYP Discoveries. You know what that's called? Old Spades, man. What's that? Old Spades. These dudes bringing up old shit, and he defending old shit. None of that shit don't matter. The thing is that we all playing what if now. Since we seen what happened, you know, it's like, oh, this why he didn't fight this one. This why that one ain't happened. You know, everybody taking that 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 weak shot. But it's 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 evident that this version of him isn't the same version of him that existed once upon a time. Looks like we got Mr. Lethal. Yo, Tyrone Gray, find out. Oh, go ahead. Yo, the audio there? Yep. Yeah, man, it's me. It's me, the ambassador of the great state of Tennessee. Your boy, Jane, P-A-Y-N-E, Mr. Lethal on self. You know, like I know, man. The best show on the planet, man. Matter of fact, in the Milky Way galaxy, man. It's TVV for season, man. Um, damn, y'all, man. I, I try to consider myself to be more on my positivity, not this negativity shit as of late. Um, I try to uplift, you know, people, man, and, 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 and I try to give people they just do in their proper respects, man, but then it'd be things that I observe that be happening out here in the atmosphere, and it just call me to question my perspective sometimes. Like, I'm not taking nothing away from Wilder. Um, he's accomplished more than what anybody expected, probably even himself. He went on to do phenomenal things and entertain myself and millions of other people for years and years, man. But I would be lying like a motherfucker if I said he gave me everything that I wanted to see. Um, did I want him to use, you know, more skill? Sure, but he didn't have it to give. He just gave us, you know, highlight real knockouts, and I'll take that as an acceptable substitute. Did he fight everybody that I wanted him to fight? Fuck no. He fought a who's who, a C-list, D-list motherfuckers with the occasional person we lifted up as a B-list. 
until they went on to show us they were C-list too. Um, all of that mm. I can forgive, but what I can't understand is why a nigga pillow talking with another nigga on a fucking interview, and he ain't bringing it to the fucking congregation and giving TBB the interview so he can come on our platform and answer to the community that been lifting dude up for the past decade, putting them on this big ass platform, building them up, telling everybody, man, check out Wilder, Wilder this, Wilder that, keeping the conversation going, making make believe fights happen, trying to promote this man to go get millions of dollars across the pond and all these different things he could do to expand his fan base and uh, fucking get his fucking name up when they were saying he didn't have a name or he didn't have the profitability, the marketability. And I give so many props to the callers that called in before myself. It's been so many excellent points made, so many valid arguments made. Man, everybody on they shit, man, and everybody is opinionated about this topic. So I'm just going to say this to say, bro, you got to bring this shit to the flow, man. You got to do a TBV interview, man, and, and set the record straight, my nigga. You don't even got to tell us what you plan to do. Just goddamn come and address some of the shit you talking, because I'm tired of hearing my nigga talk about what he heard and rumors and all of that shit, bro. Like, it's been more motherfucking sidebar comments and quotables and shit from my dude than actual performance in the past few years, bro. And it's like, man, we just need you to set this fucking record straight, man. That's all I got. I'm just going to leave it there, man. Man, I appreciate y'all for giving us the form to talk about this shit, getting shit off our chest. I was finna go sideways, but I calmed down a lot listening to these great callers, man. So I'm going to leave it there. Y'all know what it is. This the illest, trillest, dopest boxing podcast in the entire galaxy, man. James Payne Lethal, I'm out, man. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you. Um, yes, indeed, champ. We got... Ah, there you go. I did go to you before, cannot say. Huh, yeah, see, you got issues connecting, bruv. You might need to jump all the way out, like all the way out, close the app up, come back into the space. That's the best recommendation I got for you, player, player. But you are a non-connect. You are a uh, spinning wheel there. If you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, I need you to do that. We're trying to get to 187,000. We need about 100 more subscribers. So, uh, yeah, won't you be a good guy or gal and subscribe to the show? Uh, London Runs Boxing wanted me to play this here. He's like, yo, this is the real reason. What would he say here? Let's see my message. The reason he went from Bronze Bomber to Dr. Sleep. Um, last one, yeah. describe me Deontay Wilder in one word. <laughs> bronze. Bronze, nice. I see what you did there. And what would what happen? What did I do? Bronze bomber, you went for his name. No. No, some, what, for a different reason? You're not gold. Why? You're not silver. Oh, you mean like Olympic bronze? Just general, you're not, you're not gold. Um, last one, yeah. describe huh. me Deontay Wilder. What do you think about, uh, what do you think about that shot? I mean, that's the amateurs, champ. But he wasn't talking about metal when she said, "Oh, you, I see what you did. You told it because of metal." He's like, "No, it's just you not gold, you not silver, you bronze." Trying to put him. You don't think he put him down, champ? You wilding. Like, I mean, if it, even if it's not the metal, right? Like, what's worth more? Gold is worth more than silver and bronze. For sure. All right. For he, sure. he he playing them. He, play, he trying to play him. He trying to play him. Right, CYP? Where you at? Defending. Do, 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 Malcolm. Yo, yo, yeah. Hear me? So that's, he's saying that's the reason he changed his name is, you know. What up? Yeah, we hear you. Yo, yo. Sham, we hear you. We hear you. Shout out CBV, man. Shout out CBV. Uh, shout out my boy NOA, man. Two times undisputed. Uh, It was a good fight. I caught that shit, like, right on my fucking lunch break. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I didn't think Tabales would do so good. You know, he, he had definitely had his moments. The fucking, um, the right uppercut into the hook was just connecting. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I don't know if that's really a, a South Pole thing. Like, you know, that South Poles have that little thing going for them uh, against Inouye. You know, especially because, you know, the right hand, that's kind of their lead. But damn, like, he was just really hitting them. And I, I was just like, yo, if he doesn't fucking get a knockout, I'm going to get pissed off, you know. But, um... Yeah, he did what he had to do. Uh, the hate on Twitter is crazy. And I, I think it has to do a lot with um, ESPN. If, if you know ESPN, they push international fighters heavy. You know, so there's a lot of people complaining that he shouldn't be over Bud on the pound for pound list or whatever. And I mean, I, I tell niggas all the time. Like me personally, I still got Bud number one. But you got to understand, once somebody fights, for, you know, they're going to automatically bump up. Like, it, it always happens once they just have their recent fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have Devin 3 and Canelo 4. That's just an example. Canelo fights. Let's just say he fights in two months. Somehow, somebody, they're just going to bump him up because it's a recent fight. You feel me? So, I'm not really feeding too much into that, but it, it's just motherfuckers is just going crazy on each other. Uh, What was up with the Wilder thing? Like, what what exactly? He did and the, the topic. He did a recent interview where he said that... Uh... He heard a rumor that if he would have won, AJ would have retired, and that he also said, you know, he was making fun of AJ. He's like, did you see how excited and happy he was because I lost? He's scared. They, nev they never wanted to fight <laughs> me. He said AJ uh, yeah, should be I mean, thanking him. He said AJ should be thanking him because he wouldn't have performed that good unless Wilder lost. He said it was a relief off AJ's shoulders. Word, he didn't say that. This, uh, Listen, this motherfucker lost. Uh, he he's talking like he won. Like he he's talking like he won in some type of way. You know, this is the same guy that it wasn't even a month ago. He's still talking about the Fury fight. You know, I think it's a denial thing. Like he doesn't really take his losses that good. Uh, I me personally, I don't even want to see him fight. Like I, I kind of want him to hang it up. You know, uh, I I don't. I'm not too fond of the whole fight with him and Joshua anymore, and I don't know if he's gun-shy. I don't think he's going to learn anything new because of his age and where he's at. I heard a reference about, you know, Nganu. I think the other day somebody was saying, that, you know, Nganu came in and he looked it, but that's from MMA what? coming what? to another what? Sport. what? You said what? Oh, no, I had heard a reference Um, because, you know, everybody's saying, like, you know, Wilder's not going to really learn anything, but... And Gano's an example of somebody who's older that picked up some shit late. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And my counter to that is, but he just went to a different sport. You know what I'm saying? He was doing that MMA. That is the bell, though, champ. That is the bell. Trying you again yeah. cannot say all you're going to be able to say. Unmute. Are you there? I hear you. Is it me? Is it me, though? It is you now. What up, bruv? I'm good, man. I'm good. Um, yeah, I was using the browser before. That's why I couldn't I couldn't send you a request, so I just downloaded the app. You got it. All right, yeah. So me and you used to talk back in the day all the time. Do you remember my voice? Not yet. It's Elijah. I used to call you. You used to, you used to block me. It was you, you, Even one time you invited me on a show, you told me to come and like, host a show with you. But it was a trap because you wanted to just roast me online. But um, everything you you're saying about Wilder trap. now, <laughs> no, it was a trap. You, Nez back in the day was was he's still slick now, but he was worse back in the day. But but um, everything everything Nez is saying about Wilder now, I used to call in and say for time, Wilder's been a fraud. His personality is fake. He's a liar. How can he say oh? To Fury, I was offered the fight to fight AJ, but I, I, uh, I chose you. But then now he said, "Oh, AJ didn't want to fight me, even though there was a contract signed." The man's dumb. And my only question to Ness is, why couldn't you see it before? Because everything, everything because because he did try. Like you can't act like Joseph Parker was not in. Alabama. I was there. I interviewed him. I took pictures with Joseph. The, he was supposed to get in the ring. You can't act like Wilder didn't try to send the 50 million. That existed. No, no. See, 
Ness, Ness, you've come a long way, my guy. This whole 50 million thing was very clear. My brother. And AJ said it. My brother, what? we had guys like Steven Espinoza. Now, 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 look, have we seen in the, you know, has Tom gone on and, and Espinoza is shown to be super duper PBC? Yeah, but like, exactly. there, there was a lot to corroborate the 50 million, bro. Come on. And what about this, Elijah? What about this? What? AJ only offered Wilder, never any other fighter, a flat fee twice. The, don't forget the... Uh, hold on. Bro, bro, hold on. Hold on. Let me tell the people because they don't, they haven't even heard this. You know why? Because it's unheard of. Because the only other fighter that did it was Floyd, and at least his number was four times AJ's. And Pacquiao still said no and proved to the world you don't accept a flat number because he ended up getting 100 plus for the Pacquiao for the Mayweather fight. Now, now AJ right. offered Deontay 12.5 million flat. You gonna let me land? You gonna let me land? Now? Uh, after, after I say that after Wilder said no, he then offered him 17.5 million flat, no rematch clause. All right, you gonna let me land now? No, you're good. You're good. All right. When he offered him, when he offered him the flat, when he offered him the flat fee, I think his highest payday was like one million. He hadn't fought on pay per view, and he was, and as Eddie Hearn would say, he was still a nobody. Mm -hmm. Even though it was a, even though it was a flat fee, it was in accordance to what my man so was champ, earning. So champ, my only counter to that, and I know you're gonna think, damn, Ness, let me talk, but. We could kill that really right, quick. Cool, cool. We could kill that really quick with Javonta giving Ryan a chance without ever being on nah. pay per view. Hold on, Ness, Ness, hold on, hold on. I'm this. just giving you Ness, facts. Wait, I'm giving you facts. You're not giving me facts. You're well, better than well, this, my well guy. Tank did take a guy that never been on pay per view Ness, and do a big fight. Tank didn't offer him a flat fee. Tank didn't offer okay, him a flat yeah. fee. That's all you gotta all right, do. Well, is, is is just is just. It's just proof. Tank didn't say you never been on pay per view. Here's a flat fee. But go ahead. Yes, yes. What's your counter? What's your counter? Look, you've you've come a long way, and I'm actually disappointed I've called in because now you're moving like the oldness. Yes, Ryan Garcia is not comparable to Wilder. You and, you know and why? This, why, you know why is already. that? Why is that? Because of social media. Social media, Instagram commercials, you know this, and you're saying it. This is the issue I had with you. So, 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 so Ryan is not comparable because he's more popular than Wilder, but less accomplished, right? Uh, listen, you know, you know this. You're telling me stuff you know, bro. So, 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 one million Instagram followers at the time wasn't enough. Listen, listen, listen. No, I'm just, You're I just, try to take I me just down want to, no, no, I just want to be clear no, 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 so, no, no, so no, that no, we no. know really? what Elijah's gauge is so that next time I could be like, no, nah, 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 fuck it, fuck it. You don't let me speak. Well, no, I just want to make sure that you know that when no, Devin, you're, when you're Devin, doing, you're doing a mess. No, no, no. I gave, mess, I've given one. you, I've given you more time. Don't worry about it. I just want the world to know. I just want the world to know. I just want the world to know that when Devin doesn't offer Matias, you're Percentages, off again, back end, me off again, bro. highest payday of his life. We are gonna resort you're back me to off this. Again, bro. No, you good? Go ahead. You cut me off again. You good? You good? Okay, okay. Because you brought up Devin, let me just explain with Devin. And Devin said it. His dad said it. Eddie Hearn said it. He's offered everyone his highest payday because no one's gonna fight Devin without it. Boom. So we will move that to the side. He offered Wilder his highest payday, but he still didn't want to take it. Listen, like Ness, you can you you run your narratives. You take people down these little lanes to try and cut them off and make them look silly. It's not gonna work with me, bro. Yeah, we. It's not working. Everyone time. knows. I mean, it's not, not working because you're not a logical person. If you were logical, I'm it, not logical. If you were logical, yeah, yeah, it's a if you were to logical, that wild, wild it, is crazy. if you were logical, but it's not your we wouldn't even be having this conversation simply because, again, no other man other than AJ and Mayweather offered someone a flat fee. And in both instances, the world thought that the dude that offered the flat fee was ducking the other dude. Oh my days! Let's let's. I mean, you've come prove, a long way. But prove me wrong. You're reversing. Prove me wrong. You're reversing, bro. Prove okay, me wrong. all I'm gonna say is, bro. All I'm gonna say is, at that time, Wild, I think Wilder's best win was Bermain Stavern. If we're gonna talk about Jerome Miller, three hundred pounds, hey champ, 
Release my counter, the Bob my counter to that is what was Ryan Garcia's biggest win at the time? But we, you, you, and everyone knows Ryan Garcia is an anomaly. <laughs> he is. Don't don't laugh because like I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. <laughs> no, you Tell are. Tell me I'm lying. You are lying. Oh my day. You are lying. Oh my. You know you're doing I what you say I'm that. doing. You're doing what you say I'm doing. You're pushing the goalposts back. No, no, I said you, you take people down a lane specifically with your, so you can try and get them with a certain thing. You know as well, as all the callers, Ryan Garcia is an anomaly. My man looks like a model. My man's got um, commercials. So let me, ask you, let me ask you a question. Is Gennady an anomaly too? G Gennady, was an, Gennady wasn't an anomaly. Gennady was a, a fighter similar to Wilder. Pampered record, but he was dangerous. He had knockouts. But was he an anomaly? No, no, no. So then why Ryan, did he, saying, so then why did he, like Ryan, have success yeah. when he did a pay-per-view with the right fighter? Who, who, who? Uh, Gennady and Canelo. Oh. Remember, Gennady, he was on he was on two unsuccessful quote unquote, because back then. 170 was not considered successful. Of course. Look, uh, Gennady, we all know a thing about dance, uh, dance partners as well. All yeah? right. So why are you acting like Wilder wasn't AJ's best dance partner to this day? This, it didn't matter. The oh, same, it didn't matter. Same. It didn't matter. Let, so we offered him a fee because we didn't want it. We you didn't gonna want it. Yeah. You gonna oh, let me answer? Bro, I'm giving you 30 minutes, bro. You can, you can answer. You give me 30 minutes because I hold you to facts, my nah, guy. That's why. Nah, because it's entertaining. My chat is is loving that I'm I'm sautéing your ass. You ain't cooking nothing. You ain't cooking nothing. You, you can't right. cook. Sautéing. I ain't even start cooking yet. Sautéing. All right. All right. Any, anyway, look. Ness, to finish off, because I don't want you to keep saying, I'm giving you more time just to finish off. I called in to congratulate you for finally opening your eyes. I know you wear glasses, but you finally opened your eyes and you realize what everyone else noticed about Wilder. He's just, his character's fake. He lies all the time. Everyone knew this. I can't. It took you five years. <laughs> anyway, I'm done, bro. I'm bro, done, bro. Bro, you're going to act like he was always a liar? You're going to act like those fights didn't break bro. him? Come on, man. You watch this sport. Those fights. No, of course, Fury. But listen, listen. Fury broke him. Fury right, broke him. All right, all right. He wasn't a liar. He believed what he was saying. He got Bro, made a believer. How can you tell me he's not a liar? How can you tell me he's not a liar? So give me the when, lie. I need to know the lie. What lie? What lie? All right. I, we'll, we'll go back to the, the most recent lie. Took just a couple of days ago, AJ didn't want to fight me. Come on, yeah, man. You come at Come yourself. on, man. You, I, you said you said I should have known he was always a liar. Give me an older lie. Oh, all right, all right. I'll, I'll give I'll give you an older lie. I'll give you an older lie. And this is something that I saw you on your show multiple times saying it. Was Dillian White trying to fight Wilder? Yes or no? Was he trying to fight Wilder? Of course. Yeah. He was Did calling you... him out. All right. Cool. Was the narrative not? Oh, if White wants to fight me, fight someone. Fight Ortiz. He don't want to fight me because he's not fighting Ortiz. And everyone, all the callers were saying, oh, White don't want to fight Wilder. Well, that's what Americans used to do. They used to watch someone to fight yeah, and say, but oh, champ, he don't want to fight Wilder. But champ, but you can't, you know, me specifically, you can't generalize me with a man. Like, I was going to Alabama asking him to fight Wilder on camera. I mean, to fight Diddley and White yeah, on yeah. camera. I wanted the fight. Was, you, I wanted that fight yeah, and the Chisora fight. I literally got interviews saying, bro, they offering you $5 million for Chisora, $8 million for Dillian White. How the fuck could you say no to that? No, no, no. I know, I know. This, that time was around the time when you were starting to wake up, but you were doing it in a way where you weren't trying to push yourself away from Wilder, but you were starting to realize my man's a fraud. All right? Even though all the UK brothers knew this from day that Wilder was a fraud. Anyway, this. None of these UK brothers way. sent you one counterpunch. None of these UK... It don't don't call, bro. It don't don't call them brothers. I'm your brother giving you free time. These these guys, they nobody. Listen, they, they, they muppets. Listen, listen. They muppets. My last, my last sentence, you don't give free time. You're a businessman. You only give free time when you're getting cooked. In a bit, my guy. I'm getting cooked. Bro, it's too easy to win. Like you, you, you guys are you like CYP? You bringing up old shit? You know what I'm saying? How five years ago you want me to think he's a liar? When five years ago 
you know, he's trying to fight AJ and he's being offered flat fees. Like, we legit got Denny 2018 to now. It's how many years? Six? Five. Five? So in five years, have you heard of one flat fee offer for a super fight? Let me be clear. Let me be clear because I don't want anybody to be slick. I'm, we talking super fight. And, and, and my man, for my man to get on the call and say, oh, no, Blase Blah, dance partner. Bro, that's the one thing you can't, you can say anything for the seven, eight years of buildup. AJ has yet to have a bigger dance partner than Deontay Wilder. Not even the fucking bullshit domestic fight that, that's yet to fucking develop, which is AJ Fury, is bigger than fucking AJ. Klitschko? And, 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 and what? Bro, AJ Klitschko, how is that bigger than AJ Wilder, bro? You kidding me? That shit was never fucking bigger. Like, you, you got an old man coming off of retirement from 18 months off a of loss for a fucking fake vacant belt unification. Knock yeah. it the fuck off. That was I'm politics saying, at its, its finest. Still, it's, it's still brought out, 90,000 people. I mean, bro, I, that's, I, is that the, like, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. All, all I'm saying is, if that's the indication of super fight is the 90,000, then okay, Vlad is one. But um, I don't see how he is a bigger so, opponent to than be Wilder. Clear, to be clear, are you saying bigger opponent like back then or now? Because, I mean, for for what it's worth, I think that at best, Wilder right now. I'm glad CYP helping Klitschko, me. He killed you. He killed you. What he, killed you. he killed you. CYP helping me. It can't be bigger, bro. Klitschko was free for us and it was at six o'clock. Get that bullshit out of here. You know what I'm saying? When it's a real fight, you got to pay, no matter where you at. No matter where you at. You know it, I know it. You know it, I know it. You know it, I know it. But uh, we got a couple Super Chats. But still, still in all, what other, what other, yeah, I mean, I mean you, you, you haven't mentioned a flat fee super I guess, fight. bro, they got, they, they, Yo, you bro, changed the, you changed fee. the goalposts. You started talking about 90,000. I said, in the bro, five you years. Just said, you just said that Wilder, Today would be Joshua's biggest win. And no, I didn't say Wilder. that. I didn't say that. I said, I said in the in the in the in the in the, in the whole time of them not making that fight, Wilder's still been his biggest opponent. Like his biggest fight. I didn't say win. It's his biggest fight. Nobody wants Fury more than they wanted Wilder. Nobody wanted. Vlad more than they wanted Wilder. We wanted AJ Wilder, dog, almost eight uh, years. Uh, Is am I over? Am I am I exaggerating years, with the eight? How many years has it been? Sure. Seven then. I would say I would say since two thousand and um seventeen. Since we've been asking for the Fury fight, right? Same amount of time. No, no way, bro. Didn't Fury jump so, in the so ring in 2016? Were, so were people were people were people were at were people asking for Wilder AJ the year Wilder became champion? Because AJ was in the Olympics 2016, bro. So it gotta be logical. Like if if Wilder if Wilder oh no, that was 2012, right? 2012. Yeah, that was 2012. Yeah, I mean, again, were people asking for Wilder AJ the year Wilder became champion? Mm. I don't know, man. I know I got interviews that go back with Wilder. He he got he had names for the belts, bro. He been trying. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I've never seen flat fees. Only Pacquiao got off for forty million flat to fight Mayweather. He turned it down. End up getting damn near triple. Um, and only AJ offered Wilder two flat fees. It's never been done again. Like we don't hear of a flat fee super fight, and no one can say that Wilder's not a super fight for AJ when we've been asking for it five years. So that no one says we exaggerating. Uh, but we got 
Tyrone the Great, and he says, I've been on vacation, excuse me, I've been on a month vacation right now from track, and the holidays and work have been hindering me from tracking accurately. No worries, champ. We get it. Rada of the Storm $2. Wilder fans are full of excuses and triangle theories. Yep. London runs boxing two-pounder. Stop it. That 50 M's came with a 24-hour deadline. For reals, for reals. Um, let me tell you something. Yeah, 24 hours. No, 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 no. Don't say nothing. Don't don't say nothing. That's not true. What you was about to say, I, you shouldn't have said it because now you got to say it. Nah, no, nah, no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, you want to backtrack because you, your, your brain just triggered. No, no, His no. brain triggered. No, that's, and bro. that's why my favorite fighter is my favorite fighter. Bro, bro, but, but what? That's why. What you thinking of don't change what just came out of my mouth. It still, it changed hours everything. It's awfully fucking quick. And, and, and Devin Haney took it. And Devin Haney bro, took okay, it. Okay, but. Cool, but how how am I wrong in saying what the fuck I said? You ain't wrong. I'm just pounding my chest because my favorite fighter do shit that motherfuckers what, what, can only major, fucking what dream of. Life choice, what major life choice, bro? It took you it took you six months to decide to move to Vegas. You know what I'm saying? 24 hours is awfully quick for motherfuckers to make a decision that's life changing. And if you like that, you like that. Line. If you like that, you like that. Devin Haney showed bro, him he liked does that. Does it change the fact that it was awfully quick? Yes or no? Devin Haney showed you was like that. When George Campos your point, when, you just fucking ignorant. When George, when George Campos and 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 top rank and and Lou DeBella said, yo, here's the deal. You get in this percent, you got to go over there. It's a two-fight deal. You got to sign a Lou and the top rank, and you got to sign this contract in 24 hours, and if it get leaked, we suing you. Devin signed it. Uh. Devin the Dream Haney. So if AJ was as ballsy and believed so in himself you've yet to you've yet to show how can i just give people backstory said, can bro, i give people backstory so they champ, understand champ, what we talk this, about this you want to argue about you saying what i'm saying isn't true so i just want to who I just, said i, I said don't see. say that because i was going to hit you with like, the 24 bro, hour true. thing don't say that all right man i'm good man you good you win bro you win you ain't getting it you ain't getting it. At the end of the day, 24-hour contracts exist. Devin Haney proved that. Roland Curtis. And then Nestor gives words. 24 hours is, is a long time to take to take a, a contract. I never it's said that. I, I just said that it's adequate time because Devin Haney proved it. Uh, Roland Curtis, $10. Yeah. Him taking it don't make it adequate time. I mean, I, I mean, like I mean, he made the that's decision, right? Rush. He made the decision. Yeah, and was it was it a rush decision? Whether I, I it was the right or the wrong one, was it rush? I don't know that it was Were rush. They not rush. I don't know that it was rush. Okay. Are you asking me if it was a short amount of time given by the person that sent the contract? Absolutely, it was meant to be a take it or leave right. it. It just took us five. It just took us five minutes to get here, bro. That's all. We just said the same exact thing. It was an awfully quick amount of time. Big Nick, you would say you would say or what you're saying instead of admitting. An awfully quick. You would say what you're saying instead of admitting, like, damn, Ness, you're right. Devin did take a 24-hour contract. It is on record. But I mean, instead... Devin, he ahead, did John. do that, but Devin had nothing to do with it. All I was saying was that it's awfully quick. Awfully quick. But who's who's the, an awfully who, quick time? Who is and you said no? Don't say that. It's not true. Two things can be true. It, it it can be a short amount of time, but yet we've had people in history to that have done it. Two things can be true, champ. Big Nick. I mean, is Devin's George Cambosos fight not considered a super fight? I mean, because he's certainly undisputed in a foreign country in for, in front of forty thousand people. So name me a super fight in 20... I'm going to time you out because you're making me answer shit for free and you're wrong. So see you later, alligator. Huh? How about that? How about that? Because 
That's a super fight. You don't fight in front of 40,000 people. You don't fucking go to a foreign country. You don't undispute every day. That doesn't happen every day. Show us where that happens every day because Jamel Charlo undisputed in front of less. Crawford undisputed in front of less. Danny, how many did the Pales just uh, a new way just undisputed in front of? Uh, I don't know. Was it a, a, a <laughs> could it be 40 mil, 40,000? I don't think they fought in the stadium. I'm pretty sure it was an arena. Oh, why right, then? So then, you know, we got the respect. Nike Hendricks, what up? Yo, shouts out to the boxing voice, man. Hey, man. Danny, it sound like you. I don't know nothing, man. Devin, that dude. Just accept it. <laughs> nah, but... Uh, in a way, man, twice undisputed, he he. Oh, you do know that Devin had nothing to do with the conversation, right, champ? I mean, y'all like, just talking about zero to do with it. Yeah, right. I don't know what you oh, just I, said. <laughs> yeah, Ness just said he just took a deal that was in twenty four hours, and he was like Devin. Had right, but to he do brought it. that up. He brought that up. I was, you know. Because he chose to do that. That, you know, had nothing to do with the topic at hand. No, what happened, Danny, what happened was that I jumped the gun. Because this guy's he's so weird. He didn't get that. And he gets upset. So this is the truth. I apologize. I cut you off. When I heard you start to talk, I assumed you were going to say that it doesn't happen in 24, and that I was going to remind you of the Devin Haney contract. That's all. That's where the lack, the m mistake comes in. You thought I said whatever it is you thought I said. All I did was jump in thinking you said so we're going to say something else. That's all. Uh, and I never jumped back in to tell you, bro, you misunderstood me, and it just kept going. But that's all. I, I thought you were going to run with the guy, Big Nick, and be like, yeah, you know, 24 hours is crazy to send a, a, a $50 million off. And I was like, well, Devin did it. So when you started to talk, I assumed you wasn't going to be on my side. And I had that loaded gun of Devin's contract. I, can't, I, I just shot you by mistake. That's all that happened. That's all. That's all, that's all bro. That's all. That's all. Uh, in a way, in a way, top two, I just top, shot top, you. Top. I just shot you by mistake. It's quite crazy, but go on, man. What? <laughs> what? Damn, don't uh, tell me that shit. Don't tell family me family. you just made that shit sexual, bro. Because I would be out of here right now. Bro, what? what oh, are you talking about? Oh, I don't Whoa, know pause, because you bro. said All the pauses, bro. All the because pauses, you said wait, it's bro. quite crazy All right saying, now. Yeah, because you saying that, you saying that, like, that's just a casual thing to say. Like, I, bro, I just shot you by accident. Like, I'm like, bro, that's kind of crazy. Bro, I'm talking about, talking about the crossfire. <laughs> I'm talking for sure, for the sure, crossfire bro, because it's, I'm going at Nick and you jumped in. I'm talking about the crossfire. Innocent bystander. That's not all, Danny. That's not all. Innocent bystander. Uh, yeah, in a way, definitely top five, pound for pound. And I want, I want this b-ball fight, man. Arthur better be, man, if the WBC ain't on, still on that shit. I hope, I hope we get that fight. And, and 130? If, I, I like I like um, Monster going to 130 to fight Tank. I don't know why a lot of people scatter that shit. Like, damn. The man two-time undisputed. He great. He, he definitely Hall of Fame. So, shit. Why not go up to 130 and fight Tank? And tanking, like you said, and that's that's five pounds. If you saying you can go up five to fight Devin, or even if you don't go up five, if you're talking shit, you I mean they they, they want five. Devin to come down five, so let him go down. That's a super fight for Tank. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's an Look, international I super everybody, fight. Everybody say the U.S. I, I say Tokyo. It's it's even better in Tokyo. I don't know with Tank legal actions and all that shit going on, but. Tokyo, that'll be a massive fight, man. Monster and Tank. 
You got fucking Godzilla in the tank as the uh, theme and shit. Come on, man. That's a big ass fight right there. Everybody buying that. They're going to do numbers. But yeah, man, you got um, next. Put your gun on safety next time. But that's my call, man. All right. Now I jumped the gun. I thought, because Danny never want to be on my side. I thought he was coming for me, too. That's all. So, you know, I had to blam, blam him. Yo, we got ghosts. Yo, what up? What up? Yes, yeah, so um, yeah, so, uh, the difference between the Haney Cambosos thing is that Haney, uh, he didn't, he was the B side. He didn't. They offered him twenty four hours to give him a reason not to accept it. Like Josh was the guy. Like, why would he accept twenty four hours notice when he's the main guy? Well, like, why not that you- this is not that this is a great comeback, but the. A uh, normal comeback of most boxing fan is, quote unquote, well, he never made that much of it in his life. And at that time, yeah, don't tell was- me, don't tell me AJ made 50, 000, 50 million guaranteed. Don't even go there. Yeah, but, yeah, but Ness, would you sign a contract within twenty four hours without looking? At I mean, my my he brother Devin it. Haney did it. Any excuse you're gonna come but- up with, Devin Haney proved that. There is enough but, time if you want to do it. So that's just like a waste of your call. But if you want to waste no, it, I'll shut up. You can't compare it because Haney, if he didn't take that fight, where was he going to go? He did. Haney, it don't matter. It don't matter. You have two reasons to take it. Because it's the most money you ever made and because it was sent. So Haney, Haney took it. So AJ took it for what? Why did he say no? Because he, the, Eddie Hearn said they needed more time to look through through the contract, but, and they only gave them. But Devin years. Haney proved that if you a fighter, fighters fight, and he accepted it. Would Devin Haney accept that offer if he was the A side? He or would accepted he say, nah, let me, let me, let me it. He would no, he that. took no. less money. <laughs> there was literally an offer on the table for that fight for for more money with and Eddie Hearn. Said, yeah, but Cambosos didn't want to do with Eddie Hearn. He was he wanted to do it with. My champ, my champ, listen to me. If they really wanted the fight, because you you said AJ was the A side, he could have accepted the fifty million and sent an email with his terms. He didn't even do that. You wasting your call, champ. Haney did it. Did Haney accept a flat fee? Haney's a yes. Yes. Then why why are you not saying this? Why didn't Wilder do the same thing then? No, actually Haney says he took twenty two percent. Twenty two percent. Yeah, but I know you keep saying flat fee, flat fee, but Wilder also did get a percentage as well. But you keep bringing up the flat fee. No, the no, flat no, no. no. Wilder, Wilder didn't get offered a, a a percentage until after the two mm-hmm. reported offers for flat fees, which were unheard of. It just showed that they were scared. You know it, and I know it. It's Say again. You end. muffled. You muffled. What? It was negotiations. He did get a percentage that's, at the end. That's not negotiations, bro. That was stalling him out. Like and then what did they do? See, you guys don't know how to remember. I got perfect memory when it comes to some of this boxing shit. And the truth is, they sent them two bullshit ass offers that was flat fees, knowing that he was a super fight, and they stalled him out. Because they knew they was leaving Sky and had the zone deal. Then all of a sudden, WBA sends the rescue letter that he has to negotiate with Pavekin in 30 days. And all of a sudden, Anthony Joshua's first fight is on zone. And all of a sudden, Anthony Joshua announces that he's got stake in the zone and the zone has stake in matchroom and the matchroom has stake in the zone and it's this giant partnership so it was all a bunch of bullshit they never wanted the fight because they had every intention to do what you before you call it lying every intention of doing what you believe al is gonna do with tank which is parade him on the new network versus someone they know he can be not versus devin not versus Matias, not versus T.O.Y., because they got a shine on the new network, just like Pavekin and A.J. 
Knock that shit off. Stop the lies, man. Don't be lying, bro. Why we got to lie? Damn. You better off saying the motherfucker never could have won based off yesterday's or Saturday's fight than lying. You know he, you know they was ducking. Like, come on, man. We, yo, not even, not even Tank sending Devin a flat fee. He ain't send, Tank, he ain't, Tank ain't even send Ryan a flat fee. Like, come on, man. You still out here trying to defend that bullshit. So corny. Yikes, yikes, yowzers. I've been on my discovery this morning, man. I sent Danny some. Uh, he, he, if he read that, it, it's going to blow this whole thing up, man. It, it, it's going to blow this whole past life. You know, Danny Eddie don't be up. doing nothing. You should have sent it to me. No, no, no. I'm going to send it to you after. After. No, I read after it. to determine. I read it. I read it. It said so, Finku was dumbfounded by the move, having been so close to completion. He told. WBN that Hearn should have asked the WBA for an exception to face Wilder. WBN later confirmed with WBA President Gilberto Mendoza that Joshua would have been granted the exemption if he oh. had asked. Oh no. So he lied to us and told us he had to. He lied to us, and y'all believe the promoter whose job is to lie to you? Listen, if you're from the UK, you just heard the words from the man, his own, the man who grants him, who grants the, the ability to do what you do. Your man, Eddie Hearn, lied to you. They did not want to face Wilder. Ness just broke it down to you why, but you guys will still lie. Eddie Hearn don't give a fuck about you. He's a damn liar. That's what he was doing. He was gaslighting. I got an article from Dan Raphael that gives all the details to where the fight wanted to be, which was Vegas. But Eddie Hearn told you, where is it going to be? We don't know. They told you how much money he was getting. He would get $50 million no matter what. Even if the fight flopped, he would get $50 million. Did he tell you that? No, he didn't. They told you it had to be before the end of the year. Did he tell you that? No. There were so many details in the contract. He didn't just send it to email to AJ, he said it to three different people and the emails were confirmed by ESPN. Y'all were lied to by this man. But listen, that's in the past. So if you could admit that you that you were that you were hoodwinked, that you were bamboozled, I'll let it go. But if you keep calling in lying, I'm gonna have to keep exposing you because you don't have to lie to kick it and see why pieces kick your ass. I'm they, out. They're not gonna call those UK dudes are more chatters in the chat than they are callers. But uh, we got Suleiman, last counter. What it do? How are you? Suleiman, got to unmute. Yeah, man, all this politics about the money, man. Right now, okay, let's look at the present. Forget about the past. Word. This guy lost the fight, right? And he got to walk with his chest out. He lost to an ex-champion. At the end of the day, he lost to an active ex-champion, okay? Um, it's not a loss. He's too ranked. Go fight Char, get that belt, and make that money, bro. That's what we got to be talking about. Make that money. Make him more credible. If he gets a WBA regular belt, he could defend that belt. He could start hooting and hollering, asking to fight the other fighters. Uh, maybe unify with, with, with Tyson Fury in a third and a fourth fight, or get Usyk, man. The same thing the boss did. The boss had the WBA regular. He 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 pushed for the mandatory against this guy. Put yourself in the mandatory slot. You just lost by decision. Okay, so what? You lost the fight to Joseph Parker. That's a credible opponent, very active. Then you go get a rematch, man. Get that belt. That belt is just wasting away over there. Get that belt in the UAE and then bring it back to the state and then start who you know, start hooting and hollering. You could get a rematch with uh with, with with Parker. Parker, you know, that, that could happen. Hey, I had a bad day, man. Parker was swift, he was jabbing and moving. I was a little flat. Get that belt and then start making this money. Forget about this politics of the past. We talk about the present. He gotta create avenues for himself. He got to start working with, Matt, with, with Mark Whelan again. A gold medalist that was a two-time champion. That's what you need in your corner to give you, tell you what to do. You know what I'm saying? The champion level. You know what I'm saying? Mark Whelan is an excellent trainer. Mark Whelan had a fighting good. He defended his belts 10 times. That's what we need to see. We don't need to see nothing else. Give this guy positive energy, not negative energy, man. Let's start talking about the money that went, you know, 
that, that, that left his pockets a long time ago. Let's talk about the present. Let's fill these pockets up with some money, man. Thanks a lot for having me on, man. And continue to, uh, I hope you continue to great, great contact, man. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Yo, I mean, you know, that is a good option. Like, it ain't going to be the best option for the hardcores and for the wilder detractors because they're going to be like, oh, he cherry-picking Mark Muchar. But, you know, at least you become two-time, you know. And it's like uh, Suleiman said, once you get that belt, you can push for the mandatory status like, like Dubois did. He got a shot at Usyk. So... That means if Wilder gets that belt, he can get a shot at the winner of Usyk Fury, possibly, if everything goes his way. You know, he brings in the finances, so the, 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 the sanctioning bodies might actually agree to do something like that. Um, I think. I don't know. What you think? Look, man, if he if if he wants to fight, it's simple. He got to fight and be active. He can't be going another 12, 18 months out the ring. So it's just whatever he wants to do. It's either step away or if you're going to fight, you got to be active, man. Uh, CYP, you got a counterpunch from Timothy. Timothy sent the counterpunch for CYP. And uh, Elijah, you need to send one if you want another call, Mr. Uh, I'm cooking. Looks like I got a couple super chats we need to get you. Uh, we got, we got, we got rolling. $10 super chat. <laughs> Roland Curtis says, AJ never rubbed his gold medal in Deontay's face until that joke. But imagine if it was the other way around. Imagine if Wilder had won gold medal and Joshua won the bronze medal. Uh, what's the point? Don't really get it. I mean, imagine, imagine if Wilder would have won. Mm. Jin Ryu... Ten dollars. Wilder's full of excuses. It was a rap the day he contemplated how long to please Grandpa. AJ destroys this version of Wilder. Salute TBV and all the callers. Thanks. I'm crying. Yeah, that was you know. Uh, Lake County says Suleiman has a fourth counter punch. So where you at, Suleiman? You get another? We got Al Ramos. Not sure if anyone has mentioned this yet, but Wilder has been speaking on using ayahuasca. Could that have removed his killer instinct? Yeah, everybody's saying the ayahuasca is an issue. Uh, James Benitez, $2. What the fuck does the pa No, what the fuck the past got to do with Wilder's current mental? I don't know. Lake County, $2. Where's the scholar? Fourth counterpunch, Ness. I don't know. I don't know. But let me double check. Suleiman, the uh, scholar. Where you at, champ? The uh, scholar. Let me see here. You are tuned in. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you are subscribed. Suleiman, right, fourth counterpunch from Lake County. That's got to drop a bomb for that dub. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, fellas, for the counter punch. Yeah, so like, well, like I'm saying, uh, let's look at the positive. Right now, he gets that fight in the UAE right there or, or in Saudi Arabia against Char. He wins the belt in a spectacular fashion. Now he starts calling for Usyk. That fight right there with Usyk and him going up and trying to fight for the WBA Unified Championships up there. That's why he's going to generate top dollar, top notch dollar. That's what he wants. That's what we're talking about. Top notch dollar. He gets those unified belts. He puts, he chin checks Usyk. Usyk goes down and he starts looking chinny. Then he's the champion again, unified champ. Then he could start to make some moves. And then if, we, if he doesn't want to unify and he, he starts 
then they fight could even be faster than possible. Now, if, if they unify and Usyk wins the belt, that he's going to be undisputed. That he could start domino effect against all the other heavyweights that are fighting by like the voice, um, Joe Joyce, Zhang. He can start calling them out. He'd be top dog again. It's possible, man. I think I think he just had a little flat night, man. Even Maxi Bear lost decision fights, man. And he was knocking, hurting people in the ring, putting people in, 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 the, in the dirt for real. You know what I'm saying? So stop clowning around. Stop getting focused. Get your name brand. Go to that, that guy right there, Mark Freeland, and get this, make this happen and make us proud again, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need, a, a fighting heavyweight knockout artist like yourself, Deontay Wilder, the real bronze bomber. That's the, that's the real gold, the real gold medalist right there. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then he start calling AJ. Put some fear in AJ's heart like back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we need in boxing, people. That's what we need, a real border fight American heavyweight champ. And that's Deontay Wilder, people. There's nobody else. What about, that's the only guy we want. But you said you said you saying there's no one else. What about Jared Anderson? He's American. Or Jared Anderson could, could sign a contract, send it to Deontay right now. Deontay just lost by decision, man. Let's make this happen. If he wants to do it, he could send wins? that contract. Tell Bob Who Abbott send that contract. Who Yo, wins? I'm, I'm going for Deontay, man. I'm going for Deontay. That kid, that kid's too open, bro. He gets tagged in the chin. He got tagged in the chin by Charles Martin. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Charles Martin had a great night that day. He lost too. He he's another one right there. He, that guy could fight um, Deontay Wilder. That's a good, credible ex-champion, man. You know what I'm saying? All these ex-champions are in the gym. They, they, they're, trying to, they're trying to resurrect their careers, man. Charles Martin did an excellent fight against that young boy. And that young boy won by, by decision. And that young boy easy could, 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 could be knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Look what happened to that dude that Ajay Caballero knocked out. He looked like Godzilla in there. And he got knocked out by Ajay Caballero. Ja, Ajay went to the fundamentals. Broke him down. Systematically broke him down. Cut the, cut the ring. Beat the yeah, body up. Yeah, but Jared... You know what I'm saying? Jared looks fundamentally better than... Uh, my, uh, than, than Oslin Beck Makhmadov. Always look technically, mechanically better than Makhmadov. You may feel like it's your time. Okay, I agree. I agree, champ. I agree. Um, thanks a lot for giving me time, boss. That's something that we could think about that Jared Anderson, big baby Anderson, Bob, the real baby. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just time to shift our attention on the new American heavyweight. I'm not saying don't back wild. I'm just saying, you know, now maybe it's maybe it's Jared, the one that's going to take us to the grace, you know, the grace land or the promised land, you know, that heavyweight championship. Once again, we need we need to unify too, bro. We never got that done in Wilder's uh, reign. Looks like I got to get to Lake County says, laughing my ass off at the Scholar's Energy on that fourth counterpunch. $2 super chat. Appreciate you. Um... Last call for callers. I got Lake County. Oh, shit. Fifth counter punch for <laughs> Suleiman the Scholar. Yeah, they Suleiman. want you back. Dan CYP, CYP said the people, uh, yeah, so, they so paying they pay for somebody else like now. Last call for callers. If you're interested in calling now is the time. Yo, I rescheduled Untitled again, thinking I was going to get it done. And look what time it is. It, it just ain't going to happen. We got Young Oaf. What it do? Yo, yo. Yo, Ness, you hear me? Loud and clear. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Uh, <clears throat> hope you had a good Christmas, all that good stuff. Uh, hey, I was curious. Uh, is the... Uh, Bud and Spence fight is it gonna happen again? Who knows? They say it's happening next year. A couple of days. We'll f uh, hopefully At we get a schedule. I think I think the Amazon uh, thing don't start till March, but hopefully they drop a schedule, man. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, cause I seen that they stripped Bud, so I'm like, if he didn't, I don't think he really fought hard to. To keep the belt, so I think that it's going to be at 154, right? Uh, it yeah, happens, that, 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 that there's is, no there's no clarity on that. Okay, 
Okay. Hey, how would y'all rate this year of boxing? And for me, this was probably like the best year. Yeah, since certainly, I've been alive. certainly I've been one of the best ever. Yeah. Yeah, the best. Season hopefully, since hopefully, I've been uh, watching the sport. Yeah, no, for sure. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it continues in the next year. But um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much all I want to know, man. Have have a good day, y'all. All right. Now, I actually think it is going to continue because, you know, we got so much that happened, right? So, like, the natural order of things has to happen or you're just going to have so much marination in every division. It's just, it's hard. It's hard. Like, you know, T.O. did what he did. So, it's like, he's got his date. Like, we're going to see things develop. And, and then, you know, the Amazon Prime deal, there's still another rumor deal that needs to be announced for PBC. Um, so I expect good, good, big things, bro. Uh, Suleiman, fifth counterpunch. Okay, okay. So, yeah, man. So um, I'm thinking about positive things for Deontay, man. I think about him becoming a two-time champion of the world, man. I think about Deontay becoming a unified, undisputed champion. I think Deontay is still young. You know what I'm saying? I still he work on stuff. He just had a flat night against a guy that could box, could move. A guy that guy that had a good jab. He's been in there. He's been trained by he's been talking boxing with Liza Holmes and all that. So that showed in the ring. He had a little flat night. You know what I'm saying? He was adjusting. I think he should go back home to his old trainer, like the prodigal son. No, go back to his old trainer, Mark Breland, the gold medalist, medalist, the two time champ. You know what I'm saying? And get back to the winning team, man. Get back to the winning game, man. Stop being a mature adult. You know what I'm saying? And you could have it all, but the heavyweight division is wide open right now. It's like a, a young bride ready to be taken. You know what I'm saying? And Deontay Wilder, you could do it, man. I think Deontay Wilder could clean the division, bro, if he gets fully focused. You know what I'm saying? I think Deontay Wilder, all these guys are easy to get hit. That yeah. right hand will Bro, connect. but even you know at this saying? age, at 38, he could clean out of the division. I think I think he got a couple of good years, man. He got a couple of good years, man. He need like three or four good fights, man. Three good four fights, and he'll be unified, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then he could go on top if he wants. He could he could retire on top, man. Give me the Just four make fight schedule. Time, man. Give me the four fight schedule. Okay, the first fight, the first fight, Char from Char Usyk. Okay, Us Usyk, uh, Tyson Fury winner. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, and then from but what there, if it's Fury? If it's Fury, that's his kryptonite. Yo, so yo, Fury's been get, got dropped by a guy that had one one professional boxing match. I think this time he put yeah, him but away, that bro. Guy, but I'm that saying, guy, but that guy's two hundred and seventy pounds of fucking muscle. So you broke up, bro. You go, he go on the on the snack program or something and get broke <laughs> up, bro. We could do it, bro. We could do it, man. We could do it, man. If if all these other guys are jumping on a the snack, then jump on the snack program, man. Jump on the snack program. Get this made, man. Make this money. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to do, do, bro. He's the only one that got the killer instinct. He dropped the guy a couple of times. How many times he gonna drop that heavyweight, bro? And he this time he's gonna get stay, hit him and he's gonna stay down, bro. You know what I'm saying? He got fourth try to do it, man. And if and and, and if he gets outpointed by Usyk, then you know Usyk is beatable, bro. Usyk is small. Usyk is hit. Usyk uh, Usyk is afraid about power. He's he's Usyk's quick tonight. That right hand. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need, boss. That's what we need. We need a guy that's that that, that wants to be unified, that wants to create legacy. But We're that's about Usyk. The, that Usyk, have... Usyk is trying to create legacy. What are you talking about? Yeah, but, but, about also, but, but I'm talking about I'm talking about that young boy from Atlanta, man, from uh, Alabama. I'm talking about that guy from Biloxi, Alabama. He want to do legacy too, man. You know what I'm saying? He want to be a Mississippi, my brother. You, I, I, you know what I'm talking time. about, man. But it's not your time. <laughs> He said Biloxi, <laughs> Yo, that's the most <laughs> Nestor thing you could have ever said. <laughs> Yo, shout out, shout out, shout out. My bro. man said Biloxi. Mm-mm-mm. Bro, that profound dreamer, bro. That shit is fake, bro. Stop. Um... Lake County, $2. Yo, Scala, you feel like going in a day? And then we got Profound Dream, a member for 10 months on that champ level. He said, did y'all talk about the Endeavor buying top rank? No, because Dana White said that's a bold-faced lie. We'll see if it ends up being true later. 
Because sometimes people don't like you to announce their announcement. But don't sound like it's true. Tim Boski. Yo, 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 Boski. yo, bro, yo, bro. Has Danny, has Danny, has Danny apologized for never checking his DM? Because you sent the proof, to, bro. He sent the proof, and yeah, I sent yeah, you the picture. Oh, no, he I sent, the sent proof. you a screenshot. The proof, no, he sent you a bro, video. That was a video. Right that was a video. Oh, that's nigga. Cool. That was a video. And I told you, I and I told you, you can go through my fucking DMs, my boy. I ain't get shit from that boy. My bro, it, oh, it, it that, literally that, says soul? it there. He's not so, but let's go though. But let's go though. You it's all good, yeah, Timboski. Yeah. You can that's hit. crazy. Bro, no, and then the video you sent me was just a video of him showing that he's contacted me. Nowhere did it stay. Oh, let's bet. No, What's but up with but Danny, fight? how could it say yeah, let's bet? Like, how could it say let's bet? You never I fucking answered him. You, you gotta exactly. accept it. It was nowhere right. near, champ. It was nowhere near. What? He just he just showed you that. Oh he my God, Timboski! I don't hey, get yeah, him. Yeah. I don't get him, Timboski. Oh, oh my. I, 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 Hey, what? Hey, give me, send me, hey, Dan, send me something over that hard D, man. I see you in that week. What are you smoking over? I need some of that, man. Cause you don't remember bro, shit, this is man. Too strong. Oh, y'all out there, y'all cut y'all weed with tobacco. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we out here smoking your heavyweights. What to, we're out here smoking? To yeah, well, hey, 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 Dan, hey, Dan, we're out there smoking your heavyweights. Smoking uh, Gerald Miller. We're smoking Wilder now. It, it tastes real good, real good. Wilder. <laughs> hey, I love, I love Suleiman. I love Suleiman, the boxing scholar. He, he's very familiar with me. He knows his boxing. I like CYP. Hey, CYP. Do, 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 do. <laughs> hey, tell your boy, tell your boy to sign the contract, or if he already has, we're gonna put his head on the plate. Wilder has no chance against Anthony Joshua. Not what nothing. He has no chance. He couldn't even walk down the, the guy that we already dusted off. Uh, Joseph Parker, we dusted that guy off already. Wilder has no chance against Anthony Joshua. Why we in Wembley, Saudi Arabia? I don't think he wants. I don't think he wants to go back yo, there. Yo, I don't champ. think he wants to go back there, baby. Baby, yeah, go go ahead, Dan. Go ahead, Dan. I got a question. So, so you just like you just support your countrymen? Why not? I'm just What's to wrong with that? Understanding. No, no, no. That's not all I do. Bro, that's not, can, that's can not I, all can, I do. Can, that's can, not what all I do. Go ahead, go ahead. Damn. So, 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 like, what is it? Because it sounds like you just hopping from you know from uh, wagon to wagon. You know, what wagon uh, is this? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't do none of that. None of that. I support boxing, first of all. Secondly, I support guys that put it all on the line. Look at Joseph Parker, Bro, but uh, for you, example. You, you, he has you put in work. Talking, over... But that's why I'm asking. But that's why, that's why I was asking if you support your countrymen, brother, because you keep no, 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 no. You calling support, me talking about my guys, but you're mentioning guys that I've never, like, rode for. You never guys... what? You know, guys, I never, guys I yeah, never no, he's he's of, tribalizing like, you, he's putting you as a he's making you an American. So he said, We smoking no, your sure. American yes. heavyweights, yes, for sure. We're That's smoking why I was like, your American heavyweights. I, you know, he talking, he clearly don't know me. Cause I'm like you mentioning people that are saying my guys. No, because my guys, so it's, it's not. Like, it don't gotta be your guy. You American. You represent like, America. That's why, no, that's you why yeah, I, I asked him it's if it's a country. Hey, that's, and he said hey, Dan, no. No, no, it's not. He said hey, no, no, it's not. Hey, Dan, no ill will to you. No, no ill will towards you. I just ride with my countrymen. You get me? We have multiple champions. So, we have multiple great fighters so from now, over here. We got heavyweights, cruiserweights, not heavyweights. Yeah, I have a lot of great champions, and yeah, I have the best. Because I've heard. Because I've heard you. But, I've heard you, Dan. No, I've heard you, Dan. Wait, wait, I've heard you, Dan. Wait, from the day wait, that you said, wait, 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 my next wait, question wait, to wait, you is, I've heard so you say multiple times, UK you is drained of talent. Who do you think you lie? Lie? No, no, no. I said that's not all of it. That's not the whole criteria. That's not the whole prestige of what I'm trying to say. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, that's just a part of it. I'm going to ride with Sonny Edwards. I'm going to ride with Sonny Edwards. You said no. I said because it sounded to me that you hop in. From wagon to wagon, okay. and now you, what wagon is this? You're saying that he, it is a his wagon thing. is attached to the entire UK, bro. Yes, but yes, that's I, yes, why I, I asked. That, yes. That's, I'm the, that's why I asked that. the question, and he said no. Did you? I'm the voice for too? the real fans. Am I not coming in? Hey Dan, Dan, you didn't even you didn't want to see my DM, man. So you know, I already know what you're on already, man. You you, you knew, I know you what he is with the UK. I already heard you discrediting us multiple times. You get me? And we've come out on Dan, top. No, you before, didn't. At the you beginning, didn't. end of the you year. Didn't. You try to twist my words. You saw a tweet oh, that I it? put out that said shit was limited over there, 
hashtag uh, Rodriguez Edwards. But, but, okay, but what do you mean by that? But what do you mean? Hold on, sir. 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 What do you mean by that? You wanted to turn it to. Well, Dan, Dan, Dan. I got a question for you. Just like I asked you if it was about the country, you said no, and then two minutes later, it's about your country. And then, 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 then. Obviously, Ness understands from a, from a point from his perspective that yes, it is about my country. I do write for my country, but I said I'm a I'm a fan of the sport first. I'm a fan of boxing That's all it first. Was, and then That's all you had to say. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but so Dan, Dan, what, what do you mean skill stuff is limited over there? What did you mean by that? What did you mean by that? Please, Brother, let me I explained Please. it so many fucking times. No, 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 no. I want to hear it now. We're talking about now. Don't talk about the past. Don't talk about the past because that's what CYP does. He wants to talk about the past, talking about he discredited anyway. But, the CYP, but talking about, you're <laughs> talking about the past. Anyway. Do you want okay. me to talk about a tweet that I made? No, no, no sorry, sir. No, Dan. Ago. Don't talk about the tweet, Danny. Don't talk about I said, what did you mean by you saying stuff is limited over here? Because it didn't it didn't look limited on Saturday. You got so, it limited on Saturday. Champ, 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 champ. You telling me don't go in the past, don't talk about the tweet, don't but talk. you're asking me about the tweet. So which one fucking no, is No, you keep saying tweet. You keep which saying tweet. You're is it, like is you it your country oh, you keep or acting, it's not the you, country? You keep, saying, you, you keep saying it like you haven't discredited the UK before. You've done that before. So forget the tweet. We're talking about when? what you said before and when? now. Show me. Show me. Oh, I'll, I'll do yeah. that as well. Where I sent that's the evidence already, because, and I'll do that again. Because you're asking so me, you're, you're, you're telling you're, me to not right, talk about the tweet, limited. but you're you asking me about limited. what I said in a tweet. So I'm just trying to make it yeah, make Dan, sense. Dan, do you, Dan, Dan, do you still believe stuff is limited over here? Yes or no? <laughs> Wait, with Sonny Edwards and that, right? Bam Rodriguez? Absolutely. What's, what do you mean, the son? No, no. Now you're thinking about Sonny Edwards and no. Is no. that when I fucking is, said it? UK that's when I fucking said it. But, but, what, so, what, that, so, that, so that statement the wasn't. The that, 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 that statement I didn't even let the fight statement. finish. I didn't even let the fight so finish. Wasn't I a general statement. So that statement wasn't a general statement. That statement. So that statement wasn't a general statement. Is that what I'm trying to say? Was that statement, was that statement a general statement? How the fuck was it a general statement, Sean? No, I'm asking you. No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You asked that a general me last statement? time, man. What the fuck did I tell you last time? Was it a general hey, statement hey, last hey, time? Hey, Danny. Or was it directly Danny. about the fight last time? Danny. Okay. You, you want me to cut him because he ain't, he ain't got no counter punch. It's on you though. If you enjoying yourself, no, champ. yeah, I'm enjoying. This is fun. I'm oh, enjoying. Uh, this no, because guy. you know I like that shit. So I be giving dudes. I don't know you. I know you don't really like that shit, bro. I no, I'm really trying because he's just going in circles, brother. No, you no one's going in circles. He's literally guy. doing you, you what wanna, Deontay Wilder did in the ring. Now you want to say? Now you don't want to really rep. Now you don't want to really rep. You don't want to really rep. You don't want to really rep Tembowski. your guys now. Tembowski. Saying, oh, what Listen, guys? Tembowski. What guys? Tembowski. You was riding with Jerome Miller. You was riding with Jerome Miller. Yo, 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 yo. He said you was riding with Jerome. Yeah, he yeah, said I you was riding with Jarrell. So, Ness, Ness, ask me this. Ness, ask me this. So, did I not call in and I asked Danny? So, Dan, are you mm -hmm. just riding with Jarrell Miller because he's your guy from your... Or are you, are you breaking it down from skill by skill? And what because did I say? And what did I say? And what did I say? And what did I say? You said, yeah, What did I say? Yeah, yeah, you said, yeah, you, uh, you said I'm rolling with him because he chats a lot of shit, man. He ch <laughs> you think I've got a deep classification memory? I've got a deep classification memory, Dan. Because he talk a lot of shit. Memory, because he talk a lot of shit. Yeah. That's why. That's why. You so, see, so what if the bar, so what if the bar was, the bar was you, shit, though? Are you riding the bar with him because he's like a he You said no. You said the no. Bar beat. Exactly. Yes. So, you exactly. So, then how can you ask me? So, how can you ask me that? How can you ask me that? I'm trying to have a conversation with the motherfucker. He acting He acting stupid. This is, this is a conversation where you talk, I listen. I talk, you listen. So, I heard you. When you were talking, I was listening. So I listened to when you said, no, I don't. I don't ride with my countrymen. And then you circled back 120 seconds later, and, and, and you said, well, you know, it is a country thing. You get what I'm saying? But you don't want to listen. It's no, it's no problem, fam. No problem at all, fam. Appreciate the call. <laughs> Who is next? Uh, We got... Casual Bass Guy member for 36... I ain't lie. I ain't lie. I ain't picked Jarrell because of skill. Talking about my guy. No, it ain't skill. He talks shit. I found it cool. That's why I picked him. Casual bass guy. Member for 36 months on that prospect level. Los Chingones de TBV. And is this real? Six counterpunch for Suleiman the Scholar. <laughs> 
shout out to Lake County. Yo, now I got to ask, are you Lake County? Is that Florida? Is that like Lakeland? What's Lake County? What that what comes up what that means to you, Danny? Danny's Danny's Lake County. Danny must shit, be timing people county. out. Anytime Danny that focus, oh, he yeah, timing yeah. y'all out. Oh, you know why you He timing let I'm, me see I'm what people all say. These motherfuckers up. What they say, what they say. Timing all these motherfuckers out. Okay, so that wasn't that bad. Danny just mad at you. This one says Okay, okay. That's why you got timed out. This one says. He said that one wasn't that bad, bro. You be full of shit, sometimes. bro. My man literally said we don't believe you. Nah, but it was a bunch of them, bro. You, but you know they they time like if you time somebody out, all they shit. <laughs> sure, my man said the Danny move. took the knee. <laughs> Y'all terrible, bro. Yo, you gotta you gotta understand these dudes. They don't even care who's right as oh. long as somebody coming at you or me. They happy with that. Uh, but phone lines is open. Lake County two one nine Gary Indiana next door to Danny. Oh damn, I'm yeah. thinking you Lake County, I, bro. From... I literally said that. I said Lake County. I know is a county in Indiana. Hmm. What am I trying to flip around, Larry Liston? Six counterpunch from Suleiman the Scholar, the star of the show, the MV fucking P. Okay, let's start. I got a question. That that Shelly Fenko and Mark Whedon, they get along good? You think um you think I mean, you could Shelly Fenko? I'm pretty sure if Wilder allows Fenko to call Breland, I'm pretty sure like right now he's not allowed to call him like you know, it's like, yo, you don't, I don't rock with him. You can't rock with him. So you think he could, he could be the mediator if he want that? He he want to get him back as a trainer. I mean, yeah, if Wilder want, what, bro, what Wilder wants, Wilder can get. Because if he wants to go on the winning track, if he wants to go on the winning track, I think that's that's that. Since he he left Mark Whelan, he 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 hasn't got the accolades of a champion again. So go back to the guy that made you a champ. And kept you as a champ, you know. Go back to that guy, and and get focused. Start with that 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 regular title, right? And then from there, move on to bigger and better things. I mean, that's what we all want. We want to see this guy um, finish his career as a champion. Um, you know, uh, fix his, his um, correct his wrongs. I think, hey man, I think he has a good chance right now. I think Tyson Fury is right. If Tyson manages to win. Against Usyk in a in a fourth contest, if he pushes it for it and it's gonna generate money, that that fight will be good. Then he could finish off, finish off with uh with AJ, uh the boys. There's other guys, Zhang. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, you know, I mean, he has a chance to, you know, to to make some real money now, man. I think he has a real good chance. You know what I mean, I'm saying? He but been, he needs to go. He back. been making some good cash, champ. <laughs> I know he has, but he has a chance to go on top and make some some career ending good money. And um and um you know it's for legacy, man. A lot of guys look at him as a role model. He's a good fighter. Um, he defended. You you have a lot of diehard fans that like him. Um, and, and, you know all over the world. And um he's a good role model, man. He's a good role model. I mean Donald Trump even brought him to the White House, man. So the guy's a great role model. Uh, I want to see the guys, you know, end up in a positive note, and um, you know that we should think about his future, not his past, man. This, this, you know, so he could go out, you know, like a real good champion that could they could talk to him about him, uh, talk about him later on, um, in his career. You know what I'm saying, and, and and you know, after boxing. Yo, thanks a lot for having me on, man. It's been a great show, man. Um, if they give me any more counter punches, just save them, man. I think this is the the, the last one, okay? You got it, champ. Um, Mr. Larry Liston, I, I, I think it's uh, very disingenuous of you to try and compare Lyndon Arthur and Bivol to Regis and Devin. For one, Regis, unlike Dimitri Bivol, 
You may feel like it's your time, but it's not your time. Devin, unlike Dimitri Bivol, was not fighting at 140 his entire career. Dimitri Bivol was fighting at 168 his entire career when he decided to fight current IBO champion, Lyndon Arthur, who isn't recognized as a champion by everyone because it was only an IBO. I certainly recognize him as a IBO champion. Shout out to the IBO. You know, f speaking of, since we brought it up, we got three IBO shirts we're giving away. And they are giveaways, right? So I did talk to the wife who does all the mailing. Bro, it's like $8 minimum, and that's local. So she said definitely ask for 15 So we got a medium here, IBO, and we got... Another medium here, IBO, and we got a 2X IBO, and we also got the What's Your Hustle. Shout out to What's Your Hustle. They gave us a dope uh, carpet for the studio. Uh, so this is a workout shirt, so you can get this. This is all free, but y'all paying the shipping, okay? Just so we clear, it's still free. I just ain't paying your shipping. Fuck out of here. You want it? You have it. Um, that being said, you got to send it to the cash Word. app that you see on the screen. So I said all that because the IBO, that's right. So he was an IBO champ, which isn't recognized by any of the other sanctioning bodies. You can't unify with the IBO because the other sanctioning bodies don't recognize it. The other sanctioning bodies are non-for-profit for whatever reason, and IBO is not. They are for profit. So... What else? Regis was a two-time champ who went through a tournament. Lyndon Arthur was just a guy that Frank Warren put into position for Yard. Yard happened to lose to him by split and then had to come back and knock him out. But Lyndon Arthur's biggest win is what exactly? I, I, you know, someone helped me there. Nah, that IBO mini's not for sale, champ. Uh, okay, we got Mike G's. What up? Yo, yo. Mike G's. Adrian, Wisconsin. Yo, can you hear me now? Yes, sir. All right, all right. Man, shout out to Riyadh. Uh, that was a great card. It was nice that it was during the day and that I was able to enjoy it. A um, little disappointed in Deontay Wilder. Looked very lackluster. Um, the delusional, him thinking he won afterwards, raising his hand. I don't even know what to think about that. Um but uh, shout out to Joseph Parker for fighting a great fight. And uh, that guy that fought uh, Makhmadov, the big, the big Russian dude. Yeah, Adjikabibov. Yeah, man, that guy impressed me, man. He fought an excellent fight. It was really nice to watch. I mean, to be honest with you, that whole card was good, um, except for watching Wilder uh, get beat in that fashion. Um, I think that Wilder is to a point where he needs to um, – Maybe humble himself. I, I'm, I'm guessing that Malik Scott is not really the boss in his training camp. Obviously, Wilder is and does what he wants to do. And I don't think that he can improve until he opens his mind up and uh, is willing to take actual direction and coaching from somebody. Um, he still has money to make. He's still got the right hand. Um, the heavyweight division can still use him. So hopefully he can kind of get his head out of his ass and, uh, you know, learn some shit. Um, I like seeing Bivol fight. Um, you know, he just, Bivol always looks like Bivol. Hopefully we can get that uh, unification. He must have got a call. So people asking about the shirt, it's not a raffle. First come, first serve, bro. Yeah, yeah. You got a call, champ. Go for it. Can, yeah. you, can, can you hear me now? We hear you now. All right. 
Um, I, I think that the Saudi, the whole Saudi thing is going to be good. The money's going to be there. Um, it was great to see cards set up like that. Um, so hopefully this next year, Saudi continues with that, with some of these lower weight classes and some of these fights that we want to see going forward in the future. And then I'm just going to remind you one more time, Ness. I still need a banner for my other gym to look like the one that I got in the other gym. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting that banner at some point in time. And, uh, yeah, shout out to y'all. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and uh, shout out to the TBV family. And then, obviously, I know we talked yesterday about putting it putting it in the chat, um, discussing some Border Wars stuff with people. Um, we in Wisconsin, we, we, we ready to go if y'all ready to do it a certain way, but I'm going to leave that up to Ness to talk to y'all about. But Wisconsin's ready to bring it back, bigger and better than ever. All right, champ. All right. Um, man, so we got another Wilder quote because, you know, someone uh, obviously sat through the interview and transcribed. That's obviously Michael Benson. And he had this to say, Deontay Wilder on being stunned by Joseph Parker in round eight. He caught me in a dazing moment. I fucking zoned out for one moment, one minute. I don't know what the fuck happened. The punch came, but it wasn't nothing that hurt. None of his punches phased me at all. Credit 7-8 Sports TV. So Wilder says he was just, you know, he was in a dazing moment. Not that the punch caught him or anything. It was more like, bro, you feel me? He lost, like, I guess, focus during the fight. I don't know. Crazy. Add that to the list. What up, Big Super Mix? What up, what up? Chilling. Just want to call in and... Uh... Talking to Roland. Uh, shout out the fighter of the year in uh, anyway. Uh, that's that's the fight of the year. Should be a really not much of a debate there. And and with the Wilder subject, man, I just uh, you know I was um I was on the show. I interviewed Wilder on this channel. Uh, I've been in the background a lot, and and it's it's easy to tell you, man, that if you don't tell Wilder what he wants to hear, he will cut you off and. That ultimately is what caught up to him. Um, uh, Suleiman, um, I don't give a fuck what path Wilder takes from here. If I'm Fury, I'm never blessing him with another opportunity again. That man went on all these podcasts two years later, talking about I still don't respect him, uh, this, that. Like, the cheating shit, fine. Say what you want about the second fight. But everything was on the up and up in the third fight, and he still beat you. you that's just, you know... That's more than sour grapes, man. I, I pray that man can get over that one day because this is this is crazy. Uh, he blaming AJ for ducking the fight when he lost. The, the thing was signed, as, you know, as far as we knew, signed and ready to go, ready for announcement. Um, yo, what's the name of that caller that be coming in here calling on Danny Head about this Sonny Edwards and Bam thing and Timboski? Uh, Timboski. Yeah. Tell Tim Bosky that the same day he tried to get on Danny's head, I came back, super chatted. I done called twice about the bet. My DM been dry, just like Danny's DM been dry, champ. I wanted to lift that little 500 off you for Sonny and Bam, dog. Uh, <laughs> you know. Lift. You always on Danny head, but act like Supermax don't exist, dog. I mean, I mean, he, oh, wanted, he wanted to make the bet with the Dan the man, bro. He wanted to hit a host up. That's what it was. You should have. Hey, it's ah, cool. Fuck. Y'all got to start co-hosting again, bro. I mean, damn. Word. But uh, that's all I'm saying, man. You, you know, you talking this crazy, man, when, you know, I'm a big name on the show. Um, But, yeah, shout out to you guys, man. And they, uh, I heard Adrian just called, man. Let's uh, let's see what we can get popping for that, man. It's been uh, – we've we've gone past two years without a border wars, man. We need it back, especially because of some of the, these calls I've been hearing. Some of y'all motherfuckers need to get in the ring and get punched in the mouth. Whoa. Y'all be talking crazy. Uh, I mean, Ness, is that not why we started Border Wars? Everybody think they can fight till they get in the Border Wars ring, and that's a that's only a three two minute rounds, man. Y'all want to talk to world championship level fighters? 
like y'all will do anything different. Uh, we need that back. It's been, yeah, we just passed two years, man. So that would be fun uh, to get something rocking and rolling. I know Adrian uh, has a beautiful set about that. Shout out to Chino. I saw his fight in their new spot out there. So let's see if we can get rolling there, man. That's pretty all I got today, man. But yeah, uh, anyway, fight of the year, it's it's not even a debate in my, in, in my perspective. Uh, you know, unified the championship, then got undisputed. Uh, and I know we don't count it to last year, but within 13 months, he's undisputed two divisions. That's got to count for something, man. But that's all I got for today, fellas. Y'all keep the show pushing. All right, champ. Um, looks like we got... CYP? Where you at? I thought I gave you that counterpunch. Yo, yo, man, listen, man, I, I like Super Mets sometimes, but I, I be feeling his little indie windows and shit. Sometimes he, he, he think he's slick with what he be saying. The nigga 38 years old, but the way his interviews go is what caught up to him. Nigga, you don't shut up with that dumb shit. His interviews always what caught up to him, the way he treat people. But Floyd Mayweather went 50 and 0 and made more money than anybody with his fucking attitude. Where, where, sometimes y'all just be saying some of the dumbest shit caught up to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, karma, ha, ha, ha. Man, please, it's sports. Ain't no such thing as karma in fucking sports. I'm sorry to tell y'all unathletic motherfuckers. It ain't got shit to do with none of that. None of that. If your time is your time comes, your time come. You could be a saint, a really, really nice person. And guess what can happen to you? You get your fucking head knocked smooth off. Arturo Gotti was a was a really, really nice dude. Really, really nice dude. The motherfucker, when he was retired, he could barely talk, talk straight. But he was a really nice dude, treated everybody really, really well. What was that karma? Was that karma? Or was that too many goddamn fights past retirement? Which, which, one, which, which one caught up to him? Sometimes I swear, y'all need to stop coming on here preaching when y'all ain't never coached nobody and never been to no, no real fights. No real fights. Let's be real. You ain't never seen nobody no real fights. Y'all y'all ain't never been athletes even, even after high school in your little small town. But you got everything to say to athletes. You know athletes so much, don't, don't y'all? Like some of y'all going to get offended as fuck right now because you're not athletes. You just be talking about it. Let me, y'all need to cut that shit out. Quit giving people advice, dog, that you could never be. Stop that shit. You, you, every single word a dude says, you, you talking about it, but you hate the dude. He's so trash. Listen to me. I don't want AJ to get no better. You know why? Because I ain't no AJ fan. I ain't never seen dudes hate a dude so much, but want to see him get better. Like, y'all are weird as fuck. If you dislike him, why do you keep wanting to see him get better? Remember, he sucks. He's trash. Well, fuck him. Fuck him, then. You should be happy that he's trash, right? Happy that he's losing, right? I'm so confused by y'all on this show. Just come out and say it. We love Wilder. We love Wilder. Pick your pom-poms up. You motherfuckers are weird. One call, he sucks, he's trash. He does like a bomb. Another call, all you got to do is this, all you got to do is But at the same time, he is trash. He ain't got no skills. Which one is it, man? I am so confused by the tone of you callers. If you hate him, hate him. If you love them, love them. Don't be in between. Women be in between. Y'all need to stop acting like women on this show, man. And I don't want to call y'all by name, but it's starting to just get weird. Every word a motherfucker say, oh, shit, there it goes. Say that too. Say that too. Say that too. But don't nobody want to talk about him. So why the fuck you watching every word he say if don't nobody want to talk about him? Because last time I checked, when you talk, words come out your mouth. So you do care what the fuck he says, man. Till next time. Till next time. See why out. I mean, it could be two different things. It could be they want to talk about him to make jokes and laugh like they do. They want to see him. They want to say they want to see him get better, but in actuality, just want to see him get beat. You know, people still want to see him fight certain fights, and that's why they don't want him to quit because they still want to see certain fights. You know, whether they think he's going to be competitive or whether they just want to see him beat. Um, but... We got Lake County came through with a last minute super chat. Uh, but first, average boxer fan, aka Baby Joker, says me versus Super Mex, open weight, Mexicans versus Amer Mexican American. Uh, the thing is, Super Mex is a super heavyweight champ. So you would need to be in the proper weight. Plus, you know, 
uh, that's the big debate. Are we going USA Boxing or are we doing our own thing the way we used to? So that's the big debate. So if we do go USA Boxing, there's no way you can fight Max unless you really are in his weight and, and age bracket. Uh, Lake County, $2. Yo, CYP. Shut up. Uh, that is everybody. Ness GTO, Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget, we right back at it. 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 7 o'clock Eastern. We're going to be talking about Devin Haney, uh, Ryan Garcia, Oscar De La Hoya. Looks like we are going to get this Devin Haney fight. We'll talk about it at 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock Eastern. Right back at you twice a day, every day, Monday through Friday. And even on Saturday and Sunday, we rocking out whether it's one time for a live fight chat and for the recap. Peace.